Yes. Yes. You're French. You deserve to be bullied. I'm gonna say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic way to start the stream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The um, one on the right got stuck in the FEV a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, Chad is merciless. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Um, so before we get started, I just want to say that I hate this time of year because... It's getting lighter outside earlier. Like, when I'm on night shift during the winter, and I get off work around, like, 7.30, and it's dark outside, I love that. And it's not like that anymore. And it's just a reminder that summer is coming, and I hate it. I already see the signs of summer, and I want to die. Summer is worst season. On oh, God. I don't oh, know, but I'm I can quickly... go to the beach. Yeah, how's there's mosquito bites on you, fucking? I'm quickly changing my opinion on that. Like I, I hate being stuck inside now. I feel fucking drained. Well, I'm ready there... for fucking spring and summer to get here so I can go outside again. There is that too. Put but on a coat. I, I, I hate, I hate, hate, hate the feeling of being too hot. In the summer, it's always like that here. Um, one gifted membership from Itiko the Tricky. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, um, do you guys have anything to cover or talk about before we start to stream? Well, I guess, uh, I talk about I've been doing a lot of, um, Atomic Heart. Oh. Um, people that, uh, listened to the stream yesterday with Cree would know, but, uh, yeah, I've been doing that. It's, um... Hardest difficulties mistake. It was Slav Jank. I should have. I. I should have known better. I should have known better. No, not done the hardest difficulty. Um. By the way, uh, Pagan, it is still bringing up the same tutorial prompts for me as I'm playing this far in. It's like, by the way, if you jump in the air, you can dash. It's like you told me that six fucking hours ago. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's just super, super jank. But yeah, um, that it, I, I've made two big calls. Um, again, I don't want to say here because I don't want to influence anybody there. If, if you see my stream, you know I have two big things that I think are going to be true in this story. Um, but I will say that our main character is a fucking idiot. Like, he is. Not just not just a fucking idiot, but holy shit, he is a aggressive, like, manlit level idiot. Where he's just fucking pissed off at everything, just constantly screaming and ringing and screeching at everything. It's like, what the fuck? Just shut up. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Um... Five dollars from Itiko the Tricky. Thank you. Um, I work nights at a factory, too, and I've come down with a minor cold as the season changes. Yes, it does, in fact, make me wish for a nuclear winter. And uh, from A.D. Krauser, everyone point and laugh at the Canadian who thinks he gets hot. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does really get hot in my area, though, and I hate it. What temperature are we talking Oh no. I believe anything above 15 Celsius is a fucking war crime. Oh boy. Yeah, I I cannot take the heat. Bring back the gnome. What gnome? Oh. Oh, uh the the fucking god words. What the frogman? I think that's what he means, yeah. That's not a gnome. <laughs> it, 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 Those it are two very different... 
The, the, it is the... whatever you want it to be, Kratosis. Let your imagination flourish and realize that friendship is magic. The Toad Man. Well, we're not going to be watching any frogs right away because the first video we're doing is a Fallout 4 video. Should we just get right into it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's see what this seven things Fallout 4 haters regret will be. I'm not sure I regret anything about Fallout 4. There's nothing about yeah. it I'm responsible for. Oh. Um, uh, I guess we can way. do this real quick right before we go in. Uh, super chat. Dalio Khan with uh, 299 Australian. Thank you very much. Thank you. How's Atomic Hearts, Stag, and the Robo Twins? The Robo Twins are fucking hot. That's for sure. Um, as even Pippa says, uh, if they had a if they had Robo Twins in the Soviet Union, there'd be a lot more people that'd be speaking Russian. <laughs> but uh, uh, um, Atomic Hearts right now, it's it's rating for me is going down. Because of the combat, like it doesn't, it doesn't know when to pace itself. It doesn't know what pacing is, and it like does enemy spam at the wazoo, which is why I'm saying I think the hardest difficulty is a mistake. With this amount of jank that's in the game, it, it was a big mistake. Um, uh, I was just gonna say that uh, for everybody here. Press the like button on the video, or I'll steal Kratosis' feathers. Uh, 15 Celsius is too much for you, Kree? Jesus. Well, I can usually handle 15, but once we hit 20 and it starts getting above that, then that's when I start melting. Yeah. Like, I had I, to I... put up with 47 once. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I what we... Did. Yeah, I just I I cannot take the heat at all. What do you think about Sons of the Forest? Don't know. Haven't checked it out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so converting it from freedom units, 125 degrees Fahrenheit, 51 degrees Celsius, 51.6 repeating. Yeah, that was a that was a fucking brutal one. Those are what got uh, registered on the uh, bases as a Black Flag Day, where they'll they sound the alarms and then uh, everybody basically is like, no, no, strip down to your fucking skivvies. You're just sitting in the barracks. You're not doing shit. You're drinking water all day. That's it. You go to the mess hall to get your food. You drink water. That's it. Because we're not having any of you fucking fall over and collapse from heat stroke. Yet. Anyways, video. Yeah. It looks like I need to readjust this once again. I don't know why Watch Together keeps getting... F oh, wait. Maybe if I remove this bar. Yeah, that's better. Also, what the hell am I going to regret from hating Fallout 4? Uh, um, from, from the little snippets that Pagan has told us, these are some pretty wild regrets. Like some fucking copium. <laughs> Can we just do gun rants instead? No. Alright, you guys ready? Holy shit. Yeah. Hey, hmm? This we could we should put uh later on in the in the stack. What? But uh yeah, no, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling this image. Uh Itiko the Tricky sent me this. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. He just sent another one. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking the other day too, because it's been a while, like a very long time since I've played a game where there's truly that sense of uh, wonder, wonder and exploration. Yeah. Because um, I I've been playing Morrowind a bit recently, and I obviously I don't have that feeling anymore since I've seen most of what that game has to offer. But I, I still remember, like, how I felt as a kid, like, exploring and seeing all these places for the first time. Um, you know, obviously remembering is, it isn't the same. But I, I am feeling that with this uh, Hogwarts game, so, yeah. 
Yeah. I guess that's the one thing I'm... I'm, uh, I'm kind of bummed that the story was mid, but at the same time, it didn't, like, ruin everything. So it was like, okay, you know. I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, it's 2023... And Jesus Christ, we, we're still trying to get out of these fucking chains that the weirdos put us in. What? So yeah, I'll I'll take it that the story doesn't shit itself and destroy everything, and it, you know there isn't like a big revelation that absolutely cripples the entire game because you get some nonsense. But no, I'm uh, I'm happy. Yeah, for You're me, not allowed to be happy. For me, it's largely a matter of I don't mind like. I genuinely don't care if a story is mid. I'm actually hungry for a story that's mid. After Fallout 3, 4, and Skyrim. You yeah. Know? Where they're just so fucking awful. Yeah. Hogwarts is getting a TV show? What? Who's doing it? That would be so the thing I would ask. Who Who's doing it? Universal! I could trust Universal. To do it, uh, Maybe, a lot yeah. more than than Warner Brothers or Amazon. Holy shit, I would be <laughs> running for the fucking hills. Uh, no, I am scared because it's gonna be on HBO, and uh, given my recent interactions, HBO with, uh... Max. Oh no. Okay, well, rest in peace, Hogwarts show. I mean, it still has a chance of being good. Um. House of the Dragon was uh, HBO, and that was pretty fucking good. Yeah, that's fair. Like, if they can get a team that pays attention to detail like that, then hell yeah, I'd watch that. Anyways. Video. Let, let, let's see what we're all going to regret. Yep. As some of you may know, Fallout 4 was a highly anticipated game release in 2015. Despite the hype, many players were disappointed with the final product. Many complained about the dialogue, leveling system, graphics, bugs, crashes, and that New Vegas is better. Of course, these opinions have a point, but you can't deny- Well, they're not just opinions. Again, it crashing all the time and being buggy, that's a fact. That's not an opinion anymore. Yeah. Like, sure, the rest of it is technically opinion. Like, Fallout New Vegas doing it better. However, I... Actually, no, I think I'm more on the... the no, that's a fact. Because you can do side-by-side -side comparisons. You can compare each thing, quantify each thing, to show why it's better. I've turned uh, up the video saying... sound chat. Yeah. It was low because, um... After we were supposed to go to bed, neither me nor Pagan went to bed. I worked on a video script for a couple hours, and Pagan messaged me like, I can't fall asleep. So he spent the next several hours watching VTuber clips. <laughs> did you Well, did that's you funny, because I stayed uh, up. <laughs> Neo-Nazi pick of me that definitely, definitely uh, was justified in all the harassment she got. That dirty <laughs> Neo-Nazi that goes poppy poop like to the fucking Mario music. Yeah, yeah. Every, everyone who plays this game is a terrible person, this Hogwarts game. Silver Veil for the win? Yeah, I'm glad she came out and said, fuck these weirdos, I'm playing it anyway, screw you. Yes. More people need to I, do that. I love that fucking <laughs> thing I sent with the response that somebody gave the who added her. Oh my god, like, she she could never handle being a trans person. <laughs> the fucking response! What was the response? <laughs> uh, the response was something along the lines of, like, well... Uh, hold on, let me just, let me just find it again, because I, I want to make sure I say it correctly. Uh, uh, looking at the statistics, half of you can't either. What the fuck? Yeah. that Fallout 4 is a great game, and those who blindly follow other people's opinions deprive themselves of the opportunity to immerse in the wonderful world of the Commonwealth.
Well, you said Fallout 4 is a great game. You're already wrong. Again, great is an objective qualifier. And no, it's not. It's not great at all. In fact, it's terrible. What if many so of guess... the people making these complaints came to these conclusions on their own? Rather yeah. than just mindlessly... like. Sure, for every opinion out there, there's probably someone who will mindlessly agree with it. Um, I, I just don't think that's the majority of people, though. At least when it comes to having a discussion on it. You know? Yes. Yeah. I mindlessly agree with you, Kratosis. Good. Oh, no. You see, the indoctrination has begun. No, mm. I have 645 hours of them. I have concluded it is shit, says Cloudseeker. <laughs> but I have way too many hours on Fallout 4. Let me see how many I have. 20. Oh, God, 20 hours of my life wasted. Oh, actually, um, that reminds me. Uh, yesterday, I was perusing, and I found um, a thing, and I sent it to uh, Pagan and Cree. Um... Playing Half-Life with RTX on is actually pretty fucking wild, not gonna lie. There's some obvious jank because it's a fan mod project, but holy shit, there is some um, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff in that lighting. Holy crap, even as dated as, as Half-Life is, just giving it ray tracing, it looks stunning. Like, holy shit. Highly uh, recommend it, by the way. That mod is out, and uh, yeah, if you have Half-Life 1, um, which, if you don't, it should be dirt fucking cheap at this point, uh, get it. Get that mod. Because you can change between ray tracing and normal, and you can just see what a wild difference it makes on the fly. Uh, Eight bucks. By the way, Setch, um, that hey. fix for fear, I uh, tried that last night. Holy mm -hmm. shit, that, the combat in that game is amazing. I fucking love it. Yes, it is. Like, Have you have you gotten into a full firefight where things are like getting blown off the wall, chunks are coming out and everything like that? A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. And, like, it's just a night and day difference between that and Fallout 4. Mm. Like, it's crazy that a game that made uh, a decade before Fallout 4 does shooting infinitely better in every way. Except yep. for maybe the weapon sway thing we were talking about uh, as you move around. I'd have to go back and double check if it does that with all the weapons or not. Yeah. It's definitely not one... It's one of those things where it's nice to have because it, it gives you the sense of weight of uh, every weapon and stuff. Yeah. But if you don't have it, it's not terrible, mind you. It's just, you know, oh, that, that sucks. You know, it's that little, little chip out of the armor. Mm-hmm. Uh, the AI, yeah, uh, Fear was a fantastic shooter. The AI was a great challenge. Yeah, the AI is pretty good, from what I've seen in the short bit I've played. Honestly, uh, the AI is... So, here, here's the weird thing. The AI is not actually that good in Fear. What makes the AI feel so good is that they knew exactly the limitations of the AI, so they made every single level around those limitations, and on top of that... They made um, uh, tons of voice recordings and voice lines that normal things don't have. Because, you, again, if you're recording voice lines, you're going to say stuff like, he's over there, flush him out of cover, you know, stuff like that. Generic just yeah. blurb, barks. They went, through the, they went through and created a system that would be like, he's over there, behind the sofa, behind the vending machine, he's around the corner. Those little things make a huge difference in how you you feel about the AI because it feels like they're actually acknowledging what you're doing even though they're they're really not yeah half life half life blows fallout 4 out of the water when it comes to combat yes because you actually feel like you're damaging an enemy and that mm. your input in combat is actually you know yeah. Registering. Fucking Fallout 4. Jesus. Just handling the guns in Half-Life 2 and in uh, Black Mesa feels really fucking nice. Oh, yeah. That was the thing that uh, Kree was doing uh, last night. We were just going through the the differences between and everything. And we were showing, like, the, 
<laughs> we were showing um, the shotguns from Fallout 4 and the sawed-offs and everything. He's just like, no, that's that's terrible. That's fucking terrible. Yeah. Ooh, I, I need to grab this comment. So, Cree, they added Legend of Dragoon to the PS Plus catalog. Should I try it out? If you like turn-based RPGs, yes, absolutely. It has a really fucking good story. Um... As far as I could tell, I, I do want to do a, an analysis video on it, but as far as I could tell, it absolutely seems like um, like there's little to no plot holes that I'm aware of. Again, I'd have to go over it, but it, it seems very tightly written. Um, the two things I guess I... Well, three things I would have to warn you about is the graphics have not aged well. Um, you have to really engage with the uh, addition system where uh, every attack you do except for the characters that have uh, bow and arrow um, there's basically a quick time event but this is a quick time event that's actually done well where you have to press a button as your character is using their attack and uh, the more you use the additions um, for each like set of attacks they have the, the more uh the more you upgrade them, the more they get stronger. Um, and the the last thing is the game can get slowed down quite a bit by the combat. It's just something you have to deal with. Um, very well worth it, though, I think. Yeah. Yeah, one of the things um, that I would say about, like, you know, Fallout 4, since they decided, you know, they don't give a shit about the story, and choice definitely isn't a thing in this fucking game. It's like, okay, so you wanted to focus on the combat, but then decided not to actually do anything exceptionally well with it? Yeah. And it's like, then why the fuck did you even make this game? It's so weird. And it's and, like, yeah, we're going to remove all the things that made this game good and focus on the shooting aspect, but we're also not make going to make the shoot. Yeah, exactly, because, like, all of the animations are so generic and basic, and the fact that none of the, like, different versions of the guns get different animations at all yeah. really doesn't help. Like, the big one we found last night was... Um... A sawed-off pistol grip shot, uh, double barrel shotgun and a full stock double barrel shotgun have the exact same animations, even though you would, like, wield them differently. Yeah. Yeah. Or when you hit the enemies and it's just generic blood effects splatter. Yeah, and they don't even react unless they get crippled. If Unless you cripple an enemy when you shoot them, they just tank through all of the shots and don't even react to it. It's so... There's so little feedback. The recoil is nearly non-existent for most of the guns. There's a few where it's okay, but for the most part, it's like, oh, what the fuck? There's, like, nothing here. They... None of the animations look that good. Um, the sounds for the weapons range from serviceable at best to extremely generic and boring at worst and it's just like ah it's like you focused on the combat in this game this is that's literally the thing that you focus the most on improving for some reason and it's still fucking shit <laughs> like it's not terrible i've definitely experienced far worse combat in other games but it's like this is a fucking triple a title where you decided that you're not going to focus on the core elements of the series it's from. And that you're going to focus on the combat specifically. And then didn't even bother to make it decent. The sniper rifle it's so Fall shit. The sniper rifle in Fallout 4 has the bolt action on the left instead of the right. So does the, um, the gun that looks sort of like a Tommy gun. So you have all these shells spraying across your fucking screen in front of your face. It's, it's, I just find it distracting and stupid. 
Yeah, for whatever reason, they made all of the guns that have ejection ports. All of them are left-handed in that game. I don't Most. understand why. Most are. Uh, the 10 millimeter did eject to the right. True. Yeah, I forgot about that. That that one did go to the right. But like almost everything else goes to the left, and I just don't get it. I don't get why. Yeah. Imagine they did that so you could see the gun animations. You could still see them when, like, on the right, though. Because, yeah. again, we were comparing to other games. Every other game we compared to yesterday, um, Half-Life 2 and Black Mesa, um, Seven Days to Die, uh, Fear, the, the casing always comes out from the right, and you can still see it. Uh, Seven Days was actually... I was surprised how good Seven Days got a lot of its gun stuff. Because yep. it's not something I've really paid attention before, but there's there's a lot of good detail there. Um, did you get that super chat by the way from? No, I didn't. Because we were okay. in the middle of saying numerous things. Yeah. All right. Ten dollars from Captain Professor Doctor Horatio Felicia uh, Flungus McDingus the Third. Thank you. Sup, nerds. Yeah. Today's emperor, technically not an emperor, is Gilgamesh. Honestly, if it were me, I would have eaten the immortality weed before skinny dipping. Telling the thought Ishtar to be gone was based. <laughs> um, Five dollars from Reptile0009. Thank you. The Fallout 4 Assault Rifle is one of the ugliest guns in gaming. What were they thinking of designing that gun? It's not even an assault rifle. Yeah, I hate it. I fucking despise it. Yeah, I it. don't know what they were thinking. It's like, okay, you wanted to make something that vaguely looked like the Lewis gun. Yeah. But decided not to put any effort into it when you could have just put the Lewis gun in the game and made it an LMG. But yep. no, they're like, no, this will be our standard assault rifle. What? I yeah, fucking it, hate it. It looks, it looks awful. It does look awful. It it makes no sense. I hate it. It'd be yeah. so fucking unwieldy, too. It, it's This is the kind of thing that... This is what happens when somebody who knows jack shit about guns tries to make a gun that they think looks cool. And it just ends up being the most cursed fucking shit you've ever seen. Yeah, it's like I said, I would have much preferred to just have a Lewis gun, like a standard Lewis gun and make it an LMG because you would get a lot of ammo with it. That's the thing. They they had decently large uh, magazine sizes. So well, well it's because the Lewis guns were belt fed. Yeah, exactly. So it's like it, it could have just been an alternative to the minigun, but they didn't do that they were like no we're gonna make it like a 20 or 30 rounder and make it our standard assault rifle it's like so but it's should, fucking gigantic so should i get a clip of an actual uh lewis gun being fired to compare why this design doesn't make sense you I don't need say, to be yeah. able to do that you can just show the design and be like this this fucking monstrosity of a thing like it is the assault rifle mm. Is the assault rifle in Fallout 4 water cooled? I don't tell you, believe that so. alone, that alone is fucking stupid. Okay, so if it's not water cooled, why the fuck does it have such a gigantic, like, shroud and everything? Yeah, that's what I never understood. It's like the whole point of that big ass gun shroud is that you're supposed to put liquid in it, like water, so that the gun barrel doesn't overheat. But that's not oh, a mechanic in this game. Is that the gun where, uh, when I was streaming Pokemon uh, Pearl months ago, where someone was like, well, if you don't have water, you need a different liquid to cool it down. And then um, yeah. I made the joke by saying, come. And people in chat were like, I was expecting that from someone yeah, else, not be, from Creed. Um, <laughs> no, you could, you, you could use piss as well. Yeah, uh, that was something they... Known to happen. Yeah, they actually did that. It, it fucking reeked. It stunk to high heaven, but it worked. Yeah, because yeah, no imagine shit. Jesus Christ. That, the yeah. literal cum gun. What the fuck? Well, piss. They didn't. They didn't come in it. They pissed in it. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. If they ran out of water to use and they needed to cool the the barrel, they would just piss into the fucking uh 
yeah, into the reservoir. Yeah. And, um, they had to do the ugh. same thing in Vietnam, uh, most famously shown in the movie We Were Soldiers, which is one of the most terrifyingly accurate war movies ever made. Um, the mortars, they ran out of water, uh, and they're, I mean, they're running out of supplies like crazy because they're constantly under attack by the North Vietnamese. But uh, they ran out of water, uh, and the colonel shows up and he's like, why the fuck aren't these mortars firing? Because if they stop firing, they're all dead. And the mortarman was saying, like, I, I told him not to because if we, these tubes are red fucking hot and if we cook off a round, it's going to take out all of us. And so then Colonel Moore just pulls down his pants, starts pissing on him. He's like, get the fuck up and start pissing. Jesus. Yeah, because again, they they needed those mortars. Those mortars were the thing that was keeping them alive at that point. Damn. Uh, I know the the M nineteen seventeen was water cooled. Uh, hold on, let me check something real quick because I know the Lewis gun has that big thing on the front of it, but was it actually water cooled? The Lewis gun was. Um, I feel doing? like it was, but I could be wrong. Not adopted there. Da, da, da. Aluminum breach. Aircraft. Oh, no, it is air-cooled. Really? Yeah, it does not use water. No, the M1917 is the water-cooled version. The Lewis gun is air-cooled. Why does it have a water-cooled jacket on it, though? I don't know. And there's versions of it that don't have the water jacket on it, so I don't know why it has that. I mean, that's clearly the design they were mimicking because it looks almost exactly the same except for the receiver. Yeah, so... So... For if Cree wants to show it here, we can just get this. Alrighty, then. There's the uh, Lewis gun. With its uh, pie, pie plate uh, mag. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that the Lewis gun uh, used the pie plate mags. I was so so used to the Lewis gun using a belt fed. But I I think you're right. I think I'm thinking of the M19. Yeah, I think I was too. Um, in terms of like that specific like thing that it does. But uh, so. But even that looks better than the assault rifle oh, yeah. Fallout 4. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, especially considering that the fucking magazine you get for it is a like you feed it into the side of the gun and it only holds like what 30 rounds. Oh, yeah. When I know this why... thing when this thing should be an LMG that holds at least over 100. I know why um it has I know why it has the the water jacket over it. Cuz they were trying to use a a principle of pressure because it has fins underneath that water jacket. So it's the water jacket on the outside, but they took all the stuff out of the inside of it, and they have fins along the barrel instead that reach out and touch it. So because of the pressure differences when you fire, it should suck in air through those fins. Right. Oh. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Yeah, yeah so I just, it, it does I just work. Realized, yeah, I just realized... Um, because I remember one of the cutaways had all those fins all over, and I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like the design in Fallout 4 technically would work in terms of, like, the barrel. The issue is the receiver. Well, that's the thing. The fact that Because I was looking this up the other day. It's actually based on two guns. The Lewis gun and um, the M249 or something like that. I might be mixing up the numbers, but... Off the saw? Um, yeah, I was about to say, off the saw, that doesn't sound right. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, let me... I, I know I wrote this into uh, one of the scripts for the videos, so... Let me just uh, grab the script very quickly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God damn it. I believe... What? So, uh... 
the the basically the midwit or the stupid take masturbating in a plane the high class <laughs> fancy take hijacking <laughs> <laughs> um yeah the m249 is what i wrote into the script cuz that's what i found uh m249 m249 is the saw and no i don't see how that's even fucking possible well, hold yeah, on. no. Let, let me grab an image of uh, that quickly. Well, yeah, I'll grab it. Well, I'm, I'm grabbing that, and then I'm going to grab the Fallout 4 assault rifle, because it, it has that little handle thing on the side, um, I notice. So let me drop that there. So stupid, though. Yeah, that makes oh. no sense, because if... If it's supposed to be based a, on because an assault rifle, you don't M249, need that fucking carry. Yeah, well, for one, you don't need that, but also the M249 is belt fed. You have to lift up the top and put the belt inside and then close it again. Yeah, but we if already know Bethesda do that, doesn't know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to guns. Yeah, clearly, also, like I don't get why they went with this weird side port that only holds like thirty rounds. I think. Also, it it's is like, water, the Fallout 4 assault rifle is water-cooled. I can see the cap for it, and you can see the piping coming off the side. The fucking thing looks like a PS2 gun, by the way. It looks so bad. I fucking hate it. It just looks so fucking shit. Let me get this up on screen just so people can see it. Guys, Cause... guess what generation of fuck it, what fucking gaming generation this was made in? Because holy fuck. Just looking at it now... Holy shit, I could come up with something better and I don't even do 3D modeling. So here's the thing. The upgraded version of this with the drum mag, the extended barrel, all that stuff is slightly better. It's still not great looking. It's at least somewhat passable if if it was an LMG. That's the thing. If it was a alternative to the minigun, yeah. I could let it slide by, but it's not. This is your standard assault rifle the yeah. only other thing that comes like like that can quantify as an assault rifle that you get in fallout 4 is the combat rifle that's it <laughs> and it's like that's so fucking bullshit why is this the standard assault rifle this should be an optional lmg and it's so annoying that they just didn't classify it as that I fucking yeah. hate the design. I just, I hate it. It's so annoying. Yeah, I hate it too. I Looking at it is causing physical pain. Yeah, yeah, I would have much preferred to have just had either a normal Lewis gun, or if what they say is true, that this thing was based on the M249 saw, just give me a fucking M249 saw. Let, yeah. let's, let's get the image of that up on screen too quickly, just as uh, another comparison. Fucking butt plug gun is what this is. Jesus. Also, the Lewis gun without the, um... Why do I keep forgetting the fucking name of the goddamn sleeve? The water jacket? Yeah, the water jacket. Um, well, air jacket, I guess, in this case, but... Yeah, well, it was I, a modified the... water jacket, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair. The the way this thing looks without it looks way better, by the way. Oh my god, it looks so good without the jacket on it. Yeah. Jesus. That's a large image. Re. There we go. That's the, uh, um, the image I found on Google, the M249. Like, yeah, bo both of those real guns look so much better than this stupid, stupid fake gun. I hate it so much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Hold on. Jesus, this would have been fucking great to have had uh, as an optional, as like an LMG in the game. Holy shit. So here's the... the um, the Lewis gun without the water jacket. 
Oh, yeah, I've seen that picture, and it looks really fucking good. Hold on. It looks so fucking good. It's like, holy shit, I would have loved to have had this in the game. But no, what? we got the fucking shitty assault rifle they went with. What's funny to me about that is it looks like a... Uh, it looks like the Chinese... So, the Lewis gun without the shroud looks like a Chinese knockoff dish gun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but even that looks way better. I would love to, like, be able to shoot that thing in a game. Yeah, I would too. It's like... Oh, man, I don't even know what to compare it to other than, like, it looks sort of like a really ancient version of a PKM with a, um... with a pie mag on it. <laughs> so here's, uh, here's the dish... You don't have to show this creep, but this is why, like I said, this just make it makes me just think of Dishka when I see that Lewis gun. Yeah, I can I can understand that now. Yeah, if you just like replace the um, the fifty cal grip triggers well, with um, oh, a stock. Yeah, and the I, paddles. I found yeah. a really good image on the Fallout wiki that truly shows off the level of stank the Fallout Four assault rifle has. Hold on. Someone told you to look at this gun, Kratos, in chat. I'll oh show. my god! <laughs> oh, yes! That is a really fucking good gun. So, that was a, uh, a Marine stinger. Corps modification. Yep. yep, it's known as the Stinger. It is a fantastic weapon. It is a jury-rigged machine gun that the Marine Corps made from an M1919. So an M1919 Browning, Ooh. they made it man portable. So a single person could operate it and could fire it from the shoulder if needed. It was basically the thing that led up to the creation of the saw to begin with. This thing was like ludicrously revolutionary. And this is this is Bubba gunsmithing. Yeah. The Marines Bubba gunsmith this shit so they could use it. Like, we're not going to have time in jungle fighting to set up machine gun nests and everything. We need to have our machine guns fucking portable. So they did this. What a yeah. brilliant design. But uh, in that thing that Creed yeah. just showed, you can see like what I mean about like, once you put a drum mag on it and get the, like the barrel extended mod for it, it almost looks like a normal Lewis gun, but with, instead of the pie mag being on top, it's on the side. It's like you could almost get away with that if this was just an LMG in the game, but it's not. That's the problem I have, is that it replaces what would normally be any other assault rifle in any other game. This is what replaces it, and it's like, fuck you for that. Fuck you for making this the thing that replaces <laughs> the assault rifle. Like, we could have gotten another service rifle like gun. You know, we could have gotten anything, and we got this. Yeah, I hate it so much. Like, especially Here's that top image cool. it is just exceedingly ugly. Yeah, the top image is really bad. So here, here's what I think would have been cool. If we would have taken... First joining and seeing a gun, Setch, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, the, the assault rifle. So here is what I think would have been way cool. <laughs> if they would have based it off of... We read the same comment. <laughs> <laughs> the Fallout oh, 4 assault at... rifle barrel looks like a glory hole. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Ooh. Yeah, I agree. If we had gotten something like this as our, like, assault rifle, that would have been nice. Yeah, so this is the Johnson, the 1941 Johnson. It was... A rifle that was competing directly with the M1 Garand. It's actually a genuinely, like, really good rifle. Um, it's, but it's a bit clunkier. It, it doesn't have the, the user-friendliness that the M1 Garand does. Which is kind of what uh, sank it in the trials. But uh, he made a machine gun based off of this, which absolutely should have replaced the BAR. The BAR is one of the most overhyped pieces of garbage that there is. But... Um, this, I think, if they had just based the design off of this and got rid of the rotary mag there and instead had, like, a stick mag or something coming out of this, this would have been, like, a really kick-ass-looking assault rifle. It would have 
harkened back to using the M14 in full auto because that's what we had before the AR uh, the AR platforms came into Vietnam. They were using the M14. They which with full auto, which M14 is 30 out six at full fucking auto. Jesus Christ. This yeah. would just be a cool nod to that without actually being the M14. Uh, uh, and oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I was gonna read okay, the well, I was gonna, chat. okay, well, I was just gonna say, um, I really wish more games would have, um, like on top of their assault rifle uh, selection, they would also have a light machine gun selection as well. Like, imagine if Fallout 4 actually had light machine guns, um, where they were actually, you know. Uh, designated as that in the game, and we could have got because, like, you know, they they seem to really want to do this side load mag thing. Fucking, we could have the Bryn gun. You could have put the Bryn gun in the game. That would have been fucking great. I would have loved running around with a fucking Bryn gun and power armor. That would have been fucking fun as hell. But no, we don't get that. We get the fucking shitty assault rifle that we got. Also, uh... and. I put assault rifle in quotations because that is gun. not an assault rifle. I was going to say Lord Carnage is right. I, I said 30 out 6. It's not 30 out 6. It's 308. It's the uh, NATO 762. 308, which is too big of a cartridge. Too big of a cartridge for, for a weapon like that. Yeah, that's that's more like a, a hunting rifle sort of round. Yep. But uh, people ask, or Gray asks, what's, what's bad about the BAR? It is heavy it is overly complicated and it has a 20 round capacity for something yeah. that's supposed to be your support weapon 20 rounds it it cannot single fire it has fast fire and slower fire rates it is just ooh. yeah i don't really like it either even in games i don't like it i like the way it looks yeah. but i don't like the way it it shoots and plays. I'm just like, I never choose it in any game I'm playing because it's so worthless. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, this is, this is a weapon that on either side of it is going to, you're going to have lots of Garands. Garands are lighter. They're more nimble with an eight round capacity and they can reload faster than the fucking VAR can. It's just, it, it's, it was just a huge fucking mistake. It was just a mistake. It really was bad. Um, and they they wanted to do it because the BAR, for anyone that doesn't know, the BAR was a World War One weapon. Right? This is not... So people are people might ask then, why why in World War One were the Americans not using the BAR? It's because the Americans thought it was a super weapon. And so we used the French Shoshaw, only we couldn't use the actual French Shoshaw. We had to make them rechamber it into our cartridge, which was fucking dumb and caused so many problems i hate that the fucking um, u.s military constantly did shit like that like oh yes this good yeah. this good gun that's well designed yes mm, destroy it by rechambering it in 308 fuck you well it wasn't that it was it wasn't that it was like really good the sharp shot had its problems but the problem was was like these were problems that could easily be mitigated and they had remediation drills and everything like that that were ingrained into them because they knew what the Shoshaw was. The moment that you rechamber and recaliber it, now for different gas pressures, different recoil forces, and different magazine sizes, oh my god, so much shit broke on the American Shoshaw. It was yeah, really bad. And, and then of course there's like the whole thing with like what they did with the M14 and shit, and it's just like, oh my god, why do you guys... Why can't you just be consistent? <laughs> like, why can't you just make a fucking reasonable decision? Yep. Fucking hell. But yeah, the BAR, like I said, it was a heavy, clunky bitch. It was just like, oh god, it's it was not a good weapon. It was it was it would have been great in World War One, where the idea of uh, walking fire was a thing, but we we should have switched to the fucking Johnson. Um the Johnson for our uh, squad support weapon. That would have been way better. I love I love the fact, too, that it's like, we should have switched to our Johnson. It's like, yeah, they should have unzipped their pants and fucking pissed on him. That would have been more effective. <laughs> I just no, look at that, chat. 
<laughs> I just see, why can't you just be normal? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, $10 from just a guy from Alabama. Thank you. As much as I like New Vegas guns, it always bothered me how the 9mm SMG, the one based on an M3 gr uh, grease gun, is held with one hand instead of two like you're supposed to. Yeah, that's yeah I agree. That's why I always get oh. mods that let that let you grip the magazine as well. Because it, it looks so weird that you just hold it with one hand. Yeah. Um, but you want to know something fascinating about the grease gun? No. That uh, a lot of people will be... <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm going to tell you anyway. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's something you need to learn, Enclave, em uh, Enclave Emily. One such says, you want to hear an interesting thing about a gun? There is it no... means you're going to hear it. Yes. It, it means you're going to hear it, regardless no of what your answer is. In fact, he no, doesn't even wait for the answer. Exactly. There are no breaks. I'm just it doesn't trying help. to be polite. <laughs> and it doesn't help that there's usually only three of us, and I also want to hear gun tangents because I'm also obsessed with guns, so it's like automatically there's two of us that want to hear it and Spot one of us that don't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, besides the grease gun getting a bad rap because people were used to the Thompson, uh, it's okay. The Thompson ludicrously expensive to produce and manufacture like ridiculously so it was a world war one gun as well really really good world war one gun but holy shit in world war two this is crazy we we needed a stamp sheet metal gun so we got yeah. it with the grease gun and the grease gun is actually a really really fucking good gun but a lot of people when they see it they're like well this is clearly broken there's no charging handle there isn't. There is no charging handle on the grease gun. The way you charge a grease gun, the way you rack the bolt on a grease gun, is you stick your finger into the bolt carrier itself and you pull it back. <laughs> yep. It has a little. It has a little cutout in the bolt carrier group that you stick your thumb in and go. I love that. By the way, I love that you have to stick your finger into the fucking barrel and be like, kink. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's, oh. just, it's just so, it's like, everybody looks at it like, this is clearly fucking broken, because they're, they're thinking of an MP40, where the MP40 has that big old knob on the side of it. It's like, no, 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 grease gun, you'll you'll pull up the dust cover, and you'll see that there's a little indent in the uh, in the bolt carrier group. You stick your thumb in that and go... Ch I do wish they had added the, um, the extended barrel modification for the grease gun in New Vegas, and it, you get that little, like, needle-tipped barrel that you see on some of the grease guns that would have been great i would have loved to have had that yeah. uh two dollars from lanterns glow thank you beat godric the grafted last night now to school oh yeah he's going nice. to ray lucaria school of witchcraft and wizardry <laughs> <laughs> um five dollars from Etico the tricky the stated reason for it was to make a gun that's appropriately sized and looks cool in the hands of uh, the player when they're in power armor. Yeah, but it still looks like shit when you're in power armor. They failed in both regards. Yeah, like, <laughs> there's a reason that they made it so that the super mutants always have one of these things. And it's like, okay, I get it, but it still looks like shit. And you could have easily solved this by just making a normal fucking Lewis gun. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Yeah, you could have even just gotten a Lewis gun without the water cooling fucking sheath. It's ah, oh, there's so much you could have done. You could have just put in a Bryn gun. You could have put in almost any fucking LMG that's ever existed into this game, and it would have been a million times better. Yep. I like how we're oh, just not even responding to the video anymore. We're just talking about how the guns are dumb. Yeah, well, fuck this retard. Who cares? So we just want to talk about <laughs> guns. <laughs> <laughs> this is now this is now going to be a gun uh, stream. It's, oh, again, no. we, we said it back in the past, such talks about guns is the actual abbreviation for stag, so... <laughs> Shilar asks, first stag I've ever caught live, welcome. Uh, who are we groaning about today? Okay, so we're I... groaning about a guy who has that generic YouTube thumbnail style. You know the one. And, um, and uh, after which we're gonna uh, talk about a suicidal super mutant. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have no idea who we're covering right now. Um, Great, look at the screenshot I just sent in the group. Opinion it has a, that style. Opinionch? Yeah, I don't know how to say their name. 
uh, either. It's it's A P E N Y C H. Oh yeah, those are some Appenich. generic thumbnails. Appenich. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know if that's what you say. Like seriously, just look at that. It's that fucking. <laughs> God, it's it's that one that instantly makes you uh, tell YouTube that you're not interested. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stag. Stag talks about guns. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Video. <laughs> We're only 30 yep. seconds into this, and it's a short video, too. We've got a half-hour video to do after this. Yep. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do it. What are the Sola 4 haters regret? Let's Not find out. buying the game. Not giving the game a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit! Shut- This is what I mean. It's like, he honestly thinks that fucking people who dislike the game, they just didn't engage with it. They just didn't play the fucking game. It's like, no, yeah, we did. That's the problem. Of... It's like, the problem is we did give it a chance. I think we would have a higher opinion of it if we didn't give it a chance. Literally, yeah, if, yes. if we ignored all the fucking gunshot wounds throughout the corpse and be like, hey, that's a perfectly normal person. If I didn't give this game a chance, then I would not have experienced all of its content in the base game, and I wouldn't know of all of its issues, and I wouldn't hate it nearly as much as I do now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I played the fuck out of this game for quite a bit. Um, I basically played it for, like, nonstop for a year and a half. And then I just grew to hate it more and more, and I eventually just stopped playing it altogether. Especially after the Creation Club shit, and they started fucking bloating up my PC, and I just was like, fuck it, I'm done. I, I just uninstalled. But, yeah. um... Yeah, no, I've experienced everything in this game. I have given everything more than just a chance. I fucking went deep into all of its mechanics. And the game just isn't good. <laughs> On any front, it does not do anything exceptionally well. That's the Why? problem. It doesn't do a single thing exceptionally well. Question. Why would someone be a hater of something if they never gave it a chance? Well, you have those people that would go in immediately. Like, you have, we have the people that hate Hogwarts Legacy. They'll, they'll, they know, they'll never play it. They'll never watch it. They just want to attack it. They'll never play it because they'll be swinging from a tree by week's end. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. it. I mean, no. But I, I mean, mean, they'd still be classified as a hater, would they not? No, they're just well, retarded. Well, That's... no, there's, there, there, there is genuinely people out there who won't give stuff a chance. Like, yeah. um, there's probably people out there who have always hated Star Wars or Star Trek or uh, whatever other big franchise, Pokemon, without ever having, like, seen any of the movies or shows or played any of the games. It's just, they see this thing advertised on TV and it annoys them, so they hate it. Yeah, and like Scrub Lord says, people hate it on Elden Ring without playing it. We covered two of them, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, no, there are definitely people who don't give shit a chance and will just hate on it because they don't like it for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, I have the memory of a fish. The fish I stole from the people in chat who didn't press the like button. <laughs> God, you're really one of those YouTubers, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, actually. I do the Push the like and subscribe giggle. button and make sure you hit that bell! Ding! <laughs> I just like seeing the like counter go up, okay? It's not even... <laughs> Well, the the funny thing is that that actually does push you up in the algorithm. So it it's stupid, but that is the way to get the AI to actually pay attention to the fact that you even exist. Yeah. Ah. Many up on the game without even trying it, claiming it was just another bug as the game that didn't live up to their expectations. But yes. as it soon. But what if that's true, though? I mean, those people yeah. were right, though. That's the thing. It's like, if they didn't buy this game because that was how, what they were going into the game believing, Expecting. so they just... Yeah, yeah, so they just said, fuck it, I'm not even going to get the game. They would be completely vindicated. <laughs> Sorry yeah, to absolutely. say, but they would be completely right. became clear all for the unique and profound experience worth exploring the fest profound off it is the it is not profound so, go fuck yourself so, citation needed how is it profound explain it to me 
Explain it to me like I'm five. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna have to explain that one to me, because I don't see anything profound about this it's game. It's because, guys, it's because the door animations. No? I... You're, you're... In Fallout you 3, remember, you were chasing your father. Oh. In Fallout 4, you're chasing your son. Ugh. I, I feel it's like so I'm missing fun. an old reference when you're saying the door animations now. Yeah, because of H Bomber guy pointing out the hypocrisy of people shilling for games like this, and then they go to the most minute shit like door animations. Wait, that and he actually put out a video uh, in his Fallout Three critique. I think it was the Fallout. 3 no, you're one. thinking of Mr. Caption's uh, Fallout Four video, where he's oh, calling out I... Mr. Maddie plays. Who got the uh, enhanced edition of Skyrim, and he was—he had the section of his video that captured referenced, and you could see how uh, the light changes because you're opening and closing the doors. I obviously paraphrasing terribly, but yeah, that was Mr. Caption's uh, "No Todds, No Masters." Ah, okay. Now I know. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. He was calling out Camel Works, not Maddie. That was Camel Works. I thought that was Mr. Matty Plays. Yeah. I, I don't I don't watch those two, so I might have mixed up their voices. It's a impressive archaeology and history sim everywhere you go. Robot I'm sorry, what? That that has just made archaeology and something everywhere you go. Yeah, it just came across as gibberish to me. I don't know if I had a like mini fucking stroke there, but I want to hear that <laughs> again. Let's let's listen one more time. Listen close. Clear. Fallout 4 offered a unique and profound experience worth exploring. Bethesda has made an impressive archaeology and history sim everywhere you go. Ro Archaeology, Archaeology and history, Sim. Everywhere you go. No. What the fuck are you talking about? Not even remotely. What are you talking about? Dude, these are the dumb motherfuckers that made the laser musket. <laughs> fuck off. History simulator? How is it a fucking history, Sim? What, because they, they reference <laughs> things that exist in Boston? And then they bastardize them? Like, so yeah. they're unrecognizable? Again, a fucking laser musket exists. A cons in concept, interesting weapon in execution, completely fucked in every regard. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they literally could have just made the fucking crank produce infinite ammo. Yeah, guys, I played <sighs> Fallout 4. I got an A in my history class. That's, that's how that happened. Well, God. if I if I were to assume, it, it's even hard to steel man this point because it's so fucking out there. But if I had to assume best faith, when he says history sim, it's like, oh yeah, the game has lore and history behind it. But then even then, it's like, yeah, but the lore and history is dog shit. Yep, absolutely. Yep. And archaeology, I, I don't know what he could possibly be fucking referring to for archaeology. Yeah, we're looking at the rotting skeleton of good Fallout games. The only thing that even remotely comes close to even mentioning archaeology is the fucking, um... Uh... Oh, shit. What, what's their name? The, the scientist dude whose father is, like, possessed by an alien or right, some shit. Right, right, right. Uh, the Cabots. Yeah, that's it. Man, fuck you for reminding me of that shit. God, I fucking <laughs> hate those characters and that stupid fucking quest. It's so dumb. It's so retarded. Why is it in a Fallout game? Fucking Robots obsessed with independence have settled aboard the frigate constitution and protected one of the res. Robots obsessed with the American Revolution on the USS Constitution and protect it. What? How is that history, you dumb fuck? <laughs> yeah, How is that archaeology? That's literally nothing. That's just some robots on a boat. Yeah. I can't it's, believe the Constitution is important. That's that's it. But they don't explain why it's important. They don't go into any details about it. They don't tell you any history about it. Yeah. Oh my god. I am 
terrified at what he's going to reference for this character. Because this character is just literally the future Emma joke you see all the time where people in the future completely misinterpret stuff from the past. Yeah. Residents of Diamond City, an ancient game of baseball, in the process of which people beat each other to death with wooden bats. A maze of trap. What? <laughs> yeah, which you realize is wrong. That was the, the point. They were the... making a joke character. <laughs> ancient game of baseball. People beat them each other to death. What? The, 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 the fuck history? I almost yeah, set my I, hair on fire just now. What the fuck? I don't get what this point is because it's so weird. It's one thing if he had said, I, I like the wacky, zany, loony, dumb shit that they put in this game. That would be one thing. But that's not what he's saying. He literally prefaced this this part with, oh, yeah, archaeology and history, guys. It's so profound. And then oh. references that dude and his fucking uh, weird delusion that fucking people beat each other with baseball bats as for sport in the past not just that but this is like still part of the section of oh people didn't give this game a chance yeah exactly it's like you didn't give the fucking game a chance guys you missed the fucking retarded baseball player in diamond city who thinks that fucking baseball was a blood combat sport i mean to be uh, fair it would be a lot more interesting if it was <laughs> fair by, by the way, guys, uh, pro tip, do not try to scratch behind your ear if you have very long hair and are also holding a lit cigarette. Nice. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. How much burn? Bad. Not much, because I caught it practically instantly, but... <laughs> wow. That's like the fourth time in the last year and Holy a half I've shit, are you my the fuck? <laughs> Okay, no, hold on, that is... <laughs> <laughs> it's because I love fucking messing with my hair constantly, but I'm also a fucking chain smoker, man. God, I just immediately was like, God damn, Enclave Emily needs a fucking helmet. Like, yes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's literally that meme of put a helmet it's on. It's never been much. It's always like just a, like a fucking centimeter, but it's fucking... The Honestly, fact you do it at all, the fact you've done it multiple times at all is fucking yeah. insane. It's Doing never... it once because you have a brain fart, fine. Doing it four times, not acceptable. <laughs> it's never much until it is. <laughs> it's just one full arsonist. Literal Darwinism. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, if Emily burns up, will that be classified as a suicide? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop emulation! It'll, I'll be very angry, IRL. <laughs> Gets added to the statistic list. <laughs> 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 Which we then cite as like, yeah, see guys, 50%. I'll be the thing that tips it to actual 50 or something. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll yeah. just use it just to fucking like spite you. <laughs> You'll be in the afterlife <laughs> like, you fucking assholes. <laughs> Woman moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting very good at that. You should emulate yourself right now. Perhaps <laughs> <laughs> admin outside Milton Hospital. In addition to this, there are countless small stories scattered throughout the Commonwealth, which are told not by words, but by the environment. Some Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the fucking environmental storytelling in fucking Fallout 4 is some of the worst it's been. Like, Fallout yes. 3 wasn't good, but Fallout 4's is even worse. Wow, my environmental storytelling so deep, I put a skeleton. But I put it next to a playground, and I put a, a burnt-up uh, bear next to it. Wow, and my environmental a... storytelling. That teddy bear is so interesting, right? Do you get the implication? 
and, 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 and there's a scaled down adult sized human skeleton to be about child size because we need dead babbies in our game. Yeah, even though, spoiler alert, children's skeletons don't look like that. Yeah. Your skeleton is developing and changing as you grow. Women sips coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking <laughs> that animation. God. Women. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're at the water cooler. Or, sorry. There's one where it's at the water cooler. There's one where they're just in the backyard. And one of them's drinking, like, coffee out of a normal mug. And the other one's drinking coffee out of the literal fucking coffee maker uh, thing. Yep. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Jinx fucking... God. Clinks the cups. They both start laughing to themselves. Yeah, they and they keep laughing, and then they'll just stop and awkwardly go. There you go. And then start <laughs> laughing again, and then it's literally it's just this. <laughs> it's literally that. <laughs> <laughs> the estrogen works. The estrogen works. <laughs> okay, now. Now everybody's <laughs> mocking me. <laughs> well, you are French, so you deserve to be mocked. Kill yep. yourself. Later. <laughs> also, I guess uh, while it's on screen, I I hate how big the 10 millimeter pistol is. I hate. I yeah, hate I don't yeah, like how is. overly chunky it is. It's so weird. <sighs> yeah, there was a comment about that earlier, but I didn't I didn't read it because you were in the middle of a gun tangent. It, yeah, yeah, you. You don't want to get gun tangents within your gun uh, tangents. They're already within your gun tangents. Exactly. You, you, yeah. the, the, we're, going, we're going too many layers. The the more layers deep you go in your gun uh, tangents, the closer we get to reaching a singularity. <laughs> don't yeah. ever let Emily have a car. Fuck you. I'm good at <laughs> I also got. I didn't get to say my joke either because <laughs> everyone was talking at once. I was gonna fucking say um. <laughs> Because when Emily was like, kill yourself, I, I was just going to be like, well, he doesn't want to step on your toes. That's your territory. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said he's a student and he learns from the master. But oh, That God. also works. Yeah, I, this is just this weird thing is like, 9mm will look like a normal, regular pistol. And then the moment it's 10mm, suddenly a lot of game developers are like, oh, it's got to be a huge hand cannon look at things. It's like, no, that's be something if you had like 700 nitro express and a normal semi-automatic then sure i could see that but fucking hell a, a 10 millimeter pistol is just slightly bigger they're, yeah. not, they're not like ludicrously massively bigger exactly also environmental storytelling since this is the point this guy just made can be very easy to do on a very surface level um well, level. Because the example he's showing on screen here is, oh, there's a grave dug and there's a raider in it. Um, there's a lot you can infer from that. Maybe uh, there's a close-knit group of raiders and this was one of their friends that they're burying because they actually care about them. Maybe the person who killed this raider to survive is someone who um, still respects the dead no matter what they did in life. You know? But that, that doesn't really add up to a whole lot on its own. It's the more significant stuff to the world that I think is more important. Like, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. include stuff like this in your game, too. There's nothing wrong with this, but it also does it's, it doesn't save the game. It doesn't save the world building or the uh, environmental storytelling or anything like that. Yeah, yeah if the world um, is completely fucked from the ground up, it's just... Ooh. And, and this is one of the points I find more annoying when people bring it up as a defense. Many a true nerd did this too in one of his videos. I can't remember which. I think, I think it might have actually been the Fallout Three one. But um, oh, there's uh, you know silent playgrounds where children used to play. It, it adds to this eerie atmosphere. It's like, okay, sure, but I mean, if you're pointing, like, if you're so desperate that you're pointing at this as being one of the big positives, and maybe the game falls short in other areas that are kind of vital to it being good. Yeah, exactly. This in is, a good game, this, this is, would make good flavor content. That's it. Yeah, th this is the kind of thing you say to... Like, you point at this stuff, and you've already got a lot of good things going for it. You don't say, 
Well, the game isn't that bad, guys. It has environmental storytelling. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking shit. And if I remember correctly, this specific one he's at, there's like there there's a raider kneeling over this raider like as they're burying him. And of course you just kill them. And then you see that there's a body in the uh in the grave. And that's it. That's that's the extent. Yeah, like what if you had that encounter and said does he turn hostile right away when he notices you? Immediately, like he's he's a he's already a red dot on the compass before he even stands up. How much more interesting would it be to find this raider guy, and even call him like generic raider at first, but instead of immediately shooting you, like he's still a morning and he's not in that mode, and uh, he talks with you. Maybe you can recruit him to one of your settlements, or maybe he just goes off his own way, like swearing off raiding, or maybe he goes back to raid. It doesn't matter. As long as there's that moment where, you know, this character is deeper than, oh, there's a human, I'm going to shoot. Yeah, it, they could have done literally anything. It, even just something as simple as, like, I'm not in the mood today, I'm not, like, not today, you know, like, not, like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally just, just, you know, it's like, my friend died, not today, it's the, go it's away. It's the Johnny Gap thing. Yeah, I was just about to reference that exact thing. Yes. I will kill you any day of the week, but not today. Yeah, just let the, let me have my fucking funeral for my wife. Yeah. Please. Um, but uh, another thing I want to talk about, here's a big fucking problem with it. Here's what ruins your fucking storytelling. You made a raider corpse and gave it generic raider loot on the fucking corpse. Stuff that they wouldn't throw away. Why are you throwing away a double barrel shotgun when people are starting to... Re like, revert to using pipe weaponry, and pipe weaponry in Fallout 4 is god-awful. But yeah, people are reverting so to using pipe weaponry. You have an actual proper gunsmith gun here, and it's loaded that you're keeping on the fucking corpse. Why? I understand the armor. Fine. Bury her in her armor. Why are you burying a valuable tool for your profession as a raider as well? You could even include an item, like a, a small keepsake, like a uh, like a necklace or something. It shows that there's just that little bit more connection between these characters, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. cause all this does, this undermines this entire funeral. This undermines it. Yeah. Because it's, it's just ludicrous. It's ludicrous that you would bury these things that are useful to you. The armor, you could say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm not a woman. I can't fit in this armor. It wouldn't fit me. It's her armor, maybe has her blood and everything in it, stuff like that from whatever killed her. It's like, okay, yeah, we'll just bury her in her armor. But I'm going to keep the shotgun that still works. I'm going to keep the fucking ammunition. Because that shit isn't getting pumped out like candy. Yeah, even if you're so sentimental as to bury the gun with her, you would at least take the ammo. Yeah. That pretty cool's bad, Todd. No, no, no. That wasn't Todd. That was a meal. Again, th that speech about writing that Emil did is a goldmine for how awful Bethesda is as a company. Because Emil said that effort is... Well, he didn't... This is us inferring the meaning from the fact that we don't do design documents or anything anymore. Because we find that they get in the way. It's like, so you don't put in effort to make sure your stuff actually fucking works? What the hell? Or that your stuff is coherent and makes sense with each other? Jesus. Um, to be honest, it was cons. I would understand it. Because cons were heavily inspired by the Mongols. And Mongols believed uh, that people would keep their stuff in the other life if they are buried with them. There's a lot of um, religions or belief systems that have that belief that you carry stuff over to the other side. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a generic raider. But yeah, this is a generic raider. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this is something that could be solved if you ha did have unique raider tribes or groups within the game that do have their own belief system. Yeah. Yeah, and it's surprising how much stuff you can get out of just by making characters in Fallout like believe in something. Um, like you know, for all of its faults, Honest Hearts is still a very interesting DLC, specifically because of the whole, like, 
Mormon aspect to everything. And like you yeah. see like because it's it's almost alien in Fallout where you know these people are like saying stuff like especially Daniel, where it's like, I don't want to kill because you know it's like it's against my belief to to kill people. And it's like we should just leave. And it's like that is completely alien to the point that your own you you have the option of your character to say, like, I don't understand. Yeah. You know, like that just doesn't make sense. Like that's not how things work. You're naive. But you know, it's like you there's so much you can do with it. It because I love the dynamic between like Daniel and uh Joshua. Because there's just such that big gap between them where it's like righteous retribution and the whole like I will not take a life by any means because it's against my religion. Yeah. And I love that. It's so interesting. Like, yeah, that 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 DLC has some faults and it definitely could have been a little bit more fleshed out, but it's still really good what we get. It's it's a million times better than anything we get in Fallout 4. Yep. Yep. And like uh, the only thing of religion we get in Fallout 4 is that one church in Diamond City, and there's like nothing more to it besides some like the all faith church where I sit in a corner and think about stuff for a while. Yeah, you get some like well wishes from the priest at one point, and that's about it. Uh, $5 from SC437. Thank you very much. Bury me with my bottle caps. <laughs> no. Uh, There's the children of Adam. The children of Adam are fucking nothing burgers. They're fucking stupid. I hate the children of Adam. The fucking DLC uh, Far Harbor tries to do a little bit more with them as a faction where you actually get to talk to them and stuff, but even then, it's fucking stupid. Because all that DLC does is prove that they're still that they're just insane. They're literally all just insane. Yeah, I hate them so much. Yep. Yep. Um, five dollars from just a guy from Alabama. Thank you. Quick question: What are y'all's uh, opinions on quick time events? I think they can be done well, and my go-to example would uh, is Rise Son of Rome. I've never played that game. My go-to example is still Legend of Dragoon. I mentioned it earlier, but the way they handle quick time events there is really good because a lot of times when we see them in games, it's kind of the Assassin's Creed thing where you're in a cutscene and a character goes to do a motion and a button pops up on screen to, to do an act. If you don't hit it fast enough and a lot of times you're not prepared, then mm -hmm. I, I don't even know if it fails anything or not, honestly. Um, Metro uh, Exodus does them pretty well. Um, like, for example, if um, it's f if a monster jumps at you, you don't even need to see what the button is to know what to press. You press the melee button, and your character will knife the monster. That it's the sort of self-intuitive thing that you you instantly jump to it. Or if you're if you've got a character that. Uh, yeah, a character on their knees or whatever. You could press the. There's a quick time event there, but you can press the melee button, or you can press the button to knock them out, and it'll have different results. And if you don't press anything, they'll smack you in the face or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it that's should be. Say, I'd say quick time events it... would work well. Not not so much in that. It... I don't want it just to be the single button push thing like that. I think that's weird. But I think quick time events would work well if they are intrinsically tied to the actual mechanic that they do. Well, that's... So, like, that's my big problem in Resident Evil 4, where the quick time events just innately just come out of nowhere. It's like, oh, uh, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Well, A, B doesn't do that in any of the normal gameplay. It's just generically for this. Like, left, uh, left trigger, right trigger now. It's like, that's just generically for this. It doesn't actually do that in the actual game. Nothing like that. But if, say... Like your characters lining up to run and jump over something, and then they tell you to push the jump button during it. It's like, yeah, that's fine, because again, that's something intuitive and built into the gameplay. Your jump button would make you jump. It makes sense your character would jump. 
So I would be more okay with stuff like that, where the context fits the keys that are actually in the normal gameplay, the normal uh, pace of the game. Yeah, if you play Metro Exodus on Hardcore, there's going to be a lot of situations where you're going to have to react to, to things like that. And uh, it doesn't show anything on the screen. Like, no prompts, no nothing, no UI. And But you, but I've never failed any of them, because I always know what the button is. Oh, the uh, monster's attacking me, and he's coming from the left. All right, so I press D to shift to the right to dodge the attack. Just that. Easy. Well, the example I was trying to Sounds use... Sounds terrible, actually. No, no, yeah, no. I... It's a, 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 The way I described it is awful, but uh, if you see it, it's, like, really obvious. Like... I don't know exactly how to describe it, but it's something that you do just out of instinct. The uh, the example I was trying to use is the Legend Dragoon combat system, because I mentioned it, I didn't get, really get to describe it this time. Um, when you select your attack to attack an enemy, your character will run up to them, and there will be um, a button to press, and you have to time it right to continue the attack. And sometimes the enemy will do... Um, a counterattack, which admittedly isn't animated, um, like the the enemy itself doesn't have an animation for a counterattack, but that is supposed to be the mechanic that's happening, and uh, you have to press a different button for that to uh, deal with that. Um, and I think that system is pretty good. Gray says, I've only played the first two Metro games. Is the third one any good? The third one is fucking superior. Go and play it. I, I, know, I, I know I'm shit at describing the mechanics of it, but my god. I won't. I'm still boycotting that game. I, I don't. Game. I did not like Metro Exodus. I, I thought you it was, did not. What I did not like it. I thought it was pretty fucking shit, honestly. Yeah, and I, and I won't play it because the developers are shitheads. I won't I won't fucking touch that game. Yeah, that shit pissed me off, too. That was another thing that really made me... Not the developers. No, the developers were swinging that fucking dick, too. Yeah, they, they were, were absolutely being... absolutely swinging that dick. And then when they yeah, got they were being... it, they, they had to be like, ah, well, we, uh, blew the... Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, you piece of shit. Yeah, that shit pissed me the fuck off where they were like trying to blame the fans and stuff, and they were like, well, fine, we just won't make any fucking games then if you're gonna criticize us in any way, and it's like, go fuck yourself. You guys go put fucking it on fuck fucking yourself. Steam and took pre-orders and then backed out of it because Epic gave you money like little whores. Yeah, then the Don't moment people yourself. criticized them for that shit, they were like, well, fine, we just won't make you any fucking games then, you pieces of shit. Like, because they were getting, like, completely reasonably criticized... That shit pissed me off, but also I just didn't like the game. Like I said, I won't touch. I won't touch Metro Exodus. They can they can fucking sit on dick and spin. I think it was a great game, but maybe that's just me. Maybe, maybe not for Pagan. I guess. Um, not for a lot of people. Let's go grab this comment quickly, then we can get back to the video. Hey guys, I don't know if anyone has asked you this. But what do you uh, think of Bethesda implementing HP Lovecraft stuff in Fallout and the Elder Scrolls? In Fallout, no, I think it's that. abysmally fucking stupid. There's enough going on in the Fallout world without including aliens and Lovecraftian beings. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Elder Scrolls is kind of a different story because I can imagine there being creatures like that. Era. Well, not even referring to him. I could imagine there just being creatures like that in that world. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it, it just, I just... I can't trust that Bethesda would ever pull off Lovecraftian yeah. style, like, at all in, yeah. in anything they do. Because they can't. Yeah. Every time they've tried it, it's fallen flat. Yeah. But um, I could definitely believe it a lot more in the Elder Scrolls world and is, in the same way I could believe it existing in the Warcraft world. Yeah. Yeah. You want know proper Lovecraft do Secret World. That is a game that has proper Lovecraftian elements. Oh. While not being a Lovecraft game in and of itself, I should say. Because obviously, stuff like Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth, stuff like that, that's all about Lovecraft. But if we're talking about a game that isn't focused primarily on Lovecraft, but does Lovecraftian stuff really well, Secret World. 
my confess even brought my eyes. Olaf 4 has something to surprise. What? What? Stories Cheers. scattered throughout the Commonwealth, which are told not by words, but by the environment. Some, I confess, even brought tears to my eyes. Well, you can't be meaning this fucking raider encounter. Yeah, that's... There's no way. There's no way you fucking... Oh, it's so soul-crushing of fucking raiders standing over the corpse of another raider oh how fucking sad you can't even talk to them in fact they attack you immediately in fact you just showed off you just killed that person fucking hell Love something to surprise. All you need to do is just give it a chance. Not exploring all the different factions and side quests. <laughs> the factions and side quests are shit. That's are one of the big problems. Yes, absolutely. Holy shit, man. The factions are nonsensical, like, in every regard. Just... My... Just... Think about how any of these factions work. Just think about the Railroad for a second. Just think about the Institute for a second. Just think about the Brotherhood for a second. Like, think about the Minutemen. The Minutemen are the ones that can only vaguely make sense. Hey, we want to form together a group of mutual protection. And, you know, this city is steeped in the history of Minutemen. It's like, what if we take from history and rebrand ourselves as that? What if we band together to make a protective force? Like, you can see the common through line for, the, through line for that. Yeah. The railroad? Uh, well, there was the Underground Railroad in history, and we're going to do the same thing for the Synths. Which, yeah, but... why do the Synths exist when there are combat androids that are clearly superior in every fucking regard to the Synths? Because you have Kellogg. Yeah, and it's so ridiculous. Well, he, Kellogg is a that. cyborg, but... Um... That's what I'm saying! A combat cyborg. Yeah, you said android. Yeah. Wait, did I say android? Yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I meant cyborg. Um... Yeah, I have a big problem with the railroad because they're this totally underground group. It's like, okay, sure, but like, how are you surviving? Because um, yeah. I can understand maybe a group of people who want to fight for a cause, but you have to realize this is a world where people are struggling to survive. So how do these people just have absolutely no problem with food and water? Yeah. Yeah. And, and my thing with the Institute is just, just the fact that the only reason that they could actually have to make sense is if it was like some sort of like we just want to make humans but they can survive on the surface like if it was something where like oh we we upload our consciousness into these bodies that are you know more suited for life on the surface or something that could make sense or if it was literally just we're playing god and we want to create life and this is how we've decided to do it. And it's like, you know, it's like, oh, and they, they actually have, you know, emotions and feelings and stuff like that. We've done it. But that's not what they do. In fact, they go out of their way to be like, mm, no, if, it, if it's experiencing emotions, it's clearly just a glitch and it needs to be fixed. Send it off to the to the reprogramming room. Clearly, it, no, we, we just needed to carry our toasters back and forth. And it's like, you already have synths that do that. You have fucking, you have fucking, uh, what are they called? The, uh, Mr. Handy. No, the other thing, the, the new, th the Assaultrons. You have Assaultrons that are basically just superior versions in every way of that. Why would you yeah. not just use that? Well, I mean, but no, uh, every robot they have, like, aside from synths, just in the world in general, seems superior to synths. Cause it's the kind of thing we've talked about before where, okay, I want a robotic thing to plow a field for me do i make a robot designed to have like only ever be in a field and plow the field or do i design a human who has to do it manually like a normal human would i would design yeah, the exactly. plow robot yeah and, and that was the, we... that was the joke that rick and morty made where he gives sentience to a robot and the robot looks at me and says yes thank you father what is my purpose you're gonna smear butter on bread oh god no <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, all the robots we see in these games seem to, uh, do these functions better. Like, in terms of combat, 
Okay, maybe protect, uh, Protectrons aren't that great. They seem like a um, lower-budget, like, combat robot. But then you have the Mr. Gutsy, you have the Assaultron, you have the Sentry Bot. Um, you even have the robot brains in previous uh, Fallout games. I guess in one of the expansions for this one. Those all do combat better than, like, a normal human would. Like, if you were to put them in realistic situations, because, of course, the player can beat them. Um, yep. you, you want a robot to, uh, be a servant. Okay, well, Mr. Handy seems to be used for pretty much fucking anything. There's a bunch of Mr. Handys that run greenhouses. There's Mr. Handys that run a, uh, small, like, theme park type place. Um, I, I forget the name of that one place, but it's just full of Mr. Handys that, uh, will kill you if you say anything to them. Um... So yeah, it just, like, it's it's one of the really annoying things about this game. Why do you make sense? I don't know. The, the, the best answer this game has is that fucking meme of the old guy shrugging. Yeah, it, that's my thing. It's like, there's so much you could have done with the Institute, and they did fuck all. And then, in fact, it seems almost like they were doing the opposite of what it seems like they should be doing. Like I just brought up, it seems like they're trying to create life, like play God and create like new life. But then they don't treat it like new life. They they literally are just like, it's just a robot, guys. It, it can't feel and have feelings. It running away. It's clearly just, it's just a glitch. Send it to the fucking reprogramming thing. Fuck it. Yeah. And it's like it's like that goes against like your only possible motivation. So what the fuck is the <laughs> point? And this is treading dangerously close to a discussion we've had numerous times now, but what the fuck are the synths? Because if you want to play God and create life, that's one thing, but are these robots or are they, like, biological creatures that you've created? We just don't know. Yeah, and it's hard to tell because when you see these things getting created, it seems like the entire thing is organic, yet somehow they have... They act like robots. They act like robots, and they have mechanical parts in them. And it's like, but we, but from the process we just watched of one being created, there is no fucking robotic parts being inserted. So where the fuck does that come from? It makes no sense. <laughs> and I just don't get the point of it, because it's like... It, it seems like the only reason they make them is because, well, we just want better servants. And it's like, well, how is an organic life form going to be a better servant? It's like, <laughs> that, that shit's going to break down. No, this is the best part about it, Pagan. We biologically engineered more people just so we could reinvent slavery. Basically, yeah, that's <laughs> literally what it seems like. It literally just seems like, well... You know, it, like, the robots don't scream out in pain the way I like when I hit it. So, clearly <laughs> we need to just make new life so I can torture it. Because when my Roomba runs into the wall and I, I programmed it to scream every time it hits something, that's just not the same as when I beat an actual fucking person. That, it, like, that's literally what it feels like. That reminds me of that comment. I made a robot who screams. Why? And it's just, like, the scientists thinking, like, why did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so fucking weird. It it makes no sense. They have no real motive. The institute requires you to have an IQ of 250 to understand its motives. Of course no one understands them. Yeah, and then of course <laughs> of all the animals that they could try to bring back using this like synthetic program thing, they make fucking gorillas for some reason. Something that's not even native to <laughs> North America at all. But they're yeah. like, yeah, we'll and, just make fucking gorillas with it. And is it useful for, like, a, as a beast of burden or anything? Or as, like, a farm animal? Nothing. There's yeah, nothing, nothing useful about gorillas. Yeah. yeah, they could have made cows. They could have made horses. They could have made anything that is actually useful. And they made a fucking gorilla that, if it gets out, will probably just maul you to death. Yeah. Like, fucking Why? Cows or chickens would probably have been the best things to go for in that regard, because 
cows, you get meat and milk. Chickens, you get meat and eggs. Like, it's just... Assuming... Fuck, can they even produce? Like, I don't know. That's the thing. Because apparently they're just robots and they can't actually do biological things. So things like mating and laying an egg would not be possible. But at the same time, we, we don't know because the way that they're shown to be created is biological. So it's like... Which is it? So that also raises the question of do they age? And if they don't, then that means that child synth Sean that you get at the end of the game is stuck as a child for pretty much eternity. Yeah, exactly. It's, it, it's unless, like a fucking... Unless it gets even more cursed and he still ages but doesn't grow. So you've got this like 80-year-old, 10-year-old child who's about to die from like old age which is what i think i think it's literally just exactly that like if you make a child it will be a child forever but it will still have the uh the problem that m most of it being biological it's just going to break down like everyone else so you're just going to have a child that's going to become old and decrepit yeah so what's the fucking point why wouldn't you just make a robot at that point It makes no fucking sense. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand their motivation whatsoever. It makes no sense when you think about it for more than five seconds, which for, for whatever like reason is just like super hard for people. If they don't age, they're genetically perfect humans since old age is a defect of RNA copying. Yeah, exactly, which is why I was trying to say, like, if it was a thing where... You know, like these these are meant to be life forms that are just like superior to humans and can live on the surface far better than actual humans can. It's like that would be one thing if they were if they honestly thought that they were creating the next generation of humans and like the next evolution of mankind or something, I could maybe understand their motivations more, but that's not what it is at all. In fact, they, they treat them like they're nothing more than glorified toasters. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's it's the like, annoying so thing, what's the point? That's the annoying thing about it is the game tries, seems to be trying to treat it in both ways as in, oh yes, this is the Institute, you know, mankind redefined. Uh, mankind will survive whatever form that takes. Um, and stuff like that. Oh, this is... Do they even say this is the next step in evolution? I, I don't know. know, but the implication seems to be there that they that they want these synths to, to be fully, like, conscious and have uh, thought. But again, like you say, at the same time, they treat them like toasters. Like, where's... Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't there be confirmation bias? If I'm trying to create a sentient robot with thoughts and feelings, and then I produce a robot that has thoughts and feel or seems to have thoughts and feelings, why would I immediately just write that off as, no, it's faulty, we're not there yet? Yeah, I don't get it. It makes no sense. Like, there's nothing to imply that they don't have thoughts and feelings, but somehow they just write it off as, like, a glitch or something, and it's like, that doesn't make any sense at all and i feel like it would have been a much more interesting idea if they had like gone with something where if they wanted to keep the whole father asp aspect and him having cancer it's like wouldn't you then want to like in order to preserve your own life and stuff and uh, as a way to preserve the life of everyone else be like you know it's like uh, i want to put my consciousness into a synth body like that's like the ultimate goal of the program is not just Which... to to create new life but to put the life of the of like you know the existing humans into a synth body so that they can better live in this new world you know it's like that would actually make some semblance of sense but they don't do that at all they don't even attempt that well, we don't know about consciousness, but we do know that memories can be transferred into a robot because of Nick Valentine. And that's my whole problem with, um, the case of three synths, where, like, how the synths get their memories is completely fucked. Because they have three contradictory situations that all break each other. Yeah. 
But remember, we didn't give the game a chance. We didn't look into any of this because we wanted to find out the answers. We just dismissed it all out of hand because we didn't give it a chance. Yeah, clearly. <sighs> Another Texan bull comment. Ah, father, the only human untouched by radiation dies of cancer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that also raises another question. If the synths are these biological entities and they have, um, I guess, organs that we would have, then couldn't you, like, just fabricate a synth, then harvest it for organs to, to like, replace someone else's? Essentially, yes. Well, yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to do in the real world, only yeah, exactly. not making sense. What we're doing is we're 3D printing the, the organs. We're 3D printing the yeah, cells and everything that are needed. That's far more ethical than what I just thought of with the synths, but it doesn't even seem like the Institute even thought of that, you know? Yeah, and it's weird because, like, you don't even need biological organs. So long, like, you can have completely synthetic organs so long as they still serve the same purpose yeah so there's no reason why creating synths the way they do like the like organ manufacturing wouldn't work they could probably cure cancer which is hilarious considering their leader is dying of cancer and they don't even bother to try and fucking resolve yeah, that's, that that's one of the annoying things about this game is you have all this insane technology you've been able to keep kellogg alive for like 180 years or he isn't that old it's like 120 years i think um but either way you've been able to keep this man this old for this or sorry alive this long and still looking fairly young like relatively young but you can't cure this guy's cancer like what yeah, yeah, when literally in the other room you have a organ replicator that could make <laughs> literally any working organ that exists and you can't cure his fucking cancer. What? Or again, the synths are based off his DNA. Why not just print up a copy of his body and transfer his memories to it? Even exactly, if it's not the that's... same consciousness. I know you mentioned that earlier, but like it, it's just such an obvious solution. Exactly. That's like the whole thing I'm trying to get at here. It's like they could totally do that. It's like it's basically immortality in a sense. And it would actually make sense as a motivation because it's like, yeah, these like e even just assuming they don't care about the human race and that's not what the point is. And they're just selfish assholes who the entire point of their existence is just to find the Holy Grail or to create it in some way so that they can live forever. The sense would essentially do that because they can upload their memories to them. So in in a way, it would still be immortality. It would still work. And they just don't even consider that. It's not even brought up as an option. It's just so weird that there's so many possible motivations they could have that would make some sense. And they just go with none of it. So they have no motivations. Yeah. Yeah. It's so shit. It's such a worthless fucking faction. <laughs> yeah. um, from another Texan bull in chat, he could get. Uh, he could have brain cancer. <laughs> get wrecked, loser. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad Sean dies. I hate that character so fucking much. Um, yeah, yeah, I am too. Fuck him. Why is Sean their leader anyway? Because it's a crazy, cool, unexpected twist that you're. Babby is now the leader of this horrible faction. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah, which is. Ugh. Aren't you morally conflicted now? No. Because no. we've no. seen fact, that he clearly turned out to be a shithead. In fact, I I immediately pulled out my guns and shot him. God, it's so weird that they even did that too. Well, obviously, it was just done for the twist, but it's like. Ah, oh, yes, this outsider from a vault that we used for, like, test subjects. Yes, the the babby we got from there. Yes, they should be our next leader. Not not anyone currently already in the Institute who has served here this entire time. No, clearly the babby who grew up from a vault well, that we kidnapped should be the leader. It's not even that, because I believe the implication is they became the leader later on in life. It, it does make sense yeah, that they would have him... 
like they would treat him like one of their own once they have the DNA. It's like, yeah, grow up with us, learn with us, become one of our great minds. Um, but that leads into the other issues that I've talked about before with Kellogg's cybernetics. Oh, everyone is jealous of Kellogg's cybernetics. Everyone can see that he lives such a longer life and he's uh, stronger and faster and probably smarter uh, from these cybernetics. I'm going to cancel this because it is um, a horrible algamation of uh, biology and technology. Okay, so first of all, what the fuck are the Sims? Second of all... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> second of all, no one else got these cybernetic enhanced... Like, I, I get that they were testing on Kellogg. They tested on him a long fucking time ago. Um, you're telling me no one else got it in these many decades? Because, again... If we were to assume he became the unquestioned leader at the age of 18, that's still nearly 20 years that other people could be getting these cybernetics. And you would fucking damn well know that if they worked on Kellogg for the first, like, even five years, they'd be approving that shit to use on other people. Um, yeah, especially 20 years. But he, does, he doesn't even become the leader at uh, 20 because there's a line of dialogue that says he worked hard for many, many years to become leader. It implies that he's a much older adult when this happens. Yeah, yeah it's so weird. It, it doesn't make any sense. I just don't... I don't get any of it. No, nothing they do makes any logical sense. Also, yeah, you only find out Sean has cancer if you pick... If the one single chance you have to ask, you pick the right dialogue option, or else it's just a mystery disease that's never mentioned. Um, I even checked on the follow wiki for his uh, dialogue, and I believe the word cancer only comes up once. Uh, membership message for 12 months from the Wayfarer. Thank you. How is it that the insane brains of the think tank are far more competent than all the Institute combined? Another stolen idea ruined in Fallout 4. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would say competent, but it's like, at oh, least you I, can understand I... that they're mad. Like, that's the point. It's like, all their tests, testing and shit doesn't make sense. Because they're literally insane. And that's that's literally, like, the plot. Yeah, that's Whereas, why Mobius was keeping them contained the way he was. Because he knew yeah. they were off their fucking rocker. Yeah, the game treats them as, like, a serious threat that if they ever got out, they would probably, like, completely fuck up the wasteland. It's like, that's the point. They're, they're insane. So it makes sense that none of their shit makes sense. Whereas with the Institute... They're not portrayed as being insane, but they might as well be. Yeah. Um, Five dollars from Ventastic197. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, furry friends. How crap is this video? Also, I just got done with my open carry permit. Take that, ATF. Oh. Uh, speaking of good news on that, the 26th state to... Uh, to, to uh, adopt constitutional carry, South Carolina has officially passed the vote. It will now go into effect at the stated time. So now we have the majority of states in the U.S. now have constitutional carry, which should trigger a convention of states and immediately make constitutional carry the default in the entire United States. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I'm really hoping. I'm really hoping. Because, God, could you imagine the fucking the Democrat shitholes that'll freak out if constitutional carry does get put as the default because of a convention of state. Yep. And the funny thing is like, even if somehow that were to get overturned, like the people couldn't be punished for the amount of time that it was legal, uh, for you to like carry around, like, you know, like conceal carry or anything. Cause constitutional well, they, they can't overturn it. They tried. They tried with the first state to do constitutional carry. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, in the future, if it were to somehow happen, you know, it's like that doesn't mean that any of the people, because that, that's the thing. A lot of these idiots would probably think, like, oh, you're going to get punished once this is made illegal. And it's like, that's not how it works. If it was legal when at the time that this all happened, you can't be punished for that. 
So, yep. yeah, no, it's totally... It, if everyone's walking around with guns that's now, why, you, you don't get to punish them later. That's amusingly why if you have uh, machine guns that were in the United States and sold before the NFA was put into position, which the NFA is an illegal document. I fucking hate it. It needs to be removed. Yeah. But you'll have the... Uh, the pre-NFA uh, machine gun stuff like that, those can be bought and sold just like anything else. They cannot be regulated. They are not allowed to be regulated because they were before that document was created. Yep. Which is why it's insane that the ATF can make fucking random decisions about things that have been legal for so long and then turn everyone into criminals overnight. It's ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, the pistol grip fucking thing now. It's like, oh yeah, if you... Brace. Yeah, pistol brace. It's like if you have one of these things, you know, after this certain amount of time, you're now, which it's like no time at all. You're uh, you're you're a criminal and you could be charged and stuff like that. It's like that's ridiculous. You you were the ones that were saying literally just the year before that these things were totally fine and legal and there's no issue. And then the next year you just decide, ah, oh, nah, they're illegal. And if you own one, we can prosecute you. Fuck off. That's not how that fucking works. God, I hate the ATF. Actual fucking domestic terrorist group. Get the fuck out of our country. Yep. On a lighter um, note, I figured out why uh, it was father that developed cancer. He's why? in Fallout 4. That's yeah. fair. Um, you need two-thirds of states to ratify it. But having over half of the states already accepting a law... You can then call a convention of states and try to get the other states on board to push it to that two thirds, and then bam, there it's done. The federal government can go spin on a dick. Yep. Um. Does a comment here in chat too about the whole Sean thing? Um, I don't think what Sean has uh, ever actually comes up. It's just some mystery sickness. Like I said. It is mentioned in a single line of dialogue that is extremely easy to miss that he has cancer. If you don't select this one option, then you never find out. It's really dumb. Yeah. I do remember him. Uh, I don't remember exactly where. It's either when you're on the roof talking to him or right after he makes you the, um, the it's, leader. It's when you have the meeting just before he makes you the leader. Okay, yeah. Or, or maybe yeah, it is I, just after. But it is I think during it's that just meeting. Just after. Yeah, it's somewhere during that meeting, I think. And yeah, there's like one option where you can uh ask about it and he'll say like it's cancer. You know, like yeah. that's it. That's literally in the fact, only line you get of it. Slash the Jackal referenced it in chat or quoted it in chat. Father called it a very aggressive form of cancer. Which Yeah. Okay. Um which I was just going to say, which doesn't tell us much because it's like, okay, but where at? Like, <laughs> all over your body? Is that why it's just, like, impossible to cure? Because like otherwise it seems like... I yeah, don't know. They... It just seems like they should be able to do something about it with the technology they have, especially considering they can replicate any organ at will. Yeah. Um, Five dollars from Dileocon. Thank you. Would it be funny if Father has Terminal 7 brain cancer, Vine Sauce reference? I, I wish <laughs> I wish I could remember some of the jokes around that, because I'd attempt the uh, the old Mario voice uh, for that joke, but I can't. I can't remember. Um, question. Were there actual AI like Curie and Codsworth in Fallout 1 and 2? Yes and no. Um... The normal robots you've seen in the world in Fallout 1 and 2 didn't have personalities like that. They were just robots with a set purpose. Um, what you did have were the Zax AI, which were massive supercomputers that obviously couldn't move. And they had... Uh, I believe they did gain sapience or sentience or whatever. And um, they were their own, like highly intelligent AI. Um, this is what um, President Eden is supposed to be in Fallout 4, uh, 3, but I, I'm not sure they understood the concept properly there. Um, People are pointing out Skynet and Fallout 2. 
Uh, is is Skynet like a, a really smart AI like that though? Mm. Like with a personality? I don't know. I would just say um, I I, just, I would just think Skynet just because it's so hard of a reference to. You know, I don't know what I mean because it was clearly in there because Fallout Two was obsessed with being referential to everything. Father had Ligma. Who the hell is Father? Ligma <laughs> balls. <Whoa. laughs> um, I, I don't. I'll be back in like fifteen minutes. Uh, just saying that. All right. Yeah. Um, I would say I don't entirely mind Codsworth having a bit of a personality. As long as it was restrained to what made sense for, like, a servant robot to have, you know? Um, yeah. Going beyond that, I feel it's giving too much personality to something that shouldn't be capable of having that level of personality. Um, it gets in that situation of how did it, how did it happen, right? How did um, it... Uh, how did you go about creating the personality? How did it? Ex how does it exist? It's like in um, uh, David Cage's uh, Detroit Become Human. It's like, okay, how did you give Develop them the sensations feelings. of fear and love and hate and stuff like that? How 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 do you ex how do you create those things? For, for something like uh, Detroit Become Human, that's a far more important question. Um, I, I'd be more willing to accept it with something like the Zacks because that's, like, they're pretty mysterious in the first place, you know? Um, I think the only Zaxes you find uh, are President Eden in 3 and 1 Zax you find in Fallout 2. No, there's one in Fallout 1 as well. Um... I, I guess that's my big problem with robots having, like, an actual personality in Fallout 4, is that it undermines the Zacks existing at all. Because if a yeah. random robot that can walk around and be entirely mobile and uh, engage in combat and give you, like, advice and opinions and stuff, then that nullifies the point of the Zacks existing, which is, again, this massive immobile supercomputer... Um, the point was they needed something that complex to even be able to reach sentience and sapience, you know? Um, membership message from Adeptus Fantasticus. Thank you. The Emperor's message of the month. Abominable intelligence is abominable. Uh, unless it is useful... Then you must use it to better spread my will. Oh. <laughs> uh, Two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have you played, have you played The Forgotten City? No. No. Uh, no I've... Damn, this video is so shit. We were uh, asking what actually makes an AI. It's just kind of how we tangent from one thing to another. Because we were talking about... Like, for a long time on the Institute, after this guy just said, Oh, no one, uh, the people who hate this game didn't give the factions a chance. Which, by the way, we should probably get back to this video if we want to finish it today. Yeah, we should. One of the things that may stand out is its diverse factions. Players who didn't... <laughs> diverse <laughs> factions? The fuck? Hang on, wait, wait, let's see how he spins this. Because it's gonna be, it's already copium, but let's see how it's how he spins it. Didn't take the time to explore all the different options. Failed to experience tons of the. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love that he's trying to get footage of his character walking slowly, and oh, oh shit, a mine. <laughs> yeah. I I completely lost track of what he was saying there because of that. One of the things that makes Fallout 4 stand out is its diverse factions. Players who didn't take the time to explore all the different options failed to experience tons of the game's content. The game has... So what about the people that did? What about Kree and Pagan? 
that did experience all the factions and went through and talk about how each of them is shit in their own special shit way. Multi playing those factions multiple times. Playing the game numerous times. I hate it. I hate it so much. Yeah. Yeah, the I can't stand it. Uh. Multiple factions join each with its own unique story, quests, and rewards. No. I mean, not really. Can you call it unique quests when they all revolve around the same thing? Like, um, most of the uh, railroad path is just the institute path. Because you're working undercover. Um... Some of the bro like some quests are different. Obviously, the the Minutemen uh, are entirely different from the other factions. I guess um, the Brotherhood is largely about rebuilding Liberty Prime and, and dealing with Dance once you figure out he's a synth. Otherwise, they're not Like, okay, yeah, there's a bit of uniqueness there, but it's not good, still. Yeah. From the railroad that helps sense to escape from the Institute, to the sadistic raiders who want to enslave the entire Commonwealth. And you can even become their leader, each- I didn't know we were including a DLC. Um. Yeah. Also, it should show how shallow the game is that he's reaching into the DLC for factions. Because yeah. the base game has four factions you can side with ever. Um, unlike a game like Morrowind, where there's, what, a dozen side factions you can join? Also, keep in mind, you can't complete the game with the Raider faction. You still have to join one of the four main factions, regardless of if you join the Raiders. So, I wouldn't even really consider it a faction. It's literally just a group you can side with in a DLC that doesn't really affect the, the main story. Yeah. At all. Uh, $5 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Every faction in New Vegas was like that after they sent you to deal with the minor factions, to be fair. Yeah, but we're not making the argument that, um, the just, New Vegas factions... We're not doing faction... whataboutism. Well, yeah, we're not doing whataboutism, first of all. But secondly, we're not making the argument that the, the factions in New Vegas have totally unique quest lines. Again, there's parts of them that are definitely unique, but not all of them. Yep. Yep. The most unique is the Minutemen, and that's just Radiant Quest till you get the check off to kill the uh, Institute. Yeah. God, I fucking hate Radiant Quest so much. So do oh, I. Oh, that was such a terrible idea. <sighs> are, are you ready for the thousands of Radiant Quests that are going to be in Starfield? Oh my yeah. god. You know there is, too, because why. Why bother creating curated quests with, you know, unique dialogue and different scenarios that are vastly different from each other when you can just have the same cookie cutter, repeatable quest that you can get from a fucking single NPC every single time? Oh, I hate that shit. I fucking hate Radiant Quests. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, get out there, yo. Uh, I actually don't know what that... I don't know what that uh, currency is. A? Yeah, Australian. Australian. Oh, it's Australian. Okay. Um, imagine citing raiders as a deep faction. Yeah, exactly. Fucking... There's nothing to them. They're just raiders. They're just bloodthirsty raiders with no motives other than me want kill, me want blood. That's it. That's all they are. There's nothing more to them than that. 
But no, clearly you just didn't fucking look into them enough. Clearly you just didn't pay attention to the factions. Oh, I fucking hate Nuka World 2. Oh, that is such a shit fucking DLC. I hated it so much. And of course, you, you know, you can't criticize it because there's this one NPC that's... Uh, uh, what's the word? Like... A tribute to... Uh, someone who died who liked the game oh. so therefore if you if you criticize this dlc in any way you're a terrible person i fucking hated that shit that was so annoying you weren't allowed to say anything bad about this dlc for the longest time if you criticized really? it in any way yeah i got fucking reamed constantly if i said anything if i criticized anything about this fucking DLC where I was like, ah, oh, this doesn't really make sense, or I don't know why they did this, or this thing should have been changed. Anything like that, and I would immediately get inundated with comments like, wow, you're a terrible fucking person. Don't you know that they put a fucking NPC who or in, in the game that's a tribute to someone who died, who wanted to be in the game? And it's like, okay, that's nice, I guess, but that doesn't change the fact that these problems exist. No, you're just a terrible fucking person. How dare you? God, I can't believe you'd fucking say this shit. I can't believe you'd be such a fucking horrible person and be glad that that person died. Fuck you. It's like, I didn't say that. I never said that I was glad that this person died. I don't even know who you're talking about other than it's just some guy who wanted to be in the game and liked the game. And as a tribute, they put an NPC with his name in the game. Yeah, Evan. And it's like, but no, it, every single time, that that's immediately what they would default to. If I brought up any criticisms of this fucking DLC, it was just, oh, you're such a terrible person. You wanted Evan to die. Fuck you. God, I hate fucking Fallout 4 fans. Some of the most retarded people on the planet. I swear. <laughs> Ugh. Well, he might not be saying that by the time we finish the next video. <laughs> True. Yeah, there might have a new reigning uh, troglodyte at that point. Each faction offers the story and gameplay, not taking advantage of the game's crafting and building mechanics. Again, what about those of us who did and hated it? I showed, yeah. I showed you guys last night, uh, Pagan and Setch, Oh, hey, there's this vending machine I want to put up he, against um, the wall. Well, fuck you. Can't do it. He's also showing Hearthstone. Or, sorry, Hearthfire. Uh, you can't see it on your screen. It's the very next uh, frame. He starts showing Skyrim's Hearthfire. And that is one of the worst DLCs created by human beings. This, the fucking crafting and building in that is awful. Yeah. You heard it here. The pony killed a guy named Evan. Wow, I can't believe the horse did that. Oof. Crafting and building system from the Hearthfire to a new level. It allows players to build... <laughs> I mean, to go from complete dog shit to just uh, mediocre shit, I guess. Yeah, that's a new level, I guess. Yeah, just... I, I... Wow. Man, this is your mind on Bethesda, people. Like, don't do not do this. Yeah, um, agreed. Hearthfire was dog shit because, uh... There's, like, very little choice in what you could... Like, obviously you could decide to not build certain items in your house, but, like... If there's an item that can be placed in a corner of a room, for example, that's the only item that can be placed there. It's not a choice between two or three or four different things. It's just always that one. So, like, it's just a resource dump until you have everything. And the only real choice you get is, oh, what building do you want on the north, um, east, and west wings? It's yep. like, okay, fine. 
But I didn't feel those options were that good anyways. Stop it. Get some help, Michael Jordan. <laughs> but that's an addiction awareness message. <laughs> their hands and craft their own weapons and power armor. Many players didn't take advantage of this feature and- How do you know? Fucking citation needed? Holy shit, what do you mean many players? Yeah, I'm gonna have to call bullshit on that because that's one of the main things people actually liked about the fucking game, even though it wasn't implemented very well. It's the yeah. one thing people cited as like the big, the big reason to buy the game is that it's basically Minecraft Fallout. Yep. Yeah. So to say like, oh, people just didn't engage with this. There just wasn't enough people. M my dude, I'm almost certain that this is the main mechanic people fucking interacted with in the game. I yes. think this is like one of the only ones people really went in depth with who didn't even like the game. Yeah. and later at not spending more time on it. What other game has the ability to use an old rusty gun that you found in the first minutes of the game and spend hundreds of hours with it? Add new parts to it. <laughs> Tons of games, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty of games where you still use your starting weapon at the end of the game. Fucking hell, Fuck Death, off. Space, Death Space is like the king of that. Like there's entire things dedicated to just using the plasma cutter. <laughs> Yeah. The very first thing you get to defend yourself. Man, at this oh point, I feel God. like this guy's only fucking played Bethesda games. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. it feels like it. I don't think he's ever played another fucking game from any other studio before. Well, what, what other games do you uh, use your starting weapon at the end of the game? Well... I've played Skyrim, and you definitely upgrade uh, your weapons throughout the game there. You you start with an iron sword, but by the end, you're probably using a Daedric sword. Man, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> uh... With damage, rate of fire, change the weight of the gun, and even give it a name. This undoubtedly establishes a special connection between the player and his gun, and helps- No. No, not really. The special connection is that even if I used mean? it to shoot myself, it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> like, the fuck I... is this? What did I just come back to? A special connection between you and your gun? Shut the fuck up, like- What you came yeah, back yeah. to is a lot of things a lot- or one of the things a lot of players also ignored was a crafting system, and and it's yeah, a and great settlements. system. Yeah, and settlement he, he building. He said, he said, this is what and many, many th This people took the ideas with. from uh, Hearthstone or Hearthfire, fucking whatever, I don't care, from uh, Skyrim, and took it to a new level. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel. <laughs> I, I'm so connected with my gun, guys. It has a little plus next to its fucking name. Jesus. No, I, I named it the, the Rusty Shit Bucket. Not, you know, therefore I have a deep and special connection to it. Oh, is that his argument? You can name it, therefore it has connect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, I, I named my... Uh, Shotgun, my double-barreled shotgun, the anal obliterator. So now I've got a special connection to it. <laughs> yeah, you... I do like that you get the option to name your guns, but unfortunately, oh, yeah, so... the way that the way that the legendary system in this game works makes it almost pointless. Yeah. 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 I I, I do like the ability to name your weapons when you modify them. Um, like, this is something you could do back in Morrowind with enchanting, where you could, like, name your enchanted items. I always try to give them, like, a decent name, even if I'm playing alone. Like, um, I, I enchanted, just the other day when I was playing Morrowind, I enchanted a necklace to, uh, cast Recall. And, uh, I, I named it the Escape Plan. Because I, I have it drop me right in front of the Creeper in Caldera. So I could sell all the shit I stole before I get arrested. 
is the gun the G in LGBT? Yes, if if <laughs> if if G is gun, then T is tree, because reasons. Because right, he's swinging uh, from it. L is laceration. So, laceration gun. Um. God, what? Booty. We need something for B. No, no, no. Because uh, we need methods of suicide. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bomb? I don't know. Uh, $2 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Doom. Oh. Doom. I, I, assume, <laughs> I assume that's an argument about uh, you still use your starting gun at the end of the game, which... Yeah, a lot of FPS games, you still have your starting gun at the end. Uh, the Half-Life games do. Um, yep. The, uh, and I, it's I, a it's a neat trick to make it to where they're still useful and functional at the end of the game, too. Yeah. Uh, $10 from Adam Riley. Thank you. Dead Space 1 was designed around the plasma cutter. Destiny 1 went back and made the starter auto rifle into an exotic special gun with selectable fire rates. Space AK was best. Oh. My gun, named Gun, is my special gun. Oh. Oh, yeah. Burn. B is for burn. Like my hair. All right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Laceration burn gun tree. There you go. There you go. All righty, then. With these methods of suicide combined, we will make the ultimate tranny. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm right here. <laughs> to create new game settlements building system deserves a separate video. So many materials, <laughs> mechanisms, stands, turrets, and the most mind-blowing feature, construction of logical circuits from various electrical elements. <laughs> That's mind blowing to you—the fact that you just have to string together wire between this one and that one, and that's it. You have to connect A to B to make it work. Literally mind blowing. That's not. That's not lot. You know. You know what's mind blowing is seeing people actually create working computers in Minecraft. Okay, because they know how computer systems work. They know the logic gates, the and/or systems, everything, and they can make actual computer programs in Minecraft with nothing but redstone. That's fucking mind blowing. Are we, Are sure, we sure this person is AI generated? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. We are soon coming into an era where there will be AI videos where it's like AI written, AI voiced, uh, AI edited, probably. It's like. We don't even know if the stupidity we're going to be dealing with is from real people or not. You can already <laughs> do that, yeah. except the editing. On oh, God. Do you do you see why I said we should cover this now? <laughs> kind of, yeah. It is so fucking bad. It's a complete joke of a video. It's so bad. Yeah. Th this does seem like one of those desperate videos where it's like, go away, haters. You know? Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we already said the very first point was pure copium. Yeah. They just didn't give the game a chance, and they regret it. I'm like, no. What the fuck? Two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Is this person from 1890? Yeah. I, I suppose this would be uh, mind-blowing for someone from 1890. Yeah. They can do a good job of making your brain tense. Whoa. And they can, power armor. They, they can do a good shit. job about making your brain tense? Yeah. What does Fucking that hell. even mean? This guy must be smooth. Not a single wrinkle. A mere shine on that fucking brain. Good God! Remember, guys, putting redstone down in Minecraft is like super, like mind blowing. Fallout Four invented it, though. <laughs> yeah. God. Seriously, though, guys, if you've never seen it, check out the people that build actual logic computers in uh, Minecraft. It is fascinating to see them how they get stuff to do circuitry and motherboard programming inside Minecraft. Literally, not. No outside mods or anything. They just using Minecraft Redstone. That's it. it. Is 
fucking fascinating. Like you said, this is your brain on Bethesda. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, by the way, no by the way, uh, someone um, said something about AI, uh, a video written by an AI. So I just asked ChatGPT to write a paragraph criticizing Fallout 4, and even ChatGPT knows. Oh, what did it say? One of the most significant issues with Fallout 4 is its lack of choice and consequence. Despite the game's emphasis on player choice, many of the decisions made by the player have little impact on the game's story or world. Additionally, the game's dialogue system has been criticized for its oversimplification, limiting the player's ability to express themselves and fully engage with the player's characters. A uh, bit of blank nonsense. Uh, lackluster graphics and repetitive gameplay mechanics. While the game provides an enjoyable experience, big X to, a big X to doubt on that one, it falls short <laughs> of the highest expectations set by its predecessors, leaving fans disappoint disappointed. It's, but it, it sounds like it literally. It sounds like it literally just took like. A couple paragraphs from an already existing article and just called it its own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it'll do that if you ask it a very basic thing. But if if I had asked a more complex question, it probably would have been able to make up things like of its own accord. Yeah. Still, um, when an AI can point to things that uh, these motherfuckers can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, the. Uh... Uh, Spiffing Brit actually has one where he he had an AI uh, cr write, create, and edit a video for him, and he posted it on his YouTube channel. Oh. Oh no, Cree! I have bad news. What? Oh. I asked ChatGPT if snakes are lizards. <laughs> it said no. Well, the AI of course is it said wrong. no because that's the correct answer. The AI is wrong. It doesn't know what it's talking about. Yeah, whatever. It, 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 the AI has been biased by 4chan trolls to spread this horrible <laughs> yeah, lie. <whatever>. <laughs> God, though, I love, I love when 4chan was training AI. <laughs> so great. All right, here we go. <laughs> And power armor. It's a symphony of violence, chaos, and destruction. <laughs> what? I guess you get the idea. If well, you've watched no. at this point, hold on. And you like the, then so you 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 don't even show like you're trying to hype up c uh, combat and power armor as being so great that you don't even show it. Yeah. Maybe he it's then because... shows him like fisting fucking feral. Yeah, he cuts and... to him in a fucking basic vault suit punching ghouls. What? What does that have to do with fucking power armor, you idiot? Maybe he couldn't show it because power armor or combat and power armor is the same as normal combat. Hmm. I have no yeah. idea. There's literally oh, nothing yeah. exciting about the power armor Fallout 4. In fact, you kind of undermine not only the power armor in Fallout 4 because of the stupid fusion cores. But that fight with the Death Claw just, oof, big, big fucking oof. It undermines Death Claws and the Power Armor at the same time. Yeah, yep. I think that's a big one. Um, I do like the like you know the whole getting in and out of it like a vehicle, and I do like the ability to tackle people in it, like you know charge and knock them down with it. Um, I think they they need to tweak that a little bit where it's like not something you could do all the time. It needs to be like a, an ability with a cooldown or something, but I do like that. It's just the problem is the game completely undermines all of it. Also, have you noticed he's doing the thing I did earlier? Yes. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> wow. Attempted suicide by, by setting your hair on fire. Uh, no, he's doing the subscribe and like thing. Yeah, a lot of people do. Bell notification. Dong. By the way, like this stream. <laughs> I'm very honest. I I care very much. Kratosis does. I don't. Oh, you should do it anyway. I do what? You you care about the likes on the stream because it boosts you in the algorithm. 
I, I mean, I guess. No, I don't I'm not. I, I don't think about it that much, honestly. Yeah. Now, more importantly, make sure you upvote the re-upload of the stream. That's that's the important thing. Re-upvote the re-upload. <laughs> yeah. Ludwig uh, Williams with $2. Oh, he asks, you. have you seen the Fallout 4 rap by JT Music? No. No. I, I, well, I don't like rap to begin with, and also it's a Fallout 4 rap. I don't know. I would never seek it out. I remember yeah, that... when he was called JT Machinima or Skullcruncher 13. God, I was there early. Fuck I think know. I've seen it. That that kind of uh... thing just kind of seems cringe to me. I think I saw a meme once from time to time. I think I saw a meme that made fun of it. Yeah. Subscribe I... every day I pop. Sorry, sorry. Every day I publish new videos, be the first to watch them, and we continue. Not fully utilizing the game's VAT system. VAT's- VAT's, VATS, VATS is an awful system. VATS is awful. VAT sucks. It should not still be in the game at this point. I could somewhat understand that they wanted to test it out in Fallout 3. They should have realized by Fallout 3 that that shit was not worth keeping in the fucking game. If you want to have a slow motion ability like this, just put in a dedicated bullet time system. Yeah. That's a million times better than VATS. I would much rather be able to slow down time a little bit in free aim than to have the game auto lock on and potentially get me stuck. I fucking hate that shit. That too. That's really annoying when you go into VATS and you go to attack and then your character just stands there not shooting for some reason while the enemy just wails on you and kills you. It's like, yeah. oh my god, if I if I could have just slowed down the game myself and free aimed and done everything myself, it would have been a million times easier. In fact, isn't that what happens in that pretty uh, famous clip of someone shooting a gunner with a uh, fat man, and they launch the uh, mini nuke towards the player, and the mini nuke literally just grazes by the player's head and misses them and explodes in the background? Yep. Yeah, I always mod out VATS in all of the Fallout games. Um, in all the 3D Fallout games, I should say. I I mod that shit out and I get bullet time mods because I fucking hate VATS. It's so shit. I, oh, I actually, such a worthless mechanic. I actually don't mind the Fallout 3 and New Vegas version of VATS because... Um, Same. Because it, it does seem to function well. The problem with Fallout 4's version is because things are still moving... All those percentages are constantly changing. It's still not as bad as 76, where it's real time. Um, but, like, because everything's moving, it's still just a bit harder to judge, like, what shots to take. Especially if you have a lot of enemies you want to take shots at, you know? Yeah. I, I will say that it's definitely better in those games. I still don't like it, but I will at least say it is better. Yeah. or Voltec Assist System is a unique feature in Fallout games that allows players to slow down time and target specific body parts of your enemy. Many players considered it useless and later realized that they missed out on a lot of fun. The VAT system is a game no. changer in terms <laughs> It is what? useless. There's no reason to use VATS when you can just spam jet. Why are you comparing it to Sherlock? Yeah, I don't get this either. Also, what's this supposed to be about Fallout 4? Like, this this isn't... this. A, a lot of Fallout people who hate Fallout 4 are also Fallout fans overall. Yeah, the, like, they're I, gonna I know Fallout what... Fallout fans like what... Like Vats or know about it. They fact, at least most... know what Vats is and have experienced it. Like... It, and that's the thing, it's like to say, you know, it's like, oh, they probably assumed it probably wasn't very good. It's like, well, probably because they played it in the other games and didn't like it. It was just, oh, God. What is this logic? This is so stupid. And again, you can just use Jet. Jet slows down the game. It's basically a, a bullet time. 
the only the only downside is the fucking addiction shit you get with it but like if you could remove the addiction element from it you would literally just have an inbuilt system for bullet time that is infinitely better than the vat system In terms of combat, feel like Sherlock Holmes or Max Payne. It's especially cool to use VATS <laughs> at the critical moments of the fight when you have no room for mistake and you look at your last bullet flying at the target and then see the brain of your enemy scattered to the sides. In addition, the VAT system also allows. I like how he didn't fucking show what he was just talking about because yes. he had to do it with his bare hands outside of combat. It's like, or outside, outside of VATS. Yep. So and also when you have no chance for error, Vats misses all the fucking time because it's an RNG chance. Yeah. yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why I don't like it as well. It seems like it's just an ammo waster. It's like if I had just not done that, I could have free aimed and hit most of my shots, but because I used Vats, like only two of my like eight shots actually hit. I hate that. Why does this person in the video talk like an NPC? Because he might be AI generated. I don't actually know. I'm starting to wonder at this point. <laughs> By the way, have we had any whataboutism while I was gone? I don't I think, think so, no. Self? Um, we had chat I'm so close to, to finishing it. the bingo. Dang it. Well, well, we had chat do it, but we didn't have uh, the video do it. Chat doesn't count for the bingo, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chat doesn't count. Plus, for critical hits, which can take out enemies quickly and efficiently. It but it's easy to take out enemies quickly in the game already. Yeah, you don't need vets to do that. As as we saw yesterday, uh, Kree, with basically any weapon he used, would, would one-shot all the enemies, which is why we were having trouble figuring out at first if there was even like reactions to getting shot and even when he bumped the difficulty all the way up to very hard he was still one shotting all of them with just like basic weapons so you don't need this at all ninety five percent XCOM hit chance of soldier turning away from the enemy to shoot moment yeah basically <laughs> Especially the new XCOMs drive me insane, where the, the RNG is so heavy in that game. 95% chance you have a shotgun, you're right next to a giant mutadon, or whatever they're called, and you miss. But also, the guy who will constantly miss in the tutorial, that guy will be the one that will get put as your sniper every fucking time. The guy who can't hit the broadside of a barn. I'm the sniper! Fuck! Yeah, I, I hate that shit too. Kratosis, did he bring up Skyrim? Seems like you always find someone that loves Skyrim. We see that particularly when, like, talking about other RPGs and games like Elden Ring. But yes, he did bring up Skyrim. Hearthstone had this great crafting system, and Fallout Fire. 4 took it to the next step. I, I don't care, Hearth, whatever. Yeah, I... God, even just the way he talks, the only reason I haven't said, like, you know, like, oh my god, like, it's even more an AI because of the way he talks. It's like, if it wasn't for the heavy accent as well, where you can tell that this, that English is not his first language, I would definitely, like, if he just sounded like a normal English person, I would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why can't you speak normal? But it's clear <laughs> yeah. that it's not his first language, which is the only reason I'm being, like, not saying, like, it's like, oh, it's clear he's actually an AI now. <laughs> Still haven't reached a point I regret, though. Maybe I'll get one in the last two. Also, level of tactics to the game, as players can choose to take out enemies' limbs to slow them down, or aim for a headshot for an instant kill. But you can do that in free aim. In instant kill? They're not instant kills in Fallout 4, unless your damage is that high. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can dump... if. Try it with the fucking minigun. Shoot someone in the head and see that you'll dump 15, 16, 20, 4, 30, 40, 50 rounds into the person's head. 
and I'll still be alive. A video made by an AI would literally be made by an NPC. Oh god, <laughs> we are actually reaching that point, aren't we? I think we are, because I remember listening to an EFAP several months ago where uh, Muller played, I think it was a short actually, but it was a short they uh, decided to cover where it did seem like an AI, because it was just pulling weird shit out of nowhere about like Scarlet Witch and other Marvel characters. Honestly, I think an AI-generated YouTube video would probably be better than this one. <laughs> yeah. Also, I like that Ludwig Williams just says Worcestershire because of W-O-R on screen. And that is so <laughs> relevant to a conversation me and Cree had just several hours ago. Worcestershire. 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 It's not that hard. What's that? What's that? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. What, what happening? We're all having a stroke. Shut up. What's that? What's that? What's that? It's it's a sauce that is made, and it just it just doesn't it isn't pronounced the way it is written at all. <laughs> it, it's just one of those things. It's it's the English language being the English language. Yep. Not fully appreciate visuals and world design. Full of force visuals and world fuck design yourself. were met with mixed fuck reactions yourself. upon release. Actually, fuck yourself. <laughs> the game looks like trash. Actually, go fuck yourself with a goddamn pogo stick. The, the <laughs> game looks like ass. The game actually looks like ass. A lot of the areas don't fit. Look at what he has on screen right now. Look at the fucking bl dumb fucking textures on the ground. Look at that. Look at how the sandbags... Just a second prior, I, I, I'm scared to move back. Yeah, look at how the sandbags don't even look like they're a part of the world. Look at yeah. how they look like they were just a plopped on fucking asset right there. Yeah. The fucking game looks like ass. The guns look terrible. The areas look terrible unless they're filled with effects to sort of mask it. And the fuck, everything looks fuck made out of rubber. I, th I think it's rubber, at least. I don't even know. I just know it looks completely off. It feels like I'm in a fucking children's park. Go kill yourself. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the art style. For obviously, you the textures are not good most of the time, but also just the art style in general, I'm not a fan of. The only exception to that is like the creatures. I think like the Mirelurks look good i think the um i think the new death claw design is fine i think uh the new mole rat designs look fine i think they there's nothing wrong with the creature designs but everything else i don't like i i still especially hate the uh super sci-fi look of boston where it's got these big round colorful buildings because that, that just doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of uh, the overall Fallout aesthetic, you know? Yeah, the, like, weird gothic, well, or, uh, gothic, gothic architecture yes. sort of stuff going on. I like that. I don't like this weird, <laughs> like, super colorful 50s retro uh, sci-fi look to everything. Um. Yeah, that, that's actually probably one of my favorite parts about Fallout 3 is the gothic architecture. And it's just like how good a lot of the old world buildings look. The Garfield architecture, yeah. <laughs> well, well, when you said the, the gothic uh, architecture, it it made me think of Garth from Wayne's World because I've been considering rewatching that movie recently. So I just imagine a statue of him. <laughs> you know what? Speaking of movies... Praise oh, thank you for that tangent. Um, very minor tangent. There is a special holiday coming up here um, on March 5th. Oh, sorry, March 4th. Uh, it's one of the two. It's one going to be one day off. We will be watching on this coming Saturday the death of Stalin to celebrate one of the biggest pieces of shit croaking and dying and then his government collapsing as they infight. It's great. Great movie. Highly recommend it. You guys should come by and watch it. Oh. 
<laughs> like seriously, if you haven't seen the movie Death of Stalin, you are you're missing out. It is a very dark comedy. Like I would I would say it's one of those one of those black comedies where it's just like it, this is grim. To to give you something that isn't a spoiler, um, Stalin dies. Obviously, there's then the uh, the Soviet secret police start doing a big roundup of people that are going to get in the way of the new establishment. And as the Soviet uh, secret police officer puts these uh, dissidents and scientists and free thinkers in the back of a truck and they're driving off, his buddy um, who had a who had orders turns and immediately blows that guy's brains out. And so now the, the the guy who was a Soviet secret police officer, he was one of the upper echelon, gets executed by one of the lower guys on orders by the head of the Soviet secret police. It's like, damn, did you know this shit's going to be grim. Now, I know you said you weren't <laughs> going to go into spoilers, but I think spoiling the death of, like, the main character of the movie is title after is a pretty big spoiler. Even though it says the death of Stalin is the name of the movie. Yeah, but that could happen at the end. Or it might not happen at all. Oh, God. Maybe it's a subversion. We don't know terrible, that. Terrible. Thank you for spoiling it, you fuck. How dare you. Wow. Yeah. Wait, Stalin dies? Oh, no. I'm sorry that you all thought he was a robot brain. You know, he was a brain <laughs> in a jar that's powering the Soviet Union and now the Russian Federation. With mixed reactions upon release, but many players later realized that the game had a lot more to offer than they initially thought. The game's post-apocalyptic world was filled with interesting locations and great attention to details. No! No. I, I like how every point is a lot of people thought this was bad and then players realized. But you're, you're wrong on all of them. Like, if you like the visual design, that's fine. No one's gonna fault you for your personal tastes, but I will. To to say <laughs> to say that oh yeah, there's a lot of detail here when there really isn't like that much detail. Yeah, there's 16 times of the detail. Right? That was 76. Yeah, there's still 16 times of detail. This isn't 76. Praise Todd Howard. Praise Todd Howard. The ruined skies and abandoned settlements, military bunkers, the great and terrible glowing sea, foggy and so so it just seems like filling like putting stuff in your world instead of leaving it at like a blank flat plane is like oh look at all this amazing detail or such like you you can build a world that that is lacking in detail like the. <laughs> What is Jinkies, this argument? The game has places. What are you that what, also unheard of? Hey, I don't know if I, Boston skyscrapers. I mean, I guess kind of, but they're they're pretty small skyscrapers in the grand theme scheme of things. Like Boston isn't known for its massive, super tall buildings. Yeah. And it's, this is like bare minimum shit. How are you going to sit here and praise a game for having like buildings? There's a and town in this game. Terrain, yeah. And it's like, okay, the, like, don't get me wrong. I like the, the weather, like the fog here looks nice and everything. Yeah. But that's, again, it, it's just flavor. It's just something that should be basic shit in your game. Yeah, but Pagan, there's there's a high attention to detail because there's military bunkers in a highly militarized country. That means yeah. it's good. Yeah, I, I can't believe he's this desperate for... Look, guys, there's, there's actual, like, terrain and buildings in the game. Uh, isn't that amazing? Is it... You mean, like, every other fucking game that is supposed to have that stuff? Yeah, the, the entire game isn't just a flat plane and the default Unity fucking scene. That means yeah. it's good. This is a joke, man. What is this shit? 
It's shit. You just said it. God. What this isn't idiot. like this isn't Dark Souls one levels of fucking like game design and shit. You know, it, it's it's just a world. It's just basic shit. But Pagan, there are no other games with textures in them. That makes Fallout 4 good. Yeah. Bethesda now, invented bunkers. Be because it's a recent game, and because it's going to be the topic later on in this stream, I think a good uh, comparison is uh, Hogwarts Legacy, where a game that has these... Uh, like, it's based in this world that has these moving paintings, and when you look at them, most of the paintings do actually move. Not all of them. There are a few that don't. Yeah. Um, but those ones seem to be more artistic in nature rather than, oh yeah, here's a person that could talk, you know? Yeah, yeah. like there's there's one that we specifically see where it's a guy, and I say specifically because this one is one of the ones that's in your field guide. You can do Revelio and get a field guide entry on it. Um, <clears throat> pardon, sorry. There's one we see and it's a guy getting mauled by a bear. And it's like, yeah, I can understand not, you know, doing that. Or there's the one where the guy's getting sat on by, a, a, like, a cow or something like that. I can understand why that's not a moving picture. I thought that one was. Uh, is it? It might be. I don't remember it moving. I, I don't remember, I don't it, remember moving. it moving either. I'd have to double check. But um, in my first stream of the game, uh, one of us made a joke about, oh, yeah, the Salem witch trials where they're burning the witches. Like, imagine having one of those be animated, where the, these uh, people are just yeah. burning and screaming for eternity. Okay, so the one where the guy's getting sat on is animated. Wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't even <laughs> notice that. Yeah, I didn't notice either. Yeah, that, that's one that probably shouldn't be animated. But what I'm getting at is a lot of these paintings, a lot of people just aren't going to notice or pay attention to. But they're still animated, especially when you're in that big spiral staircase. There's, like, hundreds yeah. of paintings there. Um, to, to have all of them be animated is good attention to detail. Yeah. Because, again, you didn't need to do that, but you did. That's one of the reasons I like that game so much, is they do really pay a lot of attention to detail with a lot of aspects of the world. And creepy swamps of fur, endless deserts of Nuka World, and dozens of other biomes give players the opportunity to fully experience the atmosphere of the post-apocalyptic future. I dozens say, of other biomes? Yeah, well, I needed to know the other biomes, but um, the one that made me chuckle a bit. Again, not harping on it because it's clearly not his first language, but swamps. Swamp. Swamp. Yeah. Swamp. Swamp. Again, not actually holding that as a criticism against him. It's just an amusing thing. It's like when you, when we first heard saw the reveal of Elden Ring gameplay, catacombs. It was like, yeah, <laughs> catacombs. Don't coom in the catacomb. <laughs> Don't coom in the catacomb. <laughs> but, but it's in the name. That's what it's made for. <laughs> God, I'm just trying to think of all the biomes, and it's like, in the main game, you literally just have the swamps and the rest of the normal looking commonwealth yeah. and the glowing sea and the city if you want to count that as a biome which i do not i do not count a city as a biome i kind um, of do I because think... urban setting is would be different than like farmland and stuff so i would count it as a biome just not I, a natural biome i do just because it is drastically visually different from other areas yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like big let's... urban city versus farmlands versus swamp. Yeah, because, like, let's see, say you have a big uh, set of plains, right? Like, just flat fields, grassy fields. That's a biome. And then you take up, like, a quarter of that field and you put a city in it. Well, that city, despite being in the plains, is now, a, like, a vastly different look from the rest of the plains. Yeah. That's why yeah. I would count them as different. I'm going right. to count it more so to be incredibly generous to this video. Um, I would even count like farmlands would be vastly different. A actual like 
agricultural farmlands, I'd say that would be a different biome than just open plains and everything as well. See, that one I wouldn't so much because um, probably the biggest example you could use is Abernathy Farms because that's the biggest farm I'm aware of in the game. And, like, sure, there's a bit of farmland there, but the rest of it still feels just like all the other wilderness in that area. Yeah, it's it's still the same. Like, there's no difference besides the fact that there's a house there. And, like, um, three plots of farmland. They're very small. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, I'd, I'd have to say actual farmland. Like, you know, rolling, like, acre, massive acreage farm, stuff like that. I would call that a different biome compared to natural, wild, like, rolling okay. hills and things so, like that. So yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, so you've got a farmer's field in real life where, like, the whole thing is planted end to end with corn. And then you've got, like, a yeah, normal field it of It has its wild tram grass. lines and it's everything like that, yeah. And then you have a wild, yeah. uh, a field of wild grass next to it that is just, like, natural. Th yeah, that, yeah, that I would consider, um, like, different enough. Yeah. yeah. Nebraska so... is a biome. Ohio is a biome. Especially <laughs> one area of Ohio it's right now. Is. No, not even one well, area. With more Have emphasis on the, the fucking... bio and less on the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Have, you... Have you seen the fucking... The... The weird fucking things that are now falling from the sky outside of Ohio? I, I forget how, how you call them in English. Um... We usually call them birds. No, not the birds. <laughs> not the birds. Oh, Jump up like that weird ash stuff that's falling oh, yeah, from the, the sky. ash. It's like ashy, like it's falling from the sky. It's... <laughs> yeah, nobody knows what uh, it is. I thought it was tree pollen at first, but no. Looking into it further, it is definitely not tree pollen. I have no clue what it is. It looks like ash. It looks like like nuclear fallout or a or like an active volcano. <laughs> it ash. actually does. Uh, heard Ohio just got a new biome. Yo, new biome just dropped in Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, basically. So, okay, so if we're going to consider the city also a biome, so that means the swamp, the regular wilderness, the glowing sea, and, and the, the city. cities. That's that's four. And then the only other biomes I can think of are in the DLCs. So a desert biome and... Maine. Uh, the... Uh, shit, what's the... Far Harbor, so... Yeah, Maine. Just another big fucking swamp. <laughs> so, I guess... <laughs> technically six, even though two of them are basically the exact same thing. Yeah, uh, so dozens... Doesn't even... It gets maybe half dozen at best. Yeah, uh, and that's if best. you count... Yeah. And that's if you count one swamp as being a different biome from another swamp. Yeah. As a Mainer, I could confirm Maine is one biome. <laughs> uh, $2 from SC437. Thank you. Ohio is actually a raid boss event area. Oh. Oh, that's what they were doing. They were trying to spawn in the rare loot. <laughs> <laughs> they set off a nuke so they can fire Scorch Beast. Yes, exactly. <laughs> sure. Didn't take the time to fully appreciate the game's visuals and world design, missed a chance to explore one of the game's best features. Not playing the game with mods. <laughs> yeah, I missed the thing chance. and everything else. The people who didn't give the game a chance missed the chance to play it without mods. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? with mods. With mods. No, he said they didn't without. Give the game a chance. No, he said with. He says with mods. It, he oh. Yeah, he's, he's about to go into a fucking argument that by not giving the game a chance, you can't play with mods, which, I'm sorry, that's not the fucking game at that point. You you can mod yep. any like any other game that has a modding platform can have similar mods, so it, it, there's no point in even bringing this up. It's also not the base game. <laughs> I like cool your system in chat. Mod cope, mod cope. Yeah, yep. it, it literally is. It's 
Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, this is about where I was like, we got to cover this because this is so <laughs> shit. <laughs> Uh, $5 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm about to go on a drive, but I'll still be listening, so don't say anything I may want to reply to if you value my safety. Oh. Well, I don't know what, like, what you might want to reply to, so... Well, uh... I'm sorry, but content trumps safety. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 That's a... Uh... That's, we, we we should if that's the case, Pagan, we should get a video of the fiery car crash so we can upload it for content. Exactly. Ludwig, uh, there, there let us know your location so you can become our content. Yeah, we can literally shill as like, dude, our our podcast is so good, it actually got some one of our viewers killed because he couldn't pry himself away from it long enough to drive. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, and here we see the burning wreckage of the car he was in. <laughs> guys, guys, get out of here, yo, with two, three Australian dollars, uh, dollary dues. Is a moldy apartment its own bio? Yes. Yes, it's a biohazard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god. Oh, I, I've, I've got Egg. a better one, Satch. Here's Creed kicking the burning wreckage down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Burning the burning wreckage down the can of false fuck ah uh. well road poisoned uh, road well yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> I like Egg's comment I like the Skyrim mod you played yesterday the College of Winter hold overhaul yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> the um but, but yeah this reminds me of a thing that happened where we um. It was my grandfather and everything with big old big old family get together and we went out at night and we just went into a, a field a big old field nearby um house and we just started lighting off fireworks like crazy right just tons and tons of fireworks wow. um and it was sketchy as shit like these are some these are some fucking wild fireworks uh, and so people were actually, like, coming out and watching. They were just randomly, like, came from across the, the town, and they would just, like, wander over and start watching everything, because, oh, that... Oh, God, I was about to say his name. Oh, that crazy old coot's doing it again. <laughs> He's doing fireworks again. Um, but we had incidents where, like, the, the tubes would fall over and shoot at us, and, like, I got hit by a couple fireworks. Um, and there was one when it, when it was just simple... Simple stuff. It was a bottle rocket, right? And this bottle rocket, they put it in a mason jar, so it's not secure at all. This this mason jar will allow it to spin and move. And he lights it, drops it in the mason jar, and steps back. It goes shooting off right back to him, past him, and sticks in the side of the building. So he runs up to it, and he grabs it in his hand and throws it right, right before it blows up. And it was like, Jesus Christ. And he's like, don't worry, safety's the other guy's middle name, not ours. <laughs> Your safety does not matter. Base exactly. The, the content matters, <laughs> aka all the fireworks in the sky. The content's the important thing. If we get shot with fireworks, who cares? You copying Logan Paul now? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get this I want to get this super chat first. We're coming back to you, Alabama, but two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Uh, redneck story. Yeah. Yeah, I... We, we literally have a family get-together called Redneck Volleyball, okay? Yeah, I've done shit like that as well. I... Oh my god, I don't know if I've told this story before, where we put on carpenter jackets, you know, those thick brown ones? Mm. Um, we all put carpenter jackets on and sprayed, um, like, hairspray and that's, like, spray deodorant on the back of our jackets like really thick and we would shoot roman candles at each other and if one of them hit us we would just like engulf in flames and we whoever got lit on fire would get kicked into the lake <laughs> yeah we did that shit oh we did that God. shit twice and then there was one where we took like a hundred um you know those like sparklers yeah and we tied them together and oh, stuck no. them in like a pile of watermelons, and oh, it no. for whatever reason it created like a napalm bomb. 
<laughs> and just like yes. exploded <laughs> all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and like we just like everyone went flying. Like <laughs> we lit it and went to run away and it just like exploded behind us. And we all just like flew through the air. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Deus Volt comments, and yet, and yet, you got on Emily's case for fire hazard. Yeah, good point. No, <laughs> to be no, fair, I was also a dumb kid. Yeah, I was, I was a dumb kid at the time. My grandfather was a terrible influence, um, and I don't mean that as like a bad thing, but he, he was a. So my grandfather is so like atypical of old people. It is crazy the level of different. Like, my grandfather had the latest computer and PC gaming hardware when it first came out. He was, like, rocking the voodoo graphics cards and shit. <laughs> so, he was a bigger gamer than I was. When I was a little kid, he was the one that introduced me to gaming uh, to begin with. Oh, like, good I played uh, Age of Empires on, on his computer. He got uh, he got Half-Life uh, when it came out. Uh, years later, got Half-Life, and we played that together. And it was just like, oh, shit, man. Nice. Yeah. So that was uh, <laughs> that was my grandpa. Again, totally atypical. Like he he would be like if you saw him in media that represented the eighties and nineties, he would be like, Oh, that's anachronistic. You know, that's bad. <laughs> so, no, he was that way. He literally was like the latest technology, things like that. He's like, I'm a gamer. <laughs> what makes me a good demo man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i think uh, one of the dumbest things i ever did was i took um again i was a dumb kid i think i was like 12 or 13 oh no i took a thing of gasoline and was basically drawing shapes in the yard and burning it <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, of course a flame jumped from the yard in like to the the gas barrel or the gas can I had, what and it the lit fuck? the inside of the gas can, which was made of plastic, on fire. And I was like, oh, shit. So, because I didn't want the, the fucking gas thing to burn, because then I would have got I would get caught. They would know I did it. And I was like, oh, no, fuck, I got to put it out. And my dumbass immediate instinct was to blow into it to try and get the fucking <laughs> shit to go out. And of course, it just did a back blast that just sent the fire out and it burned all of my uh, my eyebrows off. <laughs> my bangs and my eyebrows were completely gone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so yeah, of course I got caught. <laughs> um, but I'm the fire hazard. <laughs> yes, yeah, you you're are, the one who lit yourself doing... on fire like minutes you ago. You literally did it today. <laughs> four, four times with a cigarette. In the last year and a half. Um, you guys are making my inner pyromaniac wake up. Well, I guess I'm not choosing you as one of my Rimworld pawns. <laughs> I, I love Rimworld, but any NPC that ha or any character that has pyromaniac just fucking nah. Nah, not worth it. We're almost done this video. One of the best things for is the modding community. Players who didn't take the time to explore and use mods missed out on a lot of content and features that greatly enhanced the game. The follow-up for modding community is one of the largest and most active. And Citation fucking needed. Yeah, I think there's other games with bigger modding communities. And, oh, absolutely. And I... It, it's, it's fucking mods. It's not the actual game. And secondly, yeah, you kind of have to play with mods to enjoy oh. this fucking game because it's so shit. Like the point... There's one other thing we, I forgot. We skipped over Super Chat, specifically because it was more accurate to uh, what we were saying. So oh. make sure we keep that in mind to go back to Alabama. Right, Sorry to yeah. cut you off, Kurt. Um... For me, it's just a thing of, if I'm going to be buying a game purely for the sake of modding it, why wouldn't I get a game that's more built to be a modding platform like Gmod, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Even Minecraft, and, honestly. And, and here's the thing, too. People, I, I have seen people make the argument, even to me in my comments section, that, oh, well, Fallout 4 is a modding platform. Then why the fuck is there all this story and uh, existing, like, mechanics and stuff? Yeah. yeah, why was it marketed as a standalone game and an RPG 
with a story and everything. Like, why was it marketed as that if it was just meant to be a modding platform? Yep. Yep. Uh, $10 from just a guy from Alabama. Thank you very much. Thank you. We talked about the USS Constitution. The bot never talked about how it 1v2'd some Britbong ships by sailing between them and double broadsiding them during the War of 1812. <laughs> well, then the other, the other thing you got to remember, too, is, uh, as you point out, the USS Constitution was in the War of 1812, not in the Revolutionary War. So this guy's more of an idiot. But, um, <laughs> yeah... The War of 1812, Americans have a very skewed point of view on the War of 1812. We actually lost the War of 1812. Um, the British uh. got all of their objectives. But what happened was the ceasefire uh, was announced between Britain and America because America was finally starting to kick into high gear with fighting. And after the war was technically over, Jackson had his... Uh, famous battle at New Orleans where he absolutely curb stomped the shit out of the British. And so people just have this skewed memory of, you know, the War of 1812 going to the U.S. victory, whereas it was more a British victory, and then Britain realized the, the U.S. was mobilizing everything. And they're like, okay, yeah, we're not getting we're not getting dragged into another one of these conflicts, fuck that. And then the last battle, the Battle of New Orleans, happened after the war was technically already over. <laughs> 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 but the the orders hadn't got to either army yet, so. Um, fake news: America never loses. We just postpone our victories. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I'm was... saying they got all their initial objectives. Hot pants. The once once Britain realized that America was mobile mobilizing everything, they're like, yeah, we're not going into this fucking nonsense again. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, back to the video. The the modding argument has just never been compelling for me, because, once again, why would I spend all the time modding a game where I don't even like the base game? Sure, I could improve the shooting, I could improve the animations, I could improve the, uh, models. But the core content is still, oh, my babby is missing, oh, it's the Institute, oh, here's all this dumb shit that's broken. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't think $5. We'd... Oh, sorry. Sorry. I, I just didn't think we'd be spending this much time on this short little video. I, I'm i not that surprised because I knew it was going to be really bad. Um, $5 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. I've arrived safely at my destination. Just hope for the sake of my uh, 12 future HAPA children, the return trip goes smoothly. Oh. I love that him just taking a drive from one point from point A to point B is a life and death situation because you might have to comment <laughs> on something. But yeah, just because our podcast is going. <laughs> but Pagan, every moment is a life and death situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean technically you're not wrong. Oh my god, the emotes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That I, one that fucking one from the last time fucking killed me. The fucking... Yeah, I, I still yeah. think about that. That one was good. Um <laughs> I can improve the models. Oxhorn. How much? <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> but Cree, think of all the sexy armor mods. No! is one of the largest and most active and there are many mods available that add thousands of features to the game from new weapons armor and enemies to new locations npcs and even whole new stories here everyone will find something for themselves not playing the game with <laughs> fuck off oh my god like again the most this one. nothing statement for mods ever yeah that was fucking nothing but this one this is what pissed me off the fucking Mm, you just didn't play with a proper build. You just didn't do. You just didn't go into enough thing to build new builds. It's yep. you can't make builds. You could do everything in one playthrough. You are a jack of all trades. What do you mean builds? There is no yep. one build. 
or there is no multiple builds, I should say. There is just one build. Yeah, pretty much. I'm scared to see what he's gonna say with builds. I I'm afraid I'll get angry. Oh no. I, I guess you could make an argument that you know you can kind of do a melee build. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that much point in it to me. Um, Come on, guys. Yeah. Less, just over a minute left. Can we do it? The, that suited their playstyle. Fallout 4 offers a lot of character customization options, but many players didn't take the time to experiment and find a build that suits their playstyle and miss hundreds of opportunities and fun. I can't wait to try Bullshit. the build styles that allow me to play the game as a pacifist. Oh, God. Then, of course, he shows the fucking death claw moment where it's just like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but you don't get it such a cool moment. No. You get to kill no. death claw with a, a minigun and power armor. It's so cool. Does this count for the rule of cool or what aboutism? Have we had any of that? I don't know. I don't know anymore. No. No. Because he isn't making the argument that the death claw fight is cool, therefore good. He, he's just using his generic background footage. Dang it. Um, the builds of Fallout 4. Sneaky shooty A, sneaky shooty B, or sneaky shooty C. Yeah, pretty much. I can't wait to make a build that fundamentally changes the storyline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two dollars from Ludwig Williams, thank you. There are two builds, male and female. <laughs> Yes. The g a variety of character builds, from trivial ones like snipers or assassins to a junky commando in power armor, destroying enemies with a rolling pin. Players can I'm also sorry. choose well, what's the special <laughs> that we were... Stop! 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 What is the common th uh, theme from all of them? From all of those? Killing. How are those different builds? How is that one like junky copium build you just made up a fucking build? Yeah, that's not a build. That's literally just. That's like it. That's like imposing self-imposed challenge there. Well, what's my character? What am I personally going to arbitrarily decide to do? It's not a build. Yeah, that's. I, I'm gonna pound fucking drugs while I do stuff, and get addicted. Okay, that's not a build. Yeah. Oh my god. From the fucking, like, what do you say, uh, minuscule? And then he shows sniper or assassin build. It's like... <laughs> and he comes up with big fucking cope build. That is just, like, uh, arbitrary RP restriction build. Well, yeah. even the assassin one feels, like, completely arbitrary. Like, how are you an assassin? Yeah, because guess what? I can say the same thing about my sniper build. I'm an assassin. I'm literally assassinating you. Yeah, you could do that with anything. You could do it with a pistol. It, yeah, because it's not. It's, yeah, it's it, not a build. An assassin doesn't necessarily mean either a some of a sniper rifle or b Assassin's Creed protagonist. Yeah, an assassin could kill you like in fucking any way. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so actually, this is just stupid. That's actually part of the most interesting aspect of the Dark Brotherhood and Oblivion and even Skyrim. Or special missions where it's like, yeah, you need to kill this person in this way to get the bonus. Yeah. Well, you you have uh, other interesting ones where the Faceless Men in uh, Song of Ice and Fire, where yeah. their whole thing is they are assassins, but they go out of their way to do it incredibly subtly. Like, you'll barely realize the person was assassinated and it wasn't some other, like, random string of events, but it's like, nope, our, the deed has been done. And it's like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> like... That's scary. That's what makes the faceless been fucking scary is the fact you don't know if the person, like, just had a, a slip on their horse or something like that. And then you realize that what they did was they, uh, they like weakened the saddle so the saddle would let go and they would fall and get trampled by their horse. And that's how they killed them. It's like, fucking. Okay. The, the, the sad thing is, 
his copium junkie build could work in another game. It just doesn't work in this game because it's so arbitrary and useless. Whereas, because here's the thing. Jet allows you to slow down time. Psycho buffs up your damage. If you were to, like, spam drugs in a fight, you could basically become, like, like a superhuman, basically. But it's useless because you already do so much damage that you could basically one-shot most enemies anyway. Yeah. And secondly, you have access to vats no matter what, so you don't need Jet to slow down time because you already have access to that. It's just in a different form. So you can't build a new build from it. Because otherwise, it actually would be a build. But it doesn't count as a build in Fallout 4 because you already have access to all that stuff on your starter character. So it's completely useless. <laughs> Like, I, I'm literally just imagining, uh, like, you could be um, in a good game, you know, where you don't just automatically have access to that kind of shit at the start, and no matter what build you're doing, you could literally do a build where you're, um, uh, shit, what's his name? Ah, fuck. I cannot remember his name. The dude from the first episode of Cowboy Bebop. Asimov. The red eye. Yeah, Asimov. You could literally do an Asimov build. Oh. I, I, I just like this comment here. In New Vegas, I made a melee brawler that used drugs. Cleared the Deathclaw uh, cave. High off me bum. Fun build. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Three dollars from Get Out There, yo. Thank you. Fallout New Vegas drug build works with Logan's loophole. Fallout 4? No. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, Jim the Derp says, Copium Junkie is my character of Fallout New Vegas. Use drugs to enhance combat abilities when needed, and then use the skills I actually specced into to be a pacifist. Oh. <laughs> I am Copium Man. such as perception, agility, and others, and each of them offers different benefits for players. Experimenting with different builds and specializations can greatly enhance the player's experience and make the game even more enjoyable. While the game may not have been perfect, it had a lot to offer for those who were willing to give it a chance. So if you haven't... You keep saying no. that, but you haven't, you haven't proven pro anything. Yeah, you haven't proved that at all, and also your fucking last take about how... Oh, you just need to pick the right build because they all have special abilities and stuff. No, you have uh, you have access to all of that stuff on your like no matter what build you do. You yeah. have access to power armor, you have access to guns and melee weapons, you have access to drugs, you have access to everything. You don't get locked out of anything. Uh, no, this is not a magnum copus because this guy didn't say that he made an amazing trailer to, uh, you know, that Bethesda should totally use. <laughs> to, to own the haters. God, that one. That, that fucking video was hilarious. played the game yet or it before give it another shot you might just be no. surprised at what you find if you enjoyed the video no, then smash I the won't. like button no i'm not no. Gonna thank smash god that's anything. over yeah every argument just came down to well you didn't uh, experience all this stuff enough you didn't give it a chance yeah which just isn't true like <laughs> the people who really don't like this game and who have gone like in depth about why it's not good absolutely gave it a chance in fact they went heavily into all of its mechanics and story elements which is why they don't like it yep oh what a shit fucking video man it's already 4 30 for me 5 30 for you guys yeah I wasn't <laughs> we expecting. just got done oh my well, god we went on some no. super tangents there so let's yeah. just be fair with it.
Now that we're done with the intro, we could get on to the main video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, three dollars, three Australian dollars from Get Out There, yo. Yeah. Ironically, it seems like this guy didn't uh, much play Fallout 4. Yeah. Or if he did, he didn't pay any attention to it at all. He just did the basic bitch thing of, like, the music tells me to feel sad now. I will feel sad now. Wait, did he actually say that and I missed it? No, 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 no. This is oh, what the it. impression we get, is that he wasn't actually paying attention to what was going on. Damn it, I really want to complete this bingo. Fuck. And did you notice <laughs> no. that he didn't... Did you notice that he didn't, like, defend any of the, uh... Like, he didn't try to say that the story was good or that the RPG elements were actually okay. Like, none of the stuff the game was actually marketed as yeah. was brought up as, like, oh, yeah, it's so much better now. He didn't even bring up, like, combat being improved or anything. It was literally yep. just, like, the most surface-level shit and then saying, well, it's actually good. And you just didn't give it a chance. You just didn't know that this stuff existed. And it's like, no, we do. It's like... <laughs> The game was marketed as an RPG and a, a Fallout game, and it's neither. Yeah. That's the problem. Uh, Alright, I guess we gotta look at the fucking Toad again for a while. <laughs> I was about yeah, to say, are you guys oh, ready for pain? Yeah, this guy is probably gonna be wild. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've only heard bad things about this uh, video. I, I I'm not Jim Sterling, so, you know, not a big surprise there. I'm also not looking forward to a half hour of Jim Sterling. Yeah. I mean, I don't Me look either. forward to one minute of Jim Sterling, let alone fucking 27. Yep. Uh... Ready for my propane and propane accessories? <laughs> See, most people think of that when they hear propane. I think of uh, Trailer Park Boys when Leahy is drunk off his ass and trying to get his propane refilled. Yeah, but that was the Canuckian production, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Canadian. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, but it was also played in the States. In fact... Well, if... here's, here's the thing I'm curious about, actually. Hmm? What was that? There's that one where it's about a Canadian gas station in a small town. That's uh, Corner Gas. Yeah, Corner Gas. Well, how is that treated there in Canada? I don't really know. I've never really watched it myself. I've seen a couple episodes and I found it kind of eh. But I mean, it lasted several seasons, so people must have liked it. Well, I've, um, I've liked a lot of the episodes I've seen of it. Hmm. It's just it, it's just that weird, slightly off kilter comedy that I like. Yeah. Especially yeah, especially the dad, not the <laughs> not the um, gas station owner dad, but the 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 gas station owner's father, the old man, the old dad. Yeah. Who just like constantly <laughs> swears at people and stuff like that. Yeah. I I again, I haven't watched many episodes, but that is the one character I like because he's like. Yeah. It, it's kind of like Red Foreman from the 70s shows. Oh, you're a dumbass. Yep. Yeah, and his is, his is you jackass. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, my God. Like, he'll be I... having a conversation and someone else leaning. He's like, oh, I heard about that, too. And he'll look at him and be like, who said you had the right to speak, jackass? <laughs> um, I still far prefer Trailer Park Boys, so if you haven't seen that, we should watch it at some point. It is good. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> this this super chat. <laughs> Five dollars from Ludwig Williams. I went 20 miles over the speed limit to get one last super chat in before the stream ends, only to find out you're covering a second video. Well, yeah, that, that's, that's, why that's why Harry that's Potter why and Toad Man are in the, in the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> he almost killed himself for nothing. I mean, to be fair, most people who kill themselves do it for nothing. <laughs> fair. God, I, you know what? I'm I'm just realizing now. I wonder how he would, how would Jim deal with like. I don't think he'd be able to if if a bunch of the people who criticize him just were like. Came out as or like said that they were trans. 
you know, and like all you have to do is wear a wig and put on a skirt. And I guess if you're gay, date a guy and you could literally just say, well, yeah, I, I, I identify as a woman. So therefore, you know, it's like I'm attracted to men and I believe I'm a woman. And look, I wear a skirt and a wig. So therefore I am trans. And by his logic, because he believes that, you know, every anyone is trans. Anyone could be, you know, anyone could be a woman. Anyone could be trans. If you were to say like, oh, you're not really trans, like, oh, so you he, think all these other people who are, he, you know, who do that aren't trans either then, right? He wouldn't do that. He would ignore them entirely. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Jim is the type of guy who will just be like, no, I, they, they, they doesn't fit my narrative. I don't, don't, they don't, they don't exist. Yeah. But, because that, like, that's the thing. It's like, you know, if he just tries to say like, oh, this person is a transphobe. You know, that's the only reason they're criticizing me. It's like, oh, well, God, you you could literally just be saying like, oh, well, no, actually, I'm trans. And you could literally just like a post a picture of yourself in a skirt. No, 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 no. We, we have even better, though, because imagine because okay, Jim says that about us. And then we'll just uh, everyone in sync, even our entire chats will all snap their heads, look at Emily and be like, yeah, you can do like that if you want. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he'll just be like, oh, they have the one token. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be yeah. be the tokenized one. Yeah, the one token uh, tranny who disagrees with me. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, like that. You know, that's what he'll do. Probably. Kretosis, will the stag crew be covering the people hating on Atomic Heart because all Russians bad? Uh, we'll probably be covering some um, Atomic Heart stuff once I play the game. Yeah. Yeah, that fucking Ukrainian propaganda video is dog shit. It's so bad. It He tries to make a video out of it and make it seem like he knows what he's talking about, but it really just comes down to, mm, see, this is a Russian-developed game by Russian developers and shit like that. And it's like, they, they, didn't, exclu- they didn't disclose that, they, that it was a Russian-made game until later and shit like that. So what? that proves... And it's like, no, that doesn't prove anything. They they didn't market it as a Russian made game because they're not like they don't care about that. They've they've openly said that they are an international oh. studio. Uh ah, so Jim I Sterling. I Look everybody, to... it's Blubberella. Yeah, sorry, Fagan. I forgot that the thing will will play a snippet right at the very start. I was just trying to get it queued up for you. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I I hadn't clicked on it yet because I was wondering what that sound was because uh, I put the link in. I was ready to click on it when we were ready to start. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I I done it already, and that's why he has fucking Timon here. It sucks. I'm not looking forward to covering this. Me either. Um, yeah, no, this is gonna be painful. Uh, Two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Who here wants an Asian girlfriend? Not gonna lie, an Asian with big titties. I am. I am. I am down for that. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Big titty Asian milky. Yeah, seriously, big big Asian titties. Mm, yes, please. Plus, besides, besides, if if she happens also be someone who like has any affinity for cooking at all, and we're gonna get Asian cuisine and stuff, I love Asian cuisine. Um. I'll be fucking real. I'll be helping make the rice and everything. I I will be super down for that. There's a sound bite. No, that's not a sound bite. That's a truth bite. That's what that is. <laughs> Daliocon, thank God I'm Asian. <laughs> I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna get me some of that dim sum. Dim sum, dim titty. <laughs> Anyways. Ready? Ready for Blubber Chinese War Bride. Well, fun fact about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And that's uh, $2 Do dollars from say... Ludwig Williams. Thank you. You know what? I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. All right, let's, let's get on with this video. The faster we start, the faster we get this over with. Yeah. Oh, God, this is going to fucking suck. It starts. Just pausing because I don't know if that's copyrighted. 
still definitely not born different or born innocent. You are a full fledged NPC. <laughs> <laughs> A legacy. Of, even the title is fucking obnoxious. Yes. Yeah. You know, you know that Jim Sterling is such a fucking troglodyte. They're like, oh, 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 I'm so clever. <laughs> yeah, and you know he's gonna just make the same stupid argument everyone else does about this game, even though it doesn't actually apply. Like, oh, if you support this game, you're supporting J.K. Rowling and giving her money, even though they literally just. The studio had, like, nothing to do with J.K. Rowling. They just bought the rights so that they could make a game. And that's it. Like, it has even, no even other connection. For what J.K. Rowling is getting canceled for, speaking the fucking truth. Steve Copeland yeah, exactly. Wald, troglodyte. Yeah, yeah, I would actually just point out, just to have this on record, the whole you can't get pregnant and you're... The, the hormones aren't going to change your bone structure. That's something that if you do not acknowledge when um, when uh, you're in the uh, the appointments, um, they will pretty much just turn you away and say, no, 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 no. You're just fucked in the head completely. So yeah. a lot of trans people that are not in the U.S. because Americans are American, not you two, you're decent, but um, most trans people in the world, they know. They know that no, you can't yeah. get pregnant and that your bone structure is still going to appear The made. vast majority of people know. The problem is, is that this is Chinese PSYOP shit we're dealing with here. We're dealing with them intentionally infiltrating like houses of learning to make people stupider. This is this is what teachers unions are. They they are literally stupid factories to pump yeah. out as mentally deficient and retarded people as possible. That's why college is a scam. It, it isn't why, there to teach you anything good. It's there to just it, take your money and make you yeah, stupid. It, it's why it's so weird to me that a lot of people said, "Oh, but J.K. Rowling is transphobic." I'm sitting there thinking, "No, I had this one British professor. Oh no, I think she was Scottish actually. That explains it." Um that uh, wanted to have a discussion in English class about J.K. Rowling's transphobia, and I said, J.K. Rowling isn't transphobic. The entire class was shocked and looked at me, because that day I was wearing a skirt, and they put the pieces together. Even the professor had no idea and pushed me, uh, pulled me aside. It's, yeah, it's, it's really ridiculous. shocking to me. It's really it's, shocking. It's ridiculous, especially when you can look at all the evidence. Like, all the stuff she's been saying is proven now it's like there's so many different fucking uh like news articles and stuff about like all the stuff she's criticized being true Ugh. like graping in women's jails and stuff like that from trans inmates and shit like that and that's one of the uh, things she criticized and that is definitely true. There's a fuck ton of, of incidents where that has happened. To be fair, to be as fair as I can, trans quote unquote. Yo, yeah, that's that's what that's what part of this thing though. This is what this crazy nonsense is. If they say it, it it's true, then they must be it. Unless they don't fit our narrative, then they're totally lying. But yeah. it's like Yo, they said it. It racist. must be true. Therefore, we need to move them from the male prison over to the female prison. Oh, they're raping female prisoners. Oh, no. But ironically yeah. enough, rapists fit the narrative, so don't don't misgender the rapist. <sighs> yeah, but that's the problem is just like they, the government and these social institutions and stuff are so willing to bend the knee and bend over backwards for this shit that all someone has to do is be like, oh, well, actually, uh, I'm trans. Uh, you should put me in the women's uh, jail. And they'll just do it because, oh, I don't I don't want to be labeled a transphobe if I say no. Uh, 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 fuck dignity and, you know, the ethics. I, I, I just need to do it. And they do it. And then we get this shit where yep. female inmates get raped by... By male Trans inmates. men. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, and women. it's like... Would it, would yeah, it I guess technically, male, yeah. Male to female, you call them trans women. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it, it's just ridiculous. Like, the fact that that's how far we've gone 
it's like it's one thing to like the trans issue thing is like i don't mind trans stuff like that's not an issue to me it's like if somebody wants to identify as that you know if they want to identify as a female when they're a male it's like okay that's fine but when the government and institutions start bending over backwards for them to the point where you know they they make really awful decisions based on nothing but that because they might be called a transphobe if they say no yeah. is ridiculous and the fact that oh well we have to change the science because it doesn't align with our narrative yep never mind whether it's true or not as long as it is as long as it fits the narrative so therefore science must be changed laws must be changed it's ridiculous and when i say laws i don't mean stuff like you know, trans people being allowed to have certain rights that everyone else should have. I'm talking about stuff where it's like they get more rights than everyone else. And if you even yeah, talk, if you even criticize, clearly a protected class. I yeah, where if, like if you even criticize them on anything, you could potentially go to jail for criticizing them. Yep. Uh, Two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Uh, he says it was a Chinese war bride. Oof. Uh, well, you know if. If they're we, gonna be stuck in that system anyway, we already read we got that, that one. one. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That There's one. another yeah. two dollars from. Yeah, it. that's why I was Thank I you. was up there the whole time waiting because there was more coming. Yeah, two dollars from Ludwig Williams again. Maybe we should undo the social revolution. Absolutely should. Hippies were a mistake the first time through. People thought, oh, it's a great idea. Let's do it again. Yeah. Uh, three Australian dollars from Get Out There Yo. Thank you very much. Uh, prefer prison time in Liberia with Jim or Siberia? Iberia. Iberia? Oh, Iberia. Yeah, you're right. There are too many Beria countries. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd rather go with Siberia. <laughs> there is no country called Iberia. There yeah, I was about no to say, I think they... You swear there isn't a country named Iberia? Y yes, Iberia is where Portugal and Spain are. It's a peninsula. Oh. Well, there uh, you go. But I think I'd still Americans rather Americans and their fucking geography. Jesus. I think I'd still rather choose Serbia. Uh, you motherfucker, Serbia. you want me? You want me to prove that you have no nothing? Siberia. You, like, you want me shut to up prove for like one second so I can talk? Shitty European geography bullshit. It's hard Stop. to pronounce stuff when you got somebody talking in your ear the whole time. Stop! This is a Serbian border checkpoint. You must suck ten Russian dicks before you oh end. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh god. Wow. Oh shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Well, where's Appalachia at? We're never going to get through this video at this rate. <laughs> no. No. Appalachia. no. It's in the eastern coast, uh, a bit more to the north, uh, around West Virginia. I know. Oh god, I was going to bring up I was going to bring up that thing that me and Cree talked about the other day too, the um the student in Canada who got arrested for saying that uh, in his university where he brought up that there's only two genders. And he got arrested. <laughs> oh, no, that's not even what he brought up. You know well, what he okay. Up? He brought I up know... the fact that men were using the girls restroom. Yes. So there was this whole thing. I like I'm, I'm really like, you know, like condensing it down. But if I were to like go into the whole thing. Yeah. Basically, there was an issue where the women in this, like the female students in this school were complaining that men were using the uh, female's bathroom. And it was becoming such a problem. And uh, during a debate where everyone got to voice their opinions, he brought up that, you know, men going into the women's bathroom is wrong. And there's only two genders. And basically he brought up that, you know, there's, there's, it's, there's only two genders and men and women should not be using the same bathrooms and stuff like that. And... Because of that opinion, he was deemed a bully because there was other trans students. So they suspended him and uh, kicked him out of like two of his classes. And then when he tried to show up to class, he was arrested. And now he has to go to trial. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. hopefully that's a fucking First Amendment thing right there. So hopefully He's they Canadian. get their ass reamed. Yeah, but oh, he's Canadian, he's, so oh, they. Oh, Canadian! Oh, yeah. yeah, you're you're fucking. What is it? Uh, what do they call it? Uh, rights and something. Yeah, where it's because literally they don't, they just don't like... have the Bill of Rights. They have um like uh, a different clause that's supposed to yeah. do something vaguely like it, but it's really dog shit. 
Yeah, and the way things are going right now, it's literally just like a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. Also, fuck you, Eddie Krauser. I, how the fuck? When would Iberia ever come up in any relevancy? Like, sorry, sorry, Emily, but Portugal and Spain, their relevancy on anything is pretty fucking minute to nothing. What do you mean? Spain fucks dogs. That makes them extremely relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Charters of Rights and Freedoms, there, there you go. But then also in the Charters of Rights and Freeman, Freedoms, there's like a clause where the government can subvert this for any reason whatsoever or something like that. It's like, Jesus Christ, yeah. Fuck. We should probably get to the video before, uh... Cause, I, cause... I feel like we might end up splitting this one, honestly. Yes. Yeah, we might have to. Like, we're Still, The we're notwithstanding already... clause, that's... We're already almost four hours in, and this video is going to be a half hour long of utter bullshit. Yeah. Well, let's see how Unless we do. Unless it ends up being super repetitive. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see how we do. Nah, I don't care. Jesus fucking Christ. Neither do God. I. Fucking look hideous. Um. Play, at least you match the, the at least the inside match the outside now. <laughs> hold on, is there something? Uh, I mean, it's still ugly, but this is a good way to censor it. <laughs> God, uh, no, nah, I I Potter still is stupid. I still hate that fucking assault rifle. Um. <laughs> Here, look at this cool gun instead, chat. Yes, the stinger. I have I have an image for you to um, to put uh, on the screen. Oh no. Uh, to censor this. I I mean, Hold looking on. at a cool gun is a really good sensor. There you go. Wait, is it's it a loading for some reason? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it, Korea. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please. Oh, that would be funny as fuck. Maybe if we cut it out entirely, that could be funny. <laughs> Do it to censor. Alright. Do it. <laughs> no, here we go. Potter is stupid. And it's about time someone said it was bad because nobody in the history of ever has ever suggested that Harry Potter is bad. I'm a trendsetter. You're not a trendsetter. People were talking about it being bad from the beginning. Like, well, I, I think he's being sarcastic. Being, yeah. yeah. I can never tell with these people. They're so delusional and fucked in the head. You never know. Uh... uh oh. Five pounds from Threadnought. Thank you very much. Uh, funny Jim saying that, considering how he still cosplays his movie Bob on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, two Australian uh, dollary dues. Are you happy? Yes. From uh, from Dilyocon. Yeah. Replace the image with a cute cat, please. That is kind of an amusing thing that SF Debris will do when he does his things and. When something horrifying happens on screen, he's like, Oh, God! And then he'll cut away to, like, a basket of kittens, and they're just fighting each other. Like, he's like, No, pay attention to the kittens. Don't pay attention to what's going on on screen right now. Yeah, leftoid NPCs, sucka. Though, right? We're supposed to believe that wizards and the wizarding world is so much superior to the muggles, right? We've got phones! But it is superior to the, the muggle world, like, in everything. What? Especially in this timeline for this game where they don't have cell phones yet, you fucking God. idiot. I, I have yeah. to remove a sensor just to show chat, like, how unpleasant this is for the rest of us to look <laughs> at. Yeah. Like, what a horrifying visage that is. Yep. Uh, and Mockery we did of the woman form. 
We, <laughs> yeah, woman, massive we, air quotes. We did miss a super chat. Two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. It's actually called Al Andalusia. Al Andalusia. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I have no idea no, what no. that means. Assuming that Fuck. something that Portugal Fuck and Spain fight over right there. Oh, no, no, no. It's not something that Portugal and Spain f fight over. It's the fact that to this day, ISIS claims Iberia as their territory because ah, it was once a Muslim emirate. Because of the emirate. Moors? Yeah. No, it was a Muslim emirate of Al-Andalus. Yeah, but wasn't he all allied directly with the Moors? He? Do you mean... You I... You mean the Emirate of Al Andalus? It, it was its own caliphate, basically. That's what I meant. Sorry. Uh, it, yeah, I guess. But okay. it was mostly just because they were there for ages, and uh, they almost they almost completely took took us over. <laughs> Please stop misgendering Jim. Jim's real pronouns are it slash that thing. Well, thank you. Get out out there, yo. The Moors set it up. Thank you. Oh, it was the Moors that actually said it. Up. Okay, I had the idea. I, had idea. I fucking knew it. Now shut your fucking mouth, Emily. Ah, it was the Umayyads <laughs> that did. I, I did. Jesus, uh, I haven't. Read you about too, that LT. Jesus Christ, shut your fucking mouth. Yeah, basically, Portugal and Spain had to go gamer mode to get rid of them. LT, maybe you should stick to just giving super chats. <laughs> get fucked. Wow. <laughs> no, it's because of what LT said earlier. I should just stick to guns. That's why I was like, maybe you should just stick to doing super chats. Alrighty hey. then. Um, and two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. You may add caliphate. Alright. Umayyad. The Umayyad. The Umayyad caliphate. <laughs> I, just like, I just like that it's so close to you mad caliphate. <laughs> you mad caliphate. Alright. Chuds. Right? If fucking I got the horrible. Jim, when do you think the when do you think the cell phone and the phone were invented, Jim? Hmm? Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Well, fucking retard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And even better, it's like, they they have fucking letters that will deliver themselves to you and speak to you and everything. Yeah, sure, the owl's got to bring it within your general vicinity, but then we see what happens. They can fucking fly to you. Yeah. The overall... Oh, that scene in... Go ahead. Just the overall wizarding world just seems more convenient. So that's kind of what I said on my uh, first stream. One of the best benefits to all this magic existing wouldn't be like the actual high level utility of it it would be all the convenient shit that just makes your life easier yeah like the fact you can fucking teleport don't worry Gil, we got cell phones but you know the wizarding world can teleport across the world at will um 4000 I believe that's Hungarian Florin yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was just trying to, like, remember if that was it for sure or not. From Legalizer0956, thank you. Just a quick glimpse at that horrendous creature is enough to burn my eyes out and blind me. 10 out of 10 stream would I uh, recommend. Oh. Yeah. Um, it, 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 Jim Sterling is very unpleasant to look at. Like, he was before, but it's even worse now. Yeah. God dang it, so stop stealing my lines. <laughs> yeah, flu powder and fucking port keys exist in the Harry Potter universe. Well, not just that. Some of the more powerful wizards can, um, I believe it's apparate? Disapparate. Disapparate? I thought it was apparate. Uh. Either way. Maybe the, maybe apparate is the overall thing and disapparate's the act? Hold on. Either way, some of them do have the power to just teleport. Morning, Seg. How many videos did you cover today? Well, we've done one, and we are 46 seconds into a half-hour video that's going to be a half-hour of pain. Uh, probably yeah, it's not going to finish. 
Oh. Apparition is the art. Okay. Disapparate is leaving. Oh. Yeah, basically. Oh, apparate is arrival. Disapparate is leaving. <laughs> hmm. All right into my fucking house and went, oh, you're a wizard, Stephanie. I'd probably be excited at first. I'd be all, oh, that's brilliant, Hagar the Horrible. Uh, uh, how do we go? Am I going to go in a car? What? No. We don't ride cars in the wizarding world. We fly about on flippity doos. What's a flippity do? Well, is Jim Sterling ever not fucking obnoxious and stupid? And cringe. No, this is this is how Jim has always been. It's just again, the mask has slipped and people realize that Jim is a fucking troglodyte. Oh god, I just sat back down. Are we watching a Jim Sterling video? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. And for your convenience, Officer Hot Pants uh hot bleh, hot pants, and everyone else in chat, I am censoring the video with a picture of a really cool looking gun. So you don't have to look at that. Yeah, when Bubba Gunsmithing proves why Bubba Gunsmithing exists. That it can make a fantastic functional weapon that it was built for a uh, very great <laughs> convenient purpose. I think I'm going to get back up now. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Jim Sterling? A clown. It's just, it's just fucking weird that he's talking about like flippity boos and stuff like that. It's like... They can disapparate. They can fly magic carriages in the sky and planes, or sorry, not planes, and cars and shit. You can ride a fucking horse that suddenly takes off in the air like a Pegasus. Like, Jesus Christ. The, and again, the fact you could teleport, big game changer. Yeah, I like how he, I like how he brings up that, like, oh, yeah, we're not going to go in a car. We're going to go in a flippity-doo when... We're literally shown in, I, I don't know about the books, but in the movies, there's literally a flying car. Yeah, that's yeah. in the books. That's in uh, the books as well. Looks like Mad Moxie from Borderlands got trapped in a cake factory. We are a lard ass, that's for sure. Jim Sterling is just DSP's alter ego. Yeah, pretty pretty accurate. Same Same mental wavelength. I don't know, I feel like that's being mean to DSP. Is it? Is it, though? I mean, how many, how many, like, handicapped retards get brought up in actual, like, <laughs> like, Congress speeches? <laughs> I love the fact they tried to censor DSP out, but everybody could tell it was DSP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hope there isn't too much more of the cringe before he actually gets to the point. Yeah. Well, first of all, you naked one. We're not going to get on. Right, I insist on bringing my 3DS. Hey, girl, have you got wall charges? What's wall charges? Oh, dear. Okay, then, so... You can... There's a magic spell to recharge shit. I'm just going to say. For fuck's sake, what is this point? The, the fuck... Jim Again, Sterling the, thinks he's a comedian, and he thinks this shit is funny, so he puts this stuff in the start of his videos, and... Yeah. Yeah. No more pausing. Regardless of the insane, mental, handicapped stuff that Jim is going to spout until we get to the actual meat of the video, right? I mean, if it starts going on for too long, and it already kind of has, we're at a minute and a half almost, it might That's be what I mean, worth no, it no just... pausing. Well, well this, what I'm saying is... We don't, might... we don't know. We don't know because Jim is such a wild creature. He might immediately jump into a fucking point instantly. Then we can rewind it. But that's what I'm saying is if it, if it continues to be cringe for the next, like, 15, 20 seconds, we could just start skipping ahead until he does start making a point. Okay. What do you do for entertainment? We eat sweets that make you do elephant noises. Fucking what? And why is the shit with the all flavor beans, right? I could, right? I were there. I'd sort it all the fuck out. Olivia Newton Johns. I, I don't care that the one shop is Olivia Newton Johns. I don't give a fuck. 
Railing couches are finally. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Jake. Okay, hold on. Ew. There we go. Yeah, we're yeah finally don't here. don't do that motion ever again. Three minutes and twenty six seconds of like just pointless fucking nothing. Well, at least that's three uh, minutes and twenty six seconds. We don't have to watch now. Or more accurately, two minutes. But you know what I mean. K Rowling is a tra- This is a fact. It's a no. fact I've never no. seen disputed. No. No. It's a what? No, it's, it's, it's not a fact. Me. Oh, fact. As a, as a trans person- No. Jump off a bridge. You you may cause an earthquake. Like uh, you probably are the cause of the earthquakes in the Turco-Syrian border. But listen, Jesus. jump off a bridge. Just jump. She is not a transphobe. Not in the slightest. She is. And she I love is that simply they... saying things that I was made to acknowledge in the hospital and made perfect sense for me to acknowledge for me to get my this fucking estrogen that I have with me in my hand right now. Okay, kill yourself. And again, like, he immediately says, nobody has disputed this fact. Uh, yes, everybody has. Anybody with an actual brain has disputed this fact. It's you, the weirdo clown posse of the left-wing NPCs that don't. Go get your fucking motherboard checked, you fucking NPC. J.K. Rowling is a transphobe. This is a fact. It's a fact I've never seen disputed in good faith, only challenged by fellow transphobes who have a pre-baked line since these people read from the same script. What did she- Oh, the irony. <laughs> oh, the irony. Only yeah. challenged by transphobes. Not the trans people that say this- that say this the same is not exact true. Thing. But, but, the, uh, but, oh, they just read from the script. Oh, the fucking irony. Oh, yeah, the yeah. script, aka reality, facts, science, things you have never heard of, Jim. Oh yeah, Tentacle Dude actually makes a good point. Fellow transphobes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, no, what what Jim Sterling is referring to there is that the transphobe is backed up by other, yeah. Yeah, oh, they're fellows, okay. not fellows of Jim. Emily, you are a transphobe? Yes, I'm a transphobic transgender. Yep. Have that on my fucking ID. Okay, no. It'll be on the gravestone too when we see the tree swing. Wow. <laughs> you really don't like me, Jesus. <laughs> oh God. God How damn, do you that do just fellow transphobes. That <laughs> <laughs> just. Oh my God. I can just imagine Emily walking into like if there's a. I'm just thinking. Stupid, stupid scenario. There's a big old convention of, of trans, uh, transgenders, and Emily walks in and has, like, a I hate trannies shirt on. Like, how do you do, fellow <laughs> transphobes? <laughs> um, but I'll do it in a skirt. I'll do it in a skirt. No, that's what I mean, though, because it, it, it has to be obvious. You know, I don't know how far you in on the uh, uh, and on on the transition, but I mean to the point where like you're totally transitioned and everything like that, and it, it's obvious. And you go in, and it's like, what up, my fellow transphobes? I sort of passed, sort of. The Uncle Ruckus of transphobia. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Jim trying to hang himself from a tree. He'd need a redwood for it to end in anything but a. Sl splintered trunk and a dip into the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, just quickly, Tentacle Dude sent, uh, uh, a bit of fan art. Hold on, I need to grab oh, the link boy. Oh, 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 no. Oh, nice, I like it. Oh, no, Tentacle <laughs> My Dude eyes! What am I gonna be looking at? That's great, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's genuinely really good. <laughs> <laughs> The um, voice is a dead giveaway. Yes, yes, that is my weakness, and for some reason I still have to go through four more weeks of these dumb fuck voice therapy appointments before I get the surgery. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, you should send me a pic and I'll judge if it's smash or pass. Me? Oh, God. Me? Yeah. Yeah, but you're not, you sure. wouldn't be a fair judge. Why? Because I'll fuck any dude that I see? <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I mean. God fuck you, Dev. I don't. I don't want to send the anything. Transition's now. going from from male to female. So they want to pass the female. You being like, I yeah, uh, I as a gay man give you the female pass. <laughs> 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 um, at Kratosis, I hear people saying that J.K. said something like, "Trans women are just men that are trying to invade women's spaces to oppress them." Should I assume this is made up? No. No, that's actually entirely accurate. That's that's what has been done. There is I, an entire methodology of um, incels that are doing this intentionally so they can get into women's spaces. That's not a yeah. it's not a fucking conspiracy theory. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's where all this grape stuff keeps happening. And also, you also have the sports event stuff where men will just identify as a woman or as women so that they can get into these women, female sport events and then dominate the competition. So yes, they are in fact invading female spaces by just saying, Oh, well I'm trans while not putting in any of the actual effort to be trans just so that they can stomp the competition and be considered like the most athletic female and shit like that. And then of course you have all of the rape, um, that happens a lot. So no, it's she's absolutely right. It does happen. Grandmaster Pi says Pagan. Does it still have a dick? Yes. United States of Smash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> United States of Smash. Uh Pagan, look at this court. <clears throat> uh Kretosis. Any chance we could get a Kretosis clips channel? I don't have the time to run such a thing. Um Maybe at some point in the future, if I can find someone to do it, then yeah. But for now, it's just... With the job, and with having a life, and with trying to make videos, it, it, le it leaves a little time for anything else. Okay, so Kratos, there's two things about that. First, you don't have a life. Shut the fuck up. Second of which, <laughs> when my channel gets monetized... If my channel ever... If the Enclave Emily channel ever gets monetized... And I managed to make you a few ex a bit extra. I don't mind actually doing that for you. It's All just right. that at the moment I don't have the financial incentive, and I only do videos when I'm in the mood. So I'd do it for you, and uh, you could upload them. I'd smash. Fuck off! I can't. Yeah, I, I I'd smash. Ah, uh, kill me. Okay. <laughs> I just love that the response that was fuck off. <laughs> yeah, as, you if, pass. As, if, Fuck um, off. as if it's one of those. As if it's one of those things. I should. Like, I well, should have sent Reagan a picture a where man. I was trying. I should have sent a picture where I was trying, not a casual one. Fuck me, man. <laughs> well, I just find it funny to think of the scenario where uh, Emily, <laughs> Emily's trying to pass as a female, sends it to a gay man. The gay man says, "I would totally smash you." And I know, and that's <laughs> implying listen. you're still masculine. <laughs> Well, no, 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 here's the thing, here's the thing, I, I, I also like Fuda, so that's the thing, so it's actually not, it's what not that Fuda? he looks, it's not that he looks well, like okay. a dude, it's Pagan. that it's a chick with a dick, which I am totally fine with. Pagan. Well, the real question then is, balls or no balls? Balls. Obviously, obvious answer. Has to, has to. And Nick Kate is right, <laughs> it has, that's the only answer. Yeah, I, was I, like, I was like, hold on, hold on. I just, I don't, I didn't know what Fuda was. So I, I googled what is Fuda, and I got a federal <laughs> unemployment tax. Yes, <laughs> yes. So people have been using that. People have been using that to do the obvious like meme images. Like in um, 1998, the government passed the Fuda Act. Now find it by typing and in subsection 34 you will find this. So make sure you type in Google Fuda Rule 34. <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly. the meme image. So wait, Pagan, are you saying you, you would smash but because I don't pass or what? I don't get it. No, no, no. That's that was me doing that. That's what was so funny about you immediately saying fuck off. Yeah, no, I'm saying like you look like a chick. But because you have the other equipment, I would totally smash. Uh, okay. All right. That's not so bad. But I did send you a message saying to be quiet about it. You didn't have to say it on the screen. <laughs> God damn it. Well, then why, what's the point of sending it to me if I can't say whether or not I'd smash your belly? That's, that's the entire point. You asshole. 
<laughs> Into ah, uh, kill. No, it was right. supposed to be so everyone could know. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck we it. need All to right, know fine. where the gay man judges the. <laughs> Else tube, shut the fuck up. Fuck me, man. Oh, don't worry, pagan will. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And okay, uh. So I I don't feel as bad as I did a couple seconds ago. There you go. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. We, um, we've got a couple super chats to uh, read yeah. from legal, uh, not legalizer, Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Two dollars. Jim Sterling Isakai. Oh, you <laughs> awful. Well, I mean, if he gets Isakai into like some other fantasy world, then we won't have to deal with him anymore. It's yeah, true, exactly. But... All. All I'm thinking of is, is, you know, it's like, but guys, truck coon. Fucking truck coon. <laughs> what? God. Truck coon. The fuck is that? You uh, um, you know what an isekai is, right? Yeah, it's where, like, person from modern world gets sent to, like, fantasy world. How yeah, do they how do they usually... Get sent? Yeah. yeah, how do they often get sent there? <laughs> I, I, usually, I, mean, I thought it was, just, like, magic shit happening. No, no they, they usually get, get hit by a truck by a and truck. die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get hit by a truck and die and get sent to another uh, get you, you sent to have, another uh, you dimension. Have, um, what is it? My life as a slime or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, what? And then they at least they died by being heroic at least. Like you know they Did jumped they... in the way of a knife that was coming to stab someone else. But yeah, they died. But I love I love on his deathbed too. This is what made. This is what made me even start watching that. And I haven't watched much of it. It just kind of tapers off because it's kind of mid. But uh, what I, what made me start watching it was the fact that as he's laying there dying, his friend grabs him and is like, God, are you going to make it? He looks at him and he goes, You need to dump my computer in the bathtub full of water right now. Because he knows he's dead, and he's like, I don't want anybody seeing my fucking search history and what I've got saved on there, please. Just do this for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Super chat moment. Oh, fuck. That um, was, again, just that moment at the start, I was like, okay, yeah, that is actually funny. And then he actually goes through with it. He's in his morning morning suit, and he has his head down as you see the computer going <laughs> in the bathtub water. <laughs> Uh, two dollars from Ludwig, uh, Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Uh, Exclave Emory. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Neither do I. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, another two dollars super chat from Zykos. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, pagan fellow <laughs> Futa enjoyer. That does not say pagan. That says pagan. Ah, uh, pagan. Okay. Okay. So oh, pagan, <laughs> whoever this person is, enjoys exactly. Futa. I'd like to meet them. They sound like my kind of person. <laughs> Degenerates like you belong on a cross. <laughs> I'll join you on yours. Okay, that is that is kind of funny. Scott says, my favorite is uh, Konisuba, where the main character jumps in front of a tractor and has a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, I fucking love that. That that one is great. Yeah, it because it, that, that entire show makes fun of the premise of not just well okay so mainly isekais is what it makes fun of but it also makes fun of like generic anime tropes as well um yeah. it's li yeah that, that that's the entire point is that it's a it's an anime that parodies other anime and yeah the way he dies is so fucking funny because he goes out to like buy some some video game with like busty girls on it and on the way back home he's talking about how he's a neat that doesn't like to leave the house and he sees this like uh, school, this like female school student, about to get hit by what he thinks is a truck. So he dives in front of it to try and save her, and he's in the afterlife. <laughs> and the goddess he's talking to, like, it, at first she's like being nice to him, but then he starts being a bit of a prick. So she just immediately reveals, like, like <laughs> you didn't even get hit by a fucking truck. It was a slow-moving tractor, and it didn't even hit you, okay? You died of a heart attack and pissed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Two dollars from Soy Jackoff. Thank you. Do you have a Steam Deck? <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to get one at some point. I do, I do want to get one as well at some point, but, you know, that's kind of on my low list of priorities. Yeah. 
Pagan, are you the booty warrior? <laughs> I want you, and I'm gonna have you. <laughs> oh, you know, I was thinking, uh, why don't you give me that butt? You no, stop it! Give me that butt. Uh, I know. I always, I immediately go to the fucking uh, boondocks thing of like the dude where Chris Hansen shows up. And <laughs> so why are you here looking for a little boy? It's like, oh, I ain't looking for no little boys, Chris Hansen. I'm looking for you. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> He's like, well, yeah. He's like, now we could do this the easy way, or we could do it the hard way. But either way, I want you, and I'm gonna have you. What the fuck are you talking about? Come here, boss! <laughs> oh, God. We're never going to finish this video. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's do it. She's actually that's transphobic. Rowling couches her hatred in plausible deniability, but her daily obsessive... And as I said, gender confirmation... Certificates may now be granted without any need for surgery or hormones. Then you open the door to any and all men who wish to come inside. That is the simple truth. That's a fucking yeah, fact. Yeah, that is, that, is that is a fact. So this legitimately, what is, what is there to stop bad actors who aren't transgender from claiming they are to get access? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's her point, is that there's nothing to stop them. They didn't go through the hormone therapies, they didn't get surgery or anything like that. They can just claim it, they're given the certificate, and then now it's true? They are? Yeah, now they have access to female bathrooms, they have access to participate in female-only sports, they can go to female prisons. Yeah, instead of going to the to the male prisons. And we've seen how much of a disaster that is. Yeah, yeah. See, this is insane that he's trying to say, well, this is transphobic for stating facts. Yeah, the the, yeah. On, the only way what she's saying here could be transphobic is if bad faith actors didn't exist and every literally every single person who claimed to be transgender was, and we know that's not the case. Yeah. G-Forces asks, what about trans people that don't want to do hormones and surgeries? You must be joking, right? Because the whole point of being trans is that you want to get rid of the body. Yeah, you want to get rid of the body you feel so uncomfortable in. That's why your reasonable, average reasonable trans person hates the idea of these people who claim to be non-binary, demigender, cat gender, whatever. Well, because what? because there is no because there is no there are no hormones involved. You can't even if, ignoring the surgeries. There are no hormones involved, meaning nothing changes. And well, you just give yourself a new title. What if there's someone who feels that way but doesn't want, like, doesn't like the process? It, it doesn't meet what their standard would be. Like, what if someone only wants biological change and since that's impossible, they stick with what they've got? I would say... You can get, but you can get some biological change from the hormones, that's the thing. Yeah, but not, yeah. not fully. Yeah, not fully. So, but that's the thing. If they don't want to get neither the surgeries or the hormones, and the hormones, they don't want any of that, but they're still trans and they say, oh, I'm actually non-binary. I'm transitioning to all this other shit. It, well, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about people like that. I'm talking about people who, they're, they're one gender. They want to be the other, but they don't go through the process and don't, like, make any like claims to those spaces i would say it's okay for them to be like can you you know if they're not a dick about it and they're like you know i would prefer to be called a female like a woman you know like th those are the pronouns i wish to use can you please respect them so long as they're not a dick about it that should be fine however going into female bathrooms participating yeah, in I'm... female sports events all that shit should be barred from them yeah. yeah i'm not i'm not even referring to that i'm just talking about like at the base level of person is one way they want to be the other way they don't the, the process doesn't make them all the way the other way so they just N don't but, because but, they don't but like that's that. the thing but that's the thing that no process will ever uh, at least i think it will it will no never I, no i, I know i, I get way. that but what i'm saying is like because they can't go all the way, then they just don't attempt it at all because they don't like the option that's available. And I understand that. I completely understand what you're saying. I, I could totally see somebody, you know, feeling that I, way where it's like, I, I don't, don't want to be, 
I don't want to be hacked apart and turned into this disgusting malformed piece of flesh that's going to rot away. Um, you know, I could totally understand that why they wouldn't want to go through that, but still feel, you know, that they are trapped in a body that they don't necessarily think that they should be, but they don't want to go through that oh. process of essentially getting an axe wound. Yeah, so that's well, more body dysmorphia than it is being. Tra yeah, because you're not transitioning. General... Yeah, because you're not transitioning. It's the same thing with other kin. Other kin are just they're they're just weirdos. For anyone that doesn't know, other kin are people that genuinely believe they are an animal. Like that they they were born a person and that's wrong. They were actually meant to be a fox, a wolf, uh, a horse, stuff like that. Yeah, because because the thing about gender dysphoria is that it makes every single day painful, in a sense. Because you have to recognize that your body is still as it is, so you would do anything to just push yourself even if a little bit away from it. So if someone just says, eh, "Don't like the process," but I'm still a woman, though, that's that's just body. That's just another kind of body dysmorphia that's not being trans. Mm. Yeah. Well, also, I would uh... I would say you know like yeah. Um... If they want to be called she, then sure. Yeah, but, uh, like I would go but that far, but I would still. But they're not trans. The, yeah, the... and I would still bar them from all the other stuff. And I would probably say you'd probably better off just getting like therapy, like actual yeah. therapy, not not like hormone therapy, just regular therapy. Yeah. And probably like, yeah, just get mental treatment at that point because. Yeah, because at that point, it's it's something completely stupid that you. Well, not completely stupid. It's just something that you can't f do anything about it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's definitely uh, new... not gender dysphoria. 100% not that. New fan art just dropped, by the way. So it's in our chat. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> How do you do, fellow transphobes? I hate trannies 4%. <laughs> the 40 40%. Yeah, it's 40%. The noose is a, oh. is a zero. Oh. <laughs> I like how it's a toad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Jim Sterling. It's Jim yeah, Sterling. That's the point. Yeah, that's the that's Jim Sterling's hat and everything. So yeah, it's Jim Sterling. Yep. That's hilarious. Oh god. <laughs> Other kin are cringe and in no way furries. In a lot of ways, well, a lot. I, I guess I should say, um, other kin doesn't mean they're furry and being furry doesn't mean you're other kin either um but a lot of other kin are furries yeah like i you know like I, i'm not like i don't hide I, I i am a furry to an extent um yeah no if there was a if there was a way where like you could just snap your fingers and you could become like your fursona i would do it i would 100 do, do i wouldn't even think I about it i'd just like i'd be like bam instant yes i would yes take it immediately yeah like yeah but again we don't we don't exist in that world we don't even exist in that world where tons of surgery could make that happen either yeah exactly like we'd that's have to not, get that's to not like a reality yeah we'd have to get to like cellular like cellular uh uh like Cellular uh, programming and stuff. And yeah, stuff. like shit where like your entire anatomy is just like reformed from a molecular level. We 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 basically have to get to be one of those apex civilizations. You know those usual civilization charts they go up the chart of like what tier of civilization you're at, planet builders and things like that. Yeah. Um yeah, no, we would we would need to be there like to insane levels of being able to manipulate DNA to a godlike level. Exactly. Yeah, and it's like that's just not going to happen. Yeah. Um, or if it does, it's nothing that we will ever see. Yeah, we will be long dead before that ever happens, unfortunately. But um Yeah. Yeah, that's but that's the thing. It's like So in a way that could somewhat be considered otherkin in a form, but <laughs> not in like the annoying way. Just take the Moderna vaccine. I sprouted a tail this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sorry, it's another. It was a tangent. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. But it, well, it was a tangent based off of this. 
Uh, because again, this is what J.K. Rowling saying here is a true fucking statement. Again, truth is an ultimate defense. Yeah, but this yeah. is true. This is true. Yeah, this is literally just like pointing at scientists and shit and being like, mm, transphobic. Like, yeah. you can't actually debunk what they're saying because you know it's true, so you just call them transphobes. Well, that, and that's that's what these people do. That's all these people do. They they don't have an actual rebuttal for anything they're told. They just have to accuse their opposition of being ists or phobes. That's all they can do. Yeah. Yeah. Pay constant comparisons of trans women to men her verbatim repetition. Uh, many health professionals are concerned that young people struggling with their mental health are being shunted towards hormones and surgery when this may not be in their best interests. Okay, but yeah, again, I agree. if it's true. No, yeah, I, I do agree with this. But because, again, there's a lot in the health professions that they're doing this. They're shunting them towards these programs because it makes the, the, the hospitals and everything lots of fucking money. Yeah, like... And you best it's, it's, believe they're going to do it in other countries besides the U.S. The U.S. might have privatized health care, but they're going to do it in other countries, too. Because guess what? Guess who's... They're still getting money from somebody for doing all of these things. Yeah. Um, it's weird that people were so aware of how, like, greedy Big Pharma was years ago. But people somehow forgotten that now. If, if you push someone towards well, this... You've got a paying customer for life. Yeah. A, a literal victim for life. That's what they want. Um, but even even better is that the reason they, they, they moved away from that is because mainstream media are in the pockets of Big Pharma. Yeah. Remember, Woody uh, uh, Harrelson just did his uh, Saturday Night Live thing because he's been brought back for another fifth... Uh, fifth thing so as being one of the those members of that club he gets to do a speech his speech was talking about a, a joke script that he turned down because nobody would believe in it. it was about how all these cartels got together and they put out this designer drug that everybody needed to have and the cartels paid off the mainstream media to push the this drug narrative to make sure everybody got it and those that didn't get it were demonized and outcast so that the cartels could rake in more and more money and he said he turned it down because nobody would believe that script was was real, while smiling at the camera because he's obviously talking about fucking big pharma. Um, and what did the mainstream media do? The moment that dropped, immediately the hit pieces and like decries of disinformation and how he's a rambling madman and doesn't know what he's talking about all came out. I also want to grab a comment here quickly from Tentacle Dude: How greedy big pharma was years ago was. I didn't mean that they aren't anymore. It's just what I was referring to is people knew about it or seemed to know about it years ago. And and now everyone's forgotten. Because that's the whole thing. Oh, why would they cure cancer when they can treat it forever? Right? Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Again, as we, as we saw with Vanderbilt Hospital, they were literally talking about people as children, not as children, not as underage minors. They were talking about them as a customer for life, that they will get tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars out for the rest of their existence. That's why they should push for all this stuff over and over again. It's like, Jesus Christ, this was stuff that they said they didn't know they were being recorded. But this is stuff that is being said. Uh, um, we missed the two dollar super chat from Ludwig Williams for two dollars, where he says it's just cultural Marxist nonsense anyway. I agree. Yeah, I just yeah, scrolled up really to get is. that. Ah, oh, sorry, I stole it. No, it's fine. I'm Romanian. <laughs> in blood, if not in current locale. <laughs> no, you're not Romanian. You're French. Shut the fuck up, I'm not fucking kids, okay? <laughs> oh, Jesus. ...of gender critic points makes her feelings clear. She follows, is best friends with, an outright claim. Oh, no, Dan, because of who you associate with. Yeah, guilt well, by association is retarded. Fuck off. Yeah, anyone that does that shit is, uh, is fucking subhuman category immediately. If you start doing guilt by association bullshit, fuck you. 
Yeah, you're not guilty of something that someone else believes in. Yeah. Oh no. Again, this is my this is part of the whole. My brother, if I had one, my brother committed murder. Well, guilt by association. I'm going down for murder too, I guess. Well, it's part of the whole purity test thing. Uh, it's what they tried with this game and with Atomic Heart, where, oh, if you support this game, you're supporting the deaths of fucking trillions of transgenders. Yeah, um, how'd that work out, Jim? How'd that it, work if, out? if you support Atomic Heart, then you're supporting the Russian war effort against the pure and innocent Ukraine. It's like, well, no, sometimes a game is just a game. Some people just want to play the fucking game. Not everything is a yep. political statement. And that's what a lot of people find fucking obnoxious. It's a very similar thing here. Oh, you associate this person who has done a thing that we don't like. That says a lot about you, doesn't it? Like, fuck off. No, it doesn't. Um, and also, I love how you're posting this. The trans community have been proved right time and again. Uh... Time again about these vicious bigots. If Helen was happy to say she wants to eradicate us on camera, what was she saying in private? Did she say that? Has that been said? Do you have fucking evidence? Joss Pryor, you fucking weirdo. Yeah, I don't even see that comment in chat. It's not in chat. It's not in chat, it's, it's on the screen. Oh. I'm reading the thing yeah. that's on the screen right now. Because again, this is what they this is what the fucking weirdos do. They 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 are just as vicious and vile as they claim the boogeymen after them are, but they are and in actuality the vicious vile scumbag. Okay, so the first question would be has this person has this person actually said that she wants to eradicate transgenders exactly. on camera? And if so, provide the no. evidence because at this point I just don't trust these people when they say XYZ does this horrible thing. That's why you should hate them. Because you yep. you know how easy it is to say, hey, this person, they said something terrible. You should hate them for it. You know? Well, keep in mind, we literally just had an incident of this not that long ago with Silvervale where they were saying, oh, she banned the word trans from her chat because she hates trans people when she had nothing to do with that. It, it was, was Twitch's auto, auto mod. Yeah. Yeah. It was Twitch's auto mod holding the comments for review. That's it. She did not ban it, but yet even after that was explained and it was completely disproven, they kept pushing that narrative on Twitter even after the fact. So we know for a fact that they lie about this shit, and then even when it's called out that they're lying, we'll keep doing it. Yep. So you, we just cannot trust them when they say this shit. You have to provide actual evidence that shows that what you're saying is true. And if you don't, then there's no reason to believe you. Yeah. Yep. But then most times you ask for actual evidence, then you get, oh, well, you should educate yourself, line. Yeah, and it's like, no, fuck yeah. you. Which you're, is so you, stupid. Yeah, you're the one making the claim. Back it the fuck up. Don't make me do your work for you. Yeah, we had that fucking tard wrangling going on in the Discord a while ago. Oh, yeah. It's like, Jesus Christ. Claims to be one of the many herps, trans exclusive radical feminists these days rebranded to gender criticals. Her slide into open. Mm, come up with new terms for the enemy. Mm. Yeah, get, we get it, Jim. You're a fucking troglodyte. Fascism as a result has been horror. Fascism? Hold on. I'm everything, sorry, what? Everything I disagree with and don't like is fas uh, fascism. Yes. She follows, yep. is best friends with, and outright claims to be one of the many prominent TERFs, trans-exclusive radical feminists these days rebranded to gender criticals. Her slide into open fascism as a result has been horrifying. Do you know what fascism is, you stupid, fat, obese, degenerate, disgusting, mold-sniffing cunt? Exactly. If you knew what fascism was, you'd be decrying the Democrat Party and wanting them all hanged. My country was under the fucking boot of a fuck of a guy that just wasn't fascist because he couldn't be bothered to, but he was damn fucking close. I need to get. I, I need to grab a comment here because it's just too good. Um, do you and the gang sometimes feel like if you bang your head against the wall, 
uh, the world and videos you cover might make sense. Yes, most of the videos we cover would make sense if we all had brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, quick question, Kree. <laughs> what is a long man in your bingo? There's long man bad. What's long, long man, man bad is if somebody criticizes something for just the length, like yeah. the video. Oh my oh, god, you Morgan. made a video that is five hours long? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's long man bad. That that's not a term that we started. That was a term that Mahler, Mahler and crew started. Yeah, um, cause, because because he would get those comments. Yeah, all he the would time. frequently get the comments. Oh, you made a long video, as if that yeah, as if that's a bad thing. And I still get one of the weirdest comments. I was talking about pagan or talking to pagan and such about this yesterday. One of the weirdest comments I get is people who come in and say, oh. I'm not spending eight hours watching a video. Then why the fuck are you commenting? Okay. Yep. <laughs> Jen the Derp says, Hey, Seth, look what's on screen. It's your Uncle Stu. <laughs> <laughs> um, and $2 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Uh, fascist here. JK Rowling is not one of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I do. Oh, I do want to say one thing though. I love how Long Man Bad eventually just morphed into lore for Mahler being the Long Man, so he's long and slender now as a yeah, character. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah he's basically <laughs> Slender Man with a gas mask. <laughs> yep, with super long, gangly arms that get that can change length at will. Mm-hmm. Kratosus, how many hours do you take to make your videos? I don't keep count. It it would be. A crazy task to attempt keeping count of uh, how long because you have the the entire scripting process um which i do i very much do on and off i'll like work on it for like a little bit here a little bit there sometimes and other times i'll just go into it hard for a while there's a recording uh all the footage and doing all the research there's editing and uh like double checking everything so like it, it definitely adds up to a lot but uh keeping count of it would be a humongous task at least tens of hours yes Matt Walsh, a fascist so into fascism that he self describes as one and has made a does he? The LGBTQ <laughs> he, does, he does not, but also he makes a career out of destroying you fucking weirdos. Like he he absolutely curb stomps you every single time. So so if, he brings fucking receipts. So if he does admit to uh being a fascist, and where's this evidence, Jim? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's weird how they always have these accusations against people, I, but then I wonder, never have the sources or any kind of proof. I wonder he if it's because... He's a fascist. He admits he's a fascist. Trans teens, bad. Oh, no. how awful. But here's, here's what I'm curious about. Is, is he claiming this because he was proud of winning the Bigot of the Year award or whatever? Because he was like, yeah, it means I'm doing my fucking job and putting these fucking weirdo child groomers to task. It's in his Twitter bio? Well then, yeah, I wonder if that's because he keeps getting called a fascist and he's just going to wear it as a badge of honor. Because, like, he again, he got the that award of being, like, the bigot of the year or something. And he's like, you know what, I'm going to take this as a fucking badge of honor. Yeah, a lot of people because do that stuff, stuff as a joke. Yeah, because, you know, the, there was that whole thing, you know, where it's like, everyone's a fucking Nazi, so people literally started wearing, like, that sort of, like, you know, the term Nazi as a badge of honor, because it yeah. means fucking nothing anymore. Evidence yeah. is transphobic, Krito says. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I think I think Matt Walsh is a bit of a fucking idiot, but... He, he's, he's... he has... He's good at one thing, and it's, again, it's in these debates and bringing evidence and everything. He is fucking dog shit when it comes to media. Holy Christ. Yeah. Media and just some of his, some of his takes are just insane. The, 
that one will always stick with me. The fucking like men would never interact with women in any form or ever be friends with them if they didn't think that they could have sex with them. And it's like, that's creepy, my guy. What the fuck? Yeah. I wonder if he means men as a generalized sense. But yeah, I God, I'd need I'd be like, got some more fucking context to that one, Matt. Cause what it sounds like is real fucking bad. Yeah, I I, I was just like, what the fuck do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Three all Australian dollars from get out there, yo. Uh they say invoice those who make bad videos for your time. <laughs> 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 we're gonna sue you for wasting our time <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing that uh, is impossible or else Caesar Throne would file another fucking 10,000 lawsuits yeah God, but could you imagine though we, we spent 11 hours that one time covering his video it's like oh man <laughs> if you could sue for that we would be fucking rolling in money right now <laughs> Uh, do you speak Spanish? You are now transphobic. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Americans realizing that n almost every single language on the planet is actually gendered and saying Latin doesn't work. Yep. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you know how you uh, how you would say Latin X in Portuguese? Latinche. Latinche. <laughs> Latinche. That's an actual name, though. It, no, I, 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 I mean, the way you're saying like, it, not the way it's spelled, I should say, but Letitia is uh, Letitia Adams. I'm, I have an N in there. Letitia. Like, this sounds retarded. This, like, if I were to say this to, a Portu to another Portuguese person, I'd sound like a fucking troglodyte. Like, uh, like a fucking tentacle dude. D listen, listen. D isn't this retarded? Letitia? Like, fucking hell. It sounds so bad. And yet, Americans are just like, no, you should definitely use it. It's like, yeah. Well, okay. no, the the weirdos want you to use it. The the actual Latino community is like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, they're gonna find out why Latin uh, Latino crime rates are so high if they call them <laughs> Latin. <laughs> As a Latin American, we are in fact the racist fascist Nazis, says Joe M. Wow. Oh, well, an ironic. Maybe to be fair, a lot of Nazi uh, colony camps showed up in uh, Latin America <laughs> after the war. And I'm not kidding either. They're, they're like mini colonies, but they're just like a village of just nothing but um, expatriated Nazis. Weird stuff. There's a, there's a video of one showing like this community out in the middle of a jungle. And they're, they're, like, wearing, like, good clothing and everything like that. But they're all, like, blonde hair, blue eye, children, and stuff like that. It's really creepy. It looks like, it looks like it'd be from the SCP Foundation, basically. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> As a trans-Latino, I think I speak for all of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, that's, that's a turn of phrase that's really difficult to get out. I think I speak for all of us. Don't ever do that. Yeah. I mean, even if even if it's legitimately true what you're about to say and everybody agrees with you at that moment, just don't do that. It's just a bad turn of phrase. Two dollars from Emperor Ambrose O'Leary. Thank you very much. Thank you. For those who know, you lost the game. People still do that? Uh, apparently. Hmm. What game? I don't know. Okay, the, uh, the game... Explain it is to be dumb. The game is if you think of the game you lose. Yes. Oh. Fuck. That's all it yeah, is. It, it's yeah, it's an old internet meme from like the the long forgotten ancient times of two thousand five. Yeah. God, there are people born after two thousand five now that are teenagers. I I can't believe uh. I can't believe nineteen ninety was eighty two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like people born in 05 are gonna be 18 this year. Some of them already are. Hey, fuck me, man. Yeah. The older they get, the older I get, the more I hate time. Yeah, because time. Would you say? Faster. 
Would you say this is how you feel, Kree? <laughs> Let's That's see. How I feel. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> It's been 84 years. <laughs> Neko the Anarchist, kill yourself, says, Hi, I'm from 2004. 19? I'm 19. I'll be turning 20 next year. Feel old now. Fuck. Okay, see? I... Don't worry, I'm from, I'm from late 80s, so there you go. Yeah, but you're a corpse. Like, like... Yeah, I'm, I am basically a corpse at this point. Compared to everybody else <laughs> on the panel. Like, I, I say I feel like I'm getting old, and older people say to me, Oh, that's not old. And, like, what are you talking about? Stuff like that. And I know how they feel when I see someone who's turning 20 saying they feel like they're getting old. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah. Wait till you hit the age of 28 and suddenly you start falling apart. I'm already falling apart. Yeah, it fucking sucks. I'll be 30. Uh, yes. This year, and I feel I, I I feel decrepit. It's just funny, like you hear you always hear that meme of like just wait, just wait until you get twenty eight, and then I actually hit twenty eight, and I was like, oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> I do feel like I'm falling apart now. Like what happened? It's like some something flipped the light switch, and suddenly it's just like okay, now you in die mode. <laughs> you don't want to turn die mode off. I want to yeah. go back. Um, five dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you. I've got a fat stack of lasagna for dinner here. Eat your heart out, Garfield Mark Logan. Hmm. Uh, we should probably get back to figuring out how Matt Walsh is the fascist of fascists, literally making Hitler get on his knees. Yeah. We'll see. Let's find out. Plus people of the very... He himself seems to be a fan of. What? That... Fucking evidence, my dude. That skipped you for me. To... That is defamation per se, son. That, that skipped for me. I need to hear that. So into fascism that he self describes as one and has made a career from accusing LGBTQ plus people of the very pedophilia he himself seems to be a fan of. She's like, what? Yeah, that that is defamation per se. You dumb fuck. Wow. Also, um, yeah, LGBTQ plus <laughs> are child groomers. I'm sorry, but it's fucking true. Yeah, LGBT are normal people. LGBTQ plus, yeah. Yeah, those are the so those are the fucking, the fucking sickos. Is now liking tweets from the anti-LGBT right wing hate platform Libs of TikTok. Oh my god, Whoa, Libs of ow. TikTok is not is not a right wing hate platform. All Libs of TikTok does is showcase what you fucking weirdos degenerate sicko child groomers say and shows it to the light like this is what they fucking said <laughs> all she literally does is repost things yes that's what i'm talking about that's that's all she does also also matt walsh i, I remember seeing this one clip on him with with in re in regards to like teen pregnancies i don't know if it was him and i really didn't like it but the thing is he's not defending impregnating teens jim sterling <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't like abortion in any case. Yeah. He's not he's not defending impregnating teens, Jim. Yeah, what he's just fuck? saying he's saying the teens were fucking dumbasses for getting pregnant to begin with, but you know what? Now they're pregnant. Now it's something they have to deal with. I will not execute a life. Yeah, and unfortunately the media twists it around to be like, oh, he supports <laughs> teen pregnancy. And it's like, no, he did not say he supported teen pregnancy. He just said that they shouldn't get abortions. Uh, $2 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Matt Walsh said 16-year-olds can get pregnant. Yeah, but that's oh. true, though. It's not saying he advocates yeah, that it. True. He's saying it's a fact that that can happen. And keep in mind, there are countries where that is the age of consent. Yeah. Yeah, as Americans, we find it disgusting, but a lot of the... There's a lot of places in the rest of the world that see, like, 16 as, like, prime age yeah. for consent which and, and to be fair we come america was born in a time when people weren't dying in their 30s like constantly and i'm not saying that that was a thing but that's kind of like why so many medieval people would marry younger because they knew their lifespan wasn't that long 
Um, and that just goes without having modern medicines and everything. So, uh, yeah, it's it's just oof. Two dollars super chat from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. I prefer the Japanese view. Uh, I will let Mishima, because Mishima is in Japan, and so they can say that they can say that. But pretty sure that that's not a good view. Uh, I remember there was a thing where like um. It's no longer 14 in Japan. They changed that. Oh, yeah. Didn't they? Didn't they make it a universal thing now? Because it was it was by prefecture before. I think. Yeah, it was by it was by prefecture before, and now they've made it so that it's like universal, and it's not 14, not anymore. Yeah. So now it's 16 nationally. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Um. The age of consent here in Brazil is 14 for some reason. Well, that's what it is in France. Uh, the French people see Scorcher Cast says as in their prime, I guess. Scorcher Cast says no, it wasn't 14. There was like a rule of within three years. Okay, so we have the Romeo Juliet clause here in the United States as well. So the Romeo Juliet clause is if you're within a couple years of each other and the guy turns 18, but the girl is still 16. That's fucking fine. Because it's the Romeo and Juliet clause. Yeah. Like, I can at least understand that one. Yeah, they're literally two years apart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so we do have that in the United States as, as a kind of, like, catch-all for the, like, hey, baby, we, we've been dating for three years... You know, but tomorrow I'm going to turn 18 and therefore I can no longer date you anymore because, you know, we won't be legal anymore until you turn 18 in a, in a year or two from now. Um, yeah, that's dumb. Sorry, I was just looking at the screen and I realized how, this tweet is far crazier than uh, than we initially realized. Um, <laughs> yes, it really is. I was reading bits and pieces of it. That specifically targets LGBT and trans people. Wait, what do you mean, and trans people? Isn't that part of LGBT? Mm. That's what the T means. Uh, <laughs> marking them for violent attacks by gun-toting far-right militia. What? What? Yeah, like, what? Well, needed? Not at all. Yeah. Like, like, show examples of this happening. The fuck yeah, are the, you they talking about? They keep, on TikTok, they keep fucking claiming this shit, that there are, like, right-wing death squads walking around shooting people. Okay, where's the evidence of this? Why, why, if this was true, it would be all over national television. It's all they would show, but you never see it. It especially, doesn't fucking happen. Especially with how biased the media is. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's I all actually they have proof of it. I have proof of it. One guy in my comments <laughs> said that the latest purchase of Hogwarts Legacy funded the execution of six trans people. Which he's and uh, he's financing an espresso machine for his hideout. Oh, oh God! So that, that's my source. Um, um no, that's not what the T is, is for. It's lesbian, gay, bisexual, and turtle club. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, but Officer Half Pantel says, "Ah, uh, yes, Romeo and Juliet, the classic tale of two kids who killed themselves because their families couldn't accept that one of them had turned eighteen while the other one was only sixteen and a half. That isn't why the, the Romeo and Juliet clause is called that way. It's because it's supposed to be people in actual deep, maddening love, right? That's what it's supposed to be. You can't quantify love, though, in, like, legal documentation. So they're using the concept of these two people are clearly in love. One of them is 18 or over. The other one is under 18 within a certain set of years. So I think the cutoff is, like, two and a half years of being 18. And, like, it's fucking fine. Right? Because they're in love. And that, that's the that's the hard thing in law. There are just certain things you cannot quantify. And love being one of them. But they, that's why they called the Romeo and Juliet clause. Because Romeo and Juliet were so maddening in love that they killed themselves. So yeah, Joe it's a weird misnomer. Yeah. Uh, Joe M in chat asks the what cultural Marxism is. To summarize... It's basically everybody is a group that must that must by default act and think in X or Y way. So if you're trans, you must by default think that uh, fuck it, I don't know. You can transition 
into a fucking Marlboro cigarette or something. I don't know. <laughs> and anyone that isn't, that does not believe like this, is either not of the group to be shunned or some other such stupid. Yeah, and it's essentially too of to teach you that your group must overtake the other groups as well. Because you, the reason you're in the groups is not to be in a group of belonging; it's to define uh, who are the targets for said group. Let play the video for one minute. No pauses. Two dollar super chat from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Uh, oh no! no. We Have don't... you seen it ahead of time though? Cause maybe, maybe there's a, like we're about to get more of a machine gun. Oh no! Yeah, we don't normally do that unless there's something like crazy crazy bad which i could expect from a jim sterling video to be honest yeah in this instance i feel like if we played this video for a full minute straight we would at we would just go insane we would take actual well, psychic damage let's see what happens let's try you know uh, i mean i'm not saying we're gonna do it because there might be something super insane that comes up but let's see if we can make it from 426 to 526 before let's see what happens before that Five dollars from Reptile zero 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 nine. Thank you. Have you guys uh, considered covering any amazing, bleh, amazing atheist vids? I've heard he's really gone downhill. I've actually never he's watched it. He's always been downhill. <laughs> I, I've never seen I've, any of his stuff. He's always I've, been downhill. He's an atheist. He he makes atheism his primary identity. Like fuck it, like fuck it. Um yeah, no. I've never watched his stuff. I'm not gonna rule it out though. Maybe he does have shitty videos we could cover. Yeah. I've watched like two or three a couple years ago. Just more than a couple years ago, and I remember finding him obnoxious even back then. Even before I became religious, like fuck it. Alright. Here we go. Let's do it. Liked tweets from the ab abhorrent libs of TikTok account, a notorious mm -hmm. right-wing platform that outs queer nope. people and is used to organize attacks against drag shows as well as <laughs> threats against hospitals. What? She nope. retweets unscientific <laughs> drivel by queer phobes like Baroness Nicholson. She stands nope. with Maya Forstatter, who, after losing her job at a progressive organization over demeaning and I can't. I can't. We're, we're yeah. Like full this minute. is already <laughs> fucking insane lies and fucking what? Death, defamatory what the statements. Fuck? What? what? So where do we start with this? Um, Guys, Libs of TikTok is fucking outing people and getting them killed. It's organizing Lib death squads. TikTok literally yeah, TikTok organized that just the club to shooting. That reposts what they're saying and be like, this is what they said. Yeah, no, that's organizing. That's that's hate and everything. No, they're they're literally shining a light on how fucking sick and disgusting LGBTQ plus people are. How fucking just amoral and degenerate they are. Again, guess what? Lives of TikTok wouldn't have any fucking content if you all didn't say anything. Yeah. What Jesus all... Christ. Fucking hell, there was so much bullshit in there. I'm gonna yeah. commit a sin, and I'm gonna ask, forgive me, Lord, can we go back a few seconds just so I can hear what the okay. fuck he said at the last few moments? You do that, I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right Yeah, me too. Okay. Like, I right. wanna hear this. Before you press bullshit. play, um, just a guy from Alabama. Welcome to our membership. Thank you. It's very much appreciated. Don't fuck um, your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, so does this guy actually cover video games, or is this, uh, Jimbo's Bitch About Twitter show? This is Jimbo's Bitch About Twitter show. But yeah, remember, guys, the only reason he's losing subscribers is because he came out as trans. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that his entire channel is nothing but politics now. I actually have to hear this. Hold on. She read uh, right before this. TikTok account, a notorious right-wing platform that outs queer people and is used to organize attacks against drag shows as well as threats against hospitals. What? 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 It's source? It's only a matter of time before its posts lead to violence. 
Ah oh, yes, we can claim Blamed anything for we do. Harassment of children's hospitals by Twitter employees. Not the police, Twitter employees. What the f <laughs> What What Yes, Steve. I I heard I, I heard that uh, that I, I saw this tweet by this person libs of TikTok, Sig Hal by the way, um, who reposted a TikTok on Twitter. You know what? Grab the M two forty nine, I'm going to the nearest children's hospital. <laughs> yeah. How the f what the f how do you reach this point? <laughs> And I think if I remember correctly, that specific one was like there was a children's hospital that was doing like uh, what was it? Was it like transitioning for kids and stuff? And yeah, in the UK, yeah. And uh, basically, people were like, you know, outraged, and it they like is. called they like called the children's hospital and was like complaining, and it that was enough to fucking be like oh yes the he incited harassment it, by, it's still uh, going on and the situation is much worse than what you think because um leaked conversations have come out about tavistock and um any doctor that does literally anything other than yeah yeah please here are some hormones uh like even if it's that even if that's the second option any doctor that doesn't give hormones and affirm, like, whatever the kid believes as a first option gets outed. Yeah. Um, the, the one in the thing specifically was a Boston Children's Hospital, but they were doing the same thing. Like, they, I, I'm pretty sure it was like, uh, yeah, they were like transitioning young kids um, into getting permanent surgeries without, like, going through the proper procedures or anything. And they were just, like, shuffling them through. And yeah, they like there admitted cases, to doing that. Weren't there cases of like teachers and stuff going to kids behind the parents' backs to try and convince yeah. them into this stuff? Yep. Yeah, yeah, and stuff like that. Yes. And then when people Which found is out, why the Florida bill, the the parental rights bill, was so fucking important. Like, holy uh, shit! Hold, uh, hold on, I'm sorry to have to interrupt you, Ludwig. Stop spamming the chat with asking to join the Discord. The link is in the description right now. He's okay. he's been spamming chat. Not spamming, but he's asked, can I join your Discord? Just a few seconds below. Can I join your Discord? Like, s stop. I've already, I even told you in text. The link is in the description. Oh, I didn't even see those. Um, yeah, the link is in the description, man. Just just join. You don't need to ask. That's a uh, $2 super chat. Thank the you. Two bucks. Yeah. I wasn't sure who was he who he was talking about. Was he talking about ours or, or Emily's? Mine, well, because he, he was adding me. me. And oh, to Cree, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it's in the description. I, I was gonna say if it's for Emily, I, he might not have the link, but if it's ours, yeah, it's in the description. Well, the link's in all of my videos. Also, back to video. I want to point out how insanely fucking disingenuous this is. Hold on. Seems to be a fan of. She's liked tweets from the abjectly abhorrent libs of TikTok account, a notorious right wing platform that outs queer people and is used to organize attacks against drag. Used to organize attacks. Showing an article of a shooting that wasn't organized by libs of TikTok. And also, and, and the wasn't problem actually targeting Club Q. That was the that was the part that was the most shocking thing was that. He was after a different target, and then couldn't get to that target, so just went into the club. And not just that, but this ran this Twitter account is linked to this random shooting in this uh, article for pretty much no reason. It's basically, oh, you criticized this group hours after a deadly shooting. So what, you're just not supposed to cr uh, criticize a different group of people after one group just got shot? Like, yeah, it's, if, it's ridiculous. If it, if there's a shooting in a gay nightclub in New York, am I not allowed to criticize gay people in California? Apparently. Oh, also, that thing he just showed, the fucking, um... Uh, shit, hold on, I might need to go back a little bit again. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry, but... At least we don't have to look at it. 
Can I just say that the criticism of the group is because the drag group did shows for kids? Yeah, that too. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to bring up. The, uh, yeah, the drag show thing. Yeah, he just brings up, like, the drag show thing as if, like, oh, yeah, they're just attacking innocent drag shows who did nothing wrong. They never did anything wrong. Uh, even though we were literally seeing, like, videos of them grinding against kids and touching them and forcing them to watch, like, men twerk in front of their faces while wearing nothing and all this shit. And it's like, no, that was straight up just child abuse. That was grooming and shit. That That's disgusting. People 100% had every right to go out in front of that building and chant, like, you know, pedophile. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what they were doing. Yeah, most people don't give a shit if, you know, people have drag shows all on their own, like, for their own to other adults, consenting yeah. adults. The problem they have is when it's done, like, in front of children. Children don't need to see that. Yeah, it's yeah. disgusting. And it's, 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 it's like taking children to a strip club. Yeah. It's like, they don't need to see that either. There, there's a reason why children aren't allowed into strip clubs, and you can't, like, it, it's actually illegal to share porn with them. Yeah. Yeah, but, but no, trans people can just, you know undress right in front of them and then touch them and it's totally fine no guys it's totally fine I'm I, I fucking hate them. it I'm yeah I'm just educating them. them I fucking hate that shit so much it's fucking disgusting and then you got idiots like Jim here who's like mm, they're, these innocent drag shows are being harassed they did nothing wrong meanwhile they're literally grooming kids at these drag shows with yep. undressing in front of these fucking kids and twerking on them and just, you know what hey ugh. If Jim says that these dragsters are doing nothing wrong, well, Jim, you're a fucking child groomer. Eat shit, you troglodyte. Yeah. If you don't think it's if you don't think what they're doing is wrong, all right, child groomer. Okay, groomer. Dude, I fuck. This is one of those moments. I will say it. I fucking dare you. Sue me. I fucking dare you. I will take your ass to court. I will happily go to court on that. You fucking pedo. I need to go yep. to the bathroom real quick. Try not to kill yourselves while I'm away. Yeah, we're talking about Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling's a child groomer. Can't we just wall him? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> outs queer people and is used to organize attacks against drag shows as well as threats against hospitals. She retweets unscientific drivel by queer phobes like Barry. Why are you showing this? Oh, bad uh, JK Rowling. Hold on a second. Wait, wait. Here Rowling has retweeted a letter which claims that humans have existed for 500 million years. The letter by the anti-gay, anti-trans, anti-abortion Baroness Nicholas Nicholson is attacking a library for canceling a talk infamous transphobe Julia Bendel during Pride. Uh, hang on a second. Is that what that says? Fuck, I don't know what that letter actually says. I can't read it because the text is so small. I have a feeling bad writing takes is full of shit. Yeah, and I don't even know who this is, who this person is. I've never even heard of this name, so I can't even verify it. Unless I, like, go and search it up right now. Yeah. And, and once again, these people are so dishonest that you can't take what they say at face value. Yeah. Like, I, I can't... I can't give them the benefit of the doubt on this. Like, I... I just yeah. can't trust it. i say 500 million years. Yeah, that's silly. But... If... if is yeah, but that in there? Is that in the document? It, it, also, just in general, people believe a lot of things based on what you know maybe what their religions are like there's people who believe that evolution isn't a thing that god created adam and eve and all humans come from there like yeah that, and that, that dinosaurs that, never existed yeah. and everything and if that's your belief that's your belief um but obviously reality doesn't quite re uh, align with that but yeah i'm not when it comes to religious stuff, I'm willing to, um, like, obviously I, I, I'm still critical of that thing, but like, if, if that's what people believe, I'm, I'm willing to let that go, you know? Yeah. And like, yeah, Grandmaster Pi brought it up, what I was going to bring up, but, um, 
it could also be that she is supporting the right of this person's ability to speak and that censoring them is unacceptable. Yeah. yeah she could it, just be speaking up for the right to free speech. That, that's a good point. This is still the guilt by association thing. J.K. Rowling has retweeted a letter which claims that humans have existed for 500 million years. That I found the letter. That, that doesn't mean she thinks that's true, though. Yeah, that doesn't mean that she actually believes that. It could just mean, like, well, they have the right to say that. They shouldn't be barred yeah. what did from I things. Sorry. Your, um, a letter? I, I found the letter. Oh. So I'm just reading through it real quick. Can I say it? What's this letter sure. about? Hold okay, on. So it's the I'll... thing that's on screen right now. Um, it's obviously, it's too small text to actually read. So here, I've got the. What is it about? Because the watch together is currently black for me, and I can't read it. No, you you wouldn't be able to read it even if it was on screen. That's why here I I linked to the actual letter. I'm trying to read it now. Yeah, uh, the letter is in a tweet that's quote tweeted by Bad Writing Takes, and the first yeah. line is J.K. Rowling has retweeted a letter which claims that humans have existed for 500 million years. So, first of all, that doesn't necessarily mean she agrees with that take or believes in it. Uh, secondly, it seems like that thing is, like, cherry-picked out of it to make her seem ridiculous. The belief that human beings cannot change from one biological sex to another is not only borne out by 500 million years of human existence... But it is a protected characteristic. C. Forstater versus C. G. D. Europe. Yeah, so that's 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 silly. The five hundred million years that could just be writing it too quickly, because you because uh, reading through this, obviously they're passionate about. Hey, you can't fucking censor somebody from speaking. Yeah, that's literally what this letter is. You cannot censor a person from speaking. Well, it also sounds like there's a citation there. It's possible that the original citation might have been wrong or. Whatever, but like uh, this isn't a citation. Uh, the well, okay, you. Uh, so I see what you mean. Yeah, sorry, I see what you're getting at. Yeah, so, uh, regardless of whether it's five hundred million years or if it's like five thousand years of human existence, like that, that's still a very long time of this not being possible. So yeah. Um, yeah, it could be hyperbole as well. Like, we don't know that for sure either. Um, yeah. But yeah, Chapter 2 of the Equality Act 2010 deals with prohibited conduct. Section 13, direct discrimination reads, A person, A, discriminates against another, B, if because of a protected characteristic, A treats B less favorably than A treats or would treat others. Okay, yeah. So they're literally saying, like, you can't just block people for what they say and this is it needs to be direct discrimination and here's what the definition of direct discrimination is yeah um and they're saying meanwhile this is that is exactly what you have done this discrimination is no more acceptable in a civilized society than denying the use of facilities to bame or jews or married women or uh pensioners irrespective of what stonewall has told you i fear it is simply unlawful your assertion that allowing Miss Bindel to speak was in conflict with your equality, diversity, and inclusion strategy suggests that rather than being an error of judgment, the cancellation was the product of misguided and systemically unlawful policy. We all make mistakes, and if that is truly what it, it, it was, I accept... I, sh I expect I shall see a published apology eminently. If not, I think you can expect a torrent of formal complaints to the Equality and Human Rights Commission. And that was signed by Baroness Nicholson of Winterbourne. By anyone confused, BAME is the UK term for Black African Minority Ethnic. Yeah, so basically any minority group. It's the, the catch-all for any minority. Yeah, no, that it, sounds it just, perfectly reasonable. And for like, them to be like... Is, yeah. just, it just seems like they're making up new phrases and terms... To just continue saying those coloreds. Oh yeah, uh, Cree, yeah. the latest UK term is, and I shit you not, if you say it as a word, yukmugamur. Yukmugamur, what? What? Yep. Hold on, let me get exactly what it is. Oh my god, I'm getting brain rot from this fucking video. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this bad. 
Oh, he did. It's Jim Sterling. But yeah, this is this is wild. It's a badass name, but of course they're a baroness, so you know they they are part of the nobility class, so they tend to have the more like baroness really does add to the name. <laughs> God damn it, I don't even know how to spell it properly. Hold on, it's it shows up in some fucking places. God damn it. Well, basically, it's a lot of fucking diversity bullshit. And... Yeah. So, so essentially, what bad writing takes is saying is that, no, we should be allowed to censor people, and they made a single spelling mistake. They lose! Like, Jesus Christ, go fuck yourself, you leftoid NPC. Mm hmm Ah, yes, Bane. Bane's retarded little brother. Sorry, guys, <laughs> I had to bring him along, Mom said. Bane! Bane! <laughs> oh, is Bame. that what that is? Oh, it's Ukmagm... Uh, UK Minority and Global Majority Heritage. God. What the fuck? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Right. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Typo invalid. Yeah, that's essentially <laughs> what this is. Wow, I post it into, into DuckDuckGo and it gives me the Denver fucking... Denver, Colorado weather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's lovely. Baroness Nicholson ends with Maya Forstater, who, after losing her job at a progressive organization... Okay, hang on, we gotta Some read this thing because obviously they're gonna be disingenuous as shit. So yeah, we should Some read transgen Rowling's right. uh, tweet as well. Um, Some transgenders... Uh... Transgender people have cosmetic surgery, but most retain their birth genitals. Everyone's equality and safety should be protected, but women and girls lose out on privacy, safety, and fairness if males are allowed into changing rooms, dormitories, prisons, sports teams. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah, nothing wrong with nothing wrong. That's with a that. fucking true statement. So let's see what Rowling's uh, tweet was. I'm just going to mute Sterling until we get to the tweet because I don't want to hear him again. He flashes it by so quickly that you barely have time to read it. Oh. Um, dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real? Yeah, I agree with that statement. That, that's yeah, that's... That's a Adolf Hitler quote. What the fuck? <laughs> sleep with any consenting adult you'll have. Dress who, however you please. have Average. You. Uh, who'll have you? Uh, Basically, two consenting Hitler adults. No, so yeah. no kids, anything like that. What is this? Like, what is she's this, saying this here isn't... Fascism? What she's saying here isn't extreme or hateful. <laughs> this is actually yeah. some of the most tolerant you could ever be. Well, yeah. J.K. Rowling is a self-affirmed lefty. Like the hardcore lefty as well. Yeah, she is. But they're but she's this is her stance. No, there are two genders. That's it. Now, technically, I will even I I agree with that. But I'll I'll even allow for there's a third one, which is intersex, which is a very rare condition that happens where you're born with literally XXY chromosome. Like it's a very very rare. We're talking like a percentage of a percentage sort of deal. But yeah, it's. It, it's male and female. That's it. But because she said that, now she's horrible right-wing super Nazi to these fucking leftoid NPCs. Yeah, which happens all the fucking time. Every time a lefty has even the slightest fucking normal take, they literally become Hitler. <laughs> fucking... Remember when they turned on Obama for, <laughs> yes. like, the same shit? It, it was fucking hilarious. There are three genders, male, female, and femboy. <laughs> <laughs> Intersex is a disorder, not a separate gender, though. Yeah. I... I mean, I guess, but again, I, like, I'm, I'm specifically referring to the people that are literally born with XXY as their chromosomes, which... It shouldn't work, but it does. But it also gives them both uh, organs, which is not, uh, you know, normal.
There are three genders. Male, female, retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna agree with Short Fat of Taku on this one. There is only one gender. Men. Women are property. <laughs> <laughs> I just love I'll that. The shelf. I just love that the last few comments are just like, Obama. <laughs> Obama. <laughs> I love that meme, by the way. <laughs> the fucking Obama. <laughs> it's um, fucking hilarious. How do you guys feel about going for another half hour, then calling it there and finishing this next time? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure, right. sure yeah. I mean, we, I didn't realize we were going to have to dissect every single fucking tweet that was on screen because all the stuff literally disproves what Jim is saying. Yeah, yeah. It, remember he's what, talking about how awful she is, and then all well, the not, tweets that were not, being shown are like not just reasonable. awful. She is a horrible, hateful fascist. Yeah, and, and yeah. just look at this tweet on screen. These are the words of a horrible, hateful fascist who wants to control your life. Yep, and basically, literally everything on this screen is in this tweet right this moment is that hey, let people be free. It's like, holy shit, what a fascist. Yeah, this is insane. Stands with Meta, who, after losing her job at a progressive organization over demeaning anti-trans comments, has dedicated her life to combating trans rights. That's... No, she have hasn't. they? Or have they Big combated... Big to doubt. Have they are they are they combating this weirdo psychopath leftoid NPC that has taken over like the the cultural zeitgeist? Like, do you know yeah, what Maya I, Foster I, does, guys? Do you want to know what horrible, terrible, dreadful, fascistic organization Maya Foster belongs to? Uh, Four Satter, yes. What are Marriage they? What, 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 what evil? puppy kicking kitten murder farm does she work for she's a, a marriage counselor she's a marriage and family therapist my god it's, it's worse than, than i thought, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> we have the same exact <laughs> she she she's literally a family therapist <laughs> forsaken oh my god literally clutching my pearls right now <laughs> <laughs> i just had the tf2 thing in my head fucking marriage counselor my god and a uh and a therapist no <laughs> there's more no <laughs> but wait there's more no <laughs> <laughs> i love that all right she wants an access a reminder that J.K. Rowling tweeted profane transphobic rhetoric to a child on Twitter in 2020. Beyond time to stop supporting and enabling J.K. Rowling's hurtful bigotry. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling tweets profane transphobic message to nine-year-old fan. As she has done previously, she claimed it was a mistake, but says anyone outraged should take your censorship and authoritarianism elsewhere. What so, did she say? Yeah, I was about to ask. If, like, this is just claiming, you like... This is why this is fucking frustrating. Someone, anyone right now can make a video where they take a tweet like this out of context uh, and say, like, oh, reminder that Jim Sterling said that child murder is based in red pilled. And, and, like, using that as evidence in your video that he supports child murder, even though it's probably not something he's ever said. Um, but, like,. It has that same level of weight when you're not showing, like, the actual proof. Guys, you, you want to hear anything. the transphobic tweet? You want to hear the transphobic tweet? Sure. Yeah. Grab your pearls. In court, Wolf claimed the Facebook post in which he'd said he wanted to fuck up some turfs was just bravado. How terrible. How transphobic. How dreadful that she swore. Th that's the that's the profane and transphobic message. It's literally she want. It's literally she used a swear word and said th the phrase wanted to fuck up some turfs. Wait, was this in response to the person saying that they wanted to, and she responded? 
In a since-deleted tweet sharing one of the drawings, Rowling, uh, Rowling wrote, I love this truly fabulous Ichabog with its bat ears, mismatched eyes, and terrifying bloodstained tweet. The tweet then bizarrely continued, In court, Wolf claimed the Facebook post in which he'd said he wanted to fuck up some turfs was just bravado. Hashtag the Ichabog. So That's she was it. criticizing somebody for wanting to beat up turfs. Yes. She was, she was calling out a fucking leftoid psychopath. But she swore. So, oh, dear! Well, no, you, you see how crazy this is getting, too. For saying that she disagrees that someone wanted to uh, fuck up turfs, that in itself is now transphobia, according to what we see on screen. Yeah. Yeah. Which, this is insanity. This is, again, these people don't exist in the real world. They're all fucking clowns. And, and, and this, realize and, and, and the even kid better, was nine. Even better, what she says here at the very end, take your censorship and authoritarianism elsewhere, is fucking right. You're doing it, Jim. You are the authoritarian fascist. You are the Nazi with the armband, you idiot. Yeah, that's something I was going to yeah, mention is... earlier. It's uh, The only funny thing about Jim Sterling is how his whole pers fake persona thing for his videos was, like, uh, a fascist. And then, like, he's actually gone that direction in real life. Yeah, he, he genuinely is one. Yeah, this is the same unironic argument that leftists make where, like, where they go to the extreme of, if you don't think it's okay to beat up white people, then you're, you're part of the problem and you're a racist. Yeah. And it's like, fuck you. you. You're the fucking racist. You're the part of the problem. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to finally get his are we the baddies moment. I don't think that'll happen until everything's destroyed. He's right? not He's not self-aware enough. Um, yeah. yeah. I think even when when the, the House of Cards collapses and all these and we have all the laws in place that get rid of all this fucking nonsense and we stop these authoritarian fascists he'll he'll still be like going like oh how dare they Jim, stop the revolution well, to, to, to hammer the point home a bit more clearly jim sterling is the exact kind of person who if his party were ever to take control he would only think are we the baddies right only at the moment they put him up against the wall yeah yeah. And maybe even then he'd be defiant, probably. Maybe. Yeah, he'd probably say it was like infiltrators or something, and like it, they, they're not the actual revolutionaries and shit like that. It was it was infiltrators who took over this particular sect. Is mm -hmm. what he would probably try to say right before he dies. Jim is a wall they'd push the rest of them up against. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Phobic profanity to a nine-year-old girl after pasting a comment from an anti-trans website she was reading and copying at the time. She called criticism of this censorship and authoritarianism. It was. It was. It she literally decried the fact that somebody was calling out that they wanted to beat up TERFs, said that violence was wrong, and that and because she used a swear word in that fucking comment, she's getting fucking cancelled and criticized for oh, being transphobic to a nine-year-old for, for fucking yeah. Again, saying for... violence is wrong. Yeah, and for quoting somebody else. Like, yeah. This is fucked up. This is beyond fucked up. So yes, Jim, this is censorship and authoritarianism. You are the fucking Gestapo. You are the Goebbels propaganda division, you idiot. These people would claim that they are the ones who'd have hid the Jews in their attics and basements. Yeah, except they would uh, all be dead. No, no, they would be the ones that would report them. Yeah, they oh, would. Absolutely. They, they, they would, would be absolutely... the first one in line that would be reporting him like a good little toady to the fascist government. Exactly, yeah. Like, they would literally... Because that's the thing. You just have to replace Jew or gay or anything with anything else. Republican, white, anything. Conservative, turf. Conservative, turf. And, like, you replace it with anything. And, yeah, though, they, he absolutely would not be the one 
hiding them in his basement. He would be the one running out into the street, pointing at the Panzer, going, there, there, they're in this house right here. Come, come get them. Yep. He'd be the collaborator. Yeah. He also misspelled censorship, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) That's fucking funny. Oh my god, he did. Censor hip. Censor hip. (laughs) They're not fascists, they're communists. Same thing, politics is circular. You go so far to the left or right, you come up on the other side. Well, no, no, because, again, fascism and communism are leftist-leaning ideologies. Both of I them know, are. I know, but I say the circular thing because a lot. some people don't agree with that, and I don't want, but want to bother getting into the discussion, so I always say yeah, it's a fair circle. Enough. Yeah, fair enough. But hey, now we could do the thing, minor spelling mistake, I win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You've activated my trap card! Oof. The right to rope kids into her obsession. And she is obsessive. Scroll through her Twitter and you'll find that she thinks about trans people all day, every day. She oh, has... She's under constant attack by you fucking psychopath. Hold yeah, on, it's hard on. not to constantly think about it when you're constantly being inundated and attacked by those very people all the time, every day. Hold on. Because she's you're obsessed. A... Hold on. She's obsessive. Scroll through her Twitter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you're the people constantly checking her Twitter. Yeah, you... They're literally <laughs> the ones that go in and dig up people's fucking past on Twitter from like 10 years ago and then cancel them. But then you're going to call them the obsessive ones. Uh-huh. Uh, $5 from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fascism is the law of nature applied. Communism is egalitarian insanity. Fascism is the law of nature applied. That might be what they try to spin it as, but it's it is socialism. Fascism is a branch of socialism. It is a subfaction of it, where you just have nationalism cranked up. It is a socialist ideology. That's why the Nazis were literally called the National Socialists. I mean Nietzsche's uh, not Nietzsche. Um... Giovanni Gentili and Mussolini basically had this idea where it was like, hmm, class struggle doesn't work for shit because people eventually realize that, no, hey, uh, life does improve bit by bit. Um, So what if we just take class and we make it the nation? That was literally the thought process. Yeah. And he got that way um, because of World War I, ironically, because Mussolini was hardcore... Hardcore leftist hippie anti-war type before World War One. I. I think it's funny. Oversimplified actually makes a joke about him uh, going in to get a barber thing after he was super anti-war, and he's like, "What would you like today?" And he goes, "Hmm, let's do bald." And then it just does a montage of him, <laughs> just just showing how fucking chrome domed he is. Um. Can we cease the cringy, unironic fascist propaganda in chat, please? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the actual fascism stuff. Yeah. Supporting. Yeah. 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 Horseshoe theory is is a thing too, because I, I would say if you want a, a right leaning government, if you want one that's actually far right wing, uh, it's North Korea. That one. That one is like pure run by appeal to a religious figure, the religious figure being the uh, Kim family. It's just oof. Yeah, the shoe theory I agree with. I genuinely do agree with it. God, we still got another 20 minutes to go. Yep. Well, well, Oh, yeah, 20 minutes for us. Here. Yeah. Well, I ended the video, too, technically, but, you know. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> Self has fought against gender recognition reforms, scaremongering, and spreading... Although a women's group have presented well-sourced evidence of the Sturgeon's government about the likely negative consequences of this legislation for women and girls, especially the most vulnerable, all have been ignored if the legislation is passed... And those consequences ensue as a result. The S&P government can't pretend it wasn't warned. Uh, it's not scaremongering when 
again, if this whole thing is they just get to say they are, and then they can go into any women's spaces at all, no. you are going oh, to it's... see a massive influx of rapes, kidnappings, murders, because they will, they'll just go into the women's bathroom and molest them. Again, oh, because it's, there's it's worse than that. I know what the to... gender recognition bill is. Sorry. Oh, it's it's way it's even worse than that. Oh boy. Uh, I interrupted Kratos. Well, Sorry. yeah. What what I was trying to say it's the whole bad actors thing again. There will absolutely be opportunists, and this isn't saying anything bad against trans people. Before someone fucking takes this out of context. Yeah. There will absolutely be the kind of opportunists who will claim that they're transgender, again, just so they have an um, just so they have access. Well, if there's yeah. like a creepy uh, murderer guy, or someone who wants to do things to children, or someone who wants like if they're going to jail anyways, hey, why not a women's prison? Like. Yeah, so those where people, you have access to your victim pool. Yeah, those people exist. Like, like it or not, they exist. And, like, these things have to be considered. Right, so you want to know what it is? What? So you have the usual that uh, it will remove the need for diagnosis of gender dysphoria. Um for someone to be able to uh, uh, apply to, you know, have their gender changed, whatever, that sort of thing. Um, but there's also a very um, particular problem, because now they can take hormones at 16, which you shouldn't do, because in case you don't know, anti-testosterone, taking it at too much of a young age, can stop your neurological development. Meaning that you literally will eventually have a 30-year-old with the brain of a 16-year-old. Um, fucking hell, and where is this? Where is this? Uh, it does a good thing, which is uh, it lowers the time someone needs to live as the preferred gender from three years. Because the three years is just ridiculous. But uh, yeah, it would essentially allow someone to just walk in there, say, me trans officially become a female by the way take these hormones that'll kill you at this age literally and yeah so not only is there bad actors in it but, but it is also... actually simply permitting the poisoning of kids because kids are not supposed to be taking the um anti testosterone things and shit like that jesus christ it's one like, of the reasons that actual trans people will never fucking uh, be in favor of kids having the the hormones. Maybe maybe some estrogen, like two milligrams of estrogen if you're below 18. Like, nobody's going to complain about that. But the actual anti-puberty, uh, the puberty blockers themselves, can actually poison you, lead to heart problems, which I myself have had when my dosage was too high because I had misunderstood an, uh, some, one thing the doctor had told me. And, um, yeah, it'll cease the neurological development of kids. Yep. Like, all jokes about the suicide rate aside, that is going to skyrocket in the coming years because so yep. many people have been ruined by this. Yeah, that's yep. what one of Matt Walsh's big things. Like, we're, we're living and seeing the consequences as we speak. If you're weirdo philosophy was right that more of them are being accepted at a younger age why is the child mortality and suicide rate skyrocketing like it's going up in parallel with these insane policies that do that doesn't mean things are getting better it means things are getting worse yeah. yeah, because when you're basically forcing a bunch of kids that have no idea into it, giving them medication which will stop them from connecting the dots, doing 2 plus 2 in their heads uh, about this, it's, it's poisoning them. It's poisoning kids who fell for a fad, the, like what they, what they believed was real but was actually just a fad. Well, not even that, but how much, how much media has been indoctrinating him into this? And oh, the, the teachers, again, that's why I, I am firmly against teachers' unions. I think teachers' unions need to fuck off. Because th this is kind of stuff This like, uh, if you don't think the exact way we do, you won't get a license to teach children, even though you are a trained professional who your entire goal was to teach children. It's like, the no, fuck you. 
the DM's corner says it's been scientifically proven that human brain is still developing into adulthood. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, I it's know. 26. I know. I, I know. It was 25. But the yeah, but the point is that that um, if you give them a too much of a young age, there is a point where the brain cannot handle the fact that it's trying to produce, for example, testosterone. And now there's this foreign thing telling it, that, no, 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 don't do it. The bra There's a point where the brain simply cannot handle that and will just give up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not even that the parents will look good. They they've been hiding this stuff from parents. That's why all these things have been so powerful and why they need to be spread around more. Like, the the one lady in California who was screaming, she was in tears, screaming at the school board because she only found out that her child thought she was transgender when her child literally tried to kill herself. That was it. She had no idea that there were any of these thoughts because the teachers told them you can't tell your parents because they won't love you anymore and they'll kick you out and abandon you. You can... I, I am shocked she was as composed as she was. I would have figured out which fucking teacher it was. I would have beat their ass to death. On God, yeah. Like, holy shit. You almost murdered my child. Fuck you. You're not breathing anymore. Yeah, and it's ridiculous that they can just get away with it. And then this shit gets pushed more and more and more. Even though we see all the shit that happens and what comes of it. But no, nah, it's totally fine because it's progressive. It's what you're supposed yep. to do. Now do you see why I hate this sort of shit so much? Because this is yeah. going to fuck up the lives for people like me and, that just want to do the transition be yes a, and continue yeah because Absolutely. because now because now these fuckers that you probably didn't even know about the neurological development thing did you no because no, i didn't i just yeah. i just knew that they it, their depressive mood swings and everything like that because their body is literally like rebelling against itself oh but that that's only in the first few weeks to months uh but the okay. but the giving it at the first giving it too early will lead to a lot of deaths, meaning that actual trans people who will want to seek treatment in the future will be blocked from it because these bastards are literally killing kids over it. And not, yes. even, and not even killing kids, sometimes making them live, but with an undeveloped brain. Literally an undeveloped brain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the same thing that... Here's the same thing that all these people talk about. They talk about stuff like affirmative action, for example. Where it's like, Hey, we need more. We need more um, blacks and Hispanics and other minorities in, with exception of Asians and whites. Asians, and whites need to, must be excluded from this. Not realizing that what this has done, because you now have this as a standard thing that must happen because of affirmative action, you can't trust minority doctors. You can't trust blacks and and Latinos and anything like that anymore. I because they don't the actually have to do the work to get the doctorate anymore because affirmative action exists. Yeah. It's like, th this is fucking insanity. All you're doing is making it so people can't trust the minority group anymore. Instead yeah. of praising the people that meet the standards, re irregardless of who they are, or irregardless is the word that's wrong, right? It's regardless. Uh, regardless of who they are. It's like that should be this is what you should be going. You should be championing the people that make it. Hey, our standards were tough and you met those standards. Good fucking job. You are someone we can trust. You are someone that if I am bleeding, I can go to you and I know I will be safe in your hands. That's yeah. what we should be doing. Yeah. Yeah, my mother is a fantastic surgeon. She gets people flying from countries like the UK and Poland just so they can be seen by her. And, and, she, yep. and I know her story. She went through years of absolute misery. She was starving herself at some point just to be just to be able to continue studying. Like and now now can you imagine can can you can you imagine her when she finds out because she's still pretty hidden from all of this. Can you imagine her fucking reaction when she finds out that people are getting her position and above because of this shit? Yeah, for, for literally nothing. Just because we need more diversity and inclusion. That's she it. Got an, she got an 18.8 .8 out of 20 on her doctorate. Damn. Fucking hell. 18.8 .8 out of 20 on her fucking doctorate. And, there, and there's people being pushed 
to her position or ahead because black. Yes. That's the thing that's insanity. This is like... It's... As you... As Vessi points it, it's the bigotry of low expectations. Yeah. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand it. It's that it's that whole, like, we can't... You, you can't have people required to get a license to vote because that'll stop the black people from getting it. It's like, how? Well, because they're not educated or rich enough to get it. It's like, wait, where are the racist ones? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. They're not smart enough to understand. Uh, yeah. They were doing it just fine before. Yep. The fuck you mean, you racist piece of shit? Yeah. I fucking hate it. It's again. It's we live in cloud world. I hate being in cloud world. Oh, let's get to these super chats. I don't want to depress myself anymore. Five dollars <laughs> from just a guy from Alabama. Thank you. Today's the one year, ten days anniversary of the passing of Colonel Gail Halvorsen, aka the Berlin Candy Bomber. Always remember Uncle Wiggle Wings. Yeah. So he was, if I remember right. He was one of the ones that helped pioneer the uh, Berlin airline, the Berlin, uh, fuck, it was called a specific thing, where he would, he was helping to fly bombers loaded with supplies into West Berlin so that they wouldn't starve and everything. And he, he candy would, from the bombers. and he would um, do the, the way that pilots would, they would wiggle the aircraft back and forth. So it looked like the wings were like waving. That was a way to wave to people. Hmm. Now, again, if anybody knows, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was uh, what he became famous for because he would literally bring them for the children because he didn't want the children to, you know, they, everybody was hungry and everything, so obviously he brought other supplies, but he would also bring candy for children, you know, to keep them happy, to keep them in high spirits, to be like, hey, you won't, you aren't forgotten. Yeah. Complete gigat, Shad. Yeah, well, every pilot of the Berlin Airlift was a giga chat. Imagine, you have to fly over, over what, like, 50 miles of enemy territory and just hope they don't decide to shoot you down? Yeah, like, look at this guy. Look, 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 look at this guy. Is it, don't you just want to trust him like, on God? Don't you want to trust him? Yeah, dude, look at him. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a, hey, Grampy. He literally is. That's literally the you show up at you show up at the bar or whatever you're like hey old timer and you just know you're gonna have a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sad that he passed. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, fifteen dollars from get out there yo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Often with genuine mental issues in children, it's best to just manage it instead of it doing instead of doing major medication, as sometimes they resolve themselves. Heavy stag. Let's go back to bad fallout chilling. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that, that's part of the reason I was dreading this video. I was hoping more of it would. Well, I don't know why, because there's no way he played this game. Yeah. Um, two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you very much. Thank you. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping he would be uh, trying to shit on the game more rather than doing this. Yeah. Hang on, are we. I am tempted to do something here. Hold on. Let's see, we're right do I skip here. Skip through. This is... Hmm? Hang on. Well, what are you doing? I need to... I'm skipping through, and oh, Jesus Christ, it's all about me, 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 way, 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 later on. Holy fuck. Oh. Like, it's been such a good thing that I've lost so many subscribers and everything, because while most people don't care that I'm trans, you get a bunch of them. Oh, Jesus, fuck, mother in Christ. It is really bad. Let's just watch a bit more of it. The, this... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if Such is listening to it right now on his own or not. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. It's really bad. 
Like this is really, really fucking bad. It's gonna get you want so us to just. <laughs> do you want us to maybe just skip to that so we can hear that and then call it? There's the anti-capitalism stuff in as well. Oh boy! Of well, course. I, Come on, don't I, spoil it. I, I did say we could continue this next time. That that was kind of the plan. Yeah. Oh, but I'm thinking, like, because I was thinking how bad this was getting. I, I don't know if we want to continue this next time. Oh my god. That just makes me want to keep going. Come on. We got five minutes left for this one. Yeah, let's sure. just keep going. We, sure. we can... Keep going. Yeah. No bitches. Spreading outright lies about the make being trans a tiny bit easier. She still has the nerve to no, act offended at accusations no. of that's phobia while literally campaigning against our basic rights and legal dignity. At first, she no, no, that is not what happened at what, all. The basic right to say me woman. Uh, the, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Literally, no. And, like, look at this tweet yeah. on screen. Again, this is supposed to be proof that she's some kind of horrible human being. It's proof that she's being fucking reasonable. Yeah, listen to the... If anything, if it's is proof... Real... Sorry. This, is, this might be why he has to flash it by so quickly so you can barely, like, barely have the chance to read them. Because if you read these for more than, like, half a second, you realize that this is actually proof that Jim Sterling is the fucking crazy one. Yes. Oh, I like know I said, love which... trans people. Like, look at that. I know and love trans people. Average transphobe. Yeah, all the transphobes I know love trans people. Yep. It's fucking crazy. Um, two dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you, Jim Sterling. B. Acerthorn, who would win? I guess you mean versus? Yeah, I guess. God, I don't know. They're both so fucking retarded. Uh, I think Acerthorn would have a bit of an advantage since he because already he has, has a. Sociopath? Yeah. Well, that and he already has a dad stabbing knife, and I don't think Jim Sterling has that. I think all Jim Sterling has is um, really disgusting plushies of Boglins. And I don't Probably. think they'd be. I don't think they'd make a great shield against a knife. So I think Ace of Thorn has the uh, advantage here at the start already. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I just saw. Transitioning Jim Sterling. <laughs> God. <laughs> Sterling God. knows how to wrestle, but Acer has studied the blade. How much does Jim Sterling know about wrestling? Does he just fall over and crush the other person with his fucking <laughs> so, weight? Yeah, he Every has time. His amateur wrestling thing, but it's. No, I know. Yeah. Every time I have seen. That stupid fucking wrestling shit, like the clips in his awful show, it's always just him like falling over and like getting pushed off the thing, and that's it. And it's like, Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, he's basically the heel. It's cringe like yeah. every other aspect of Jim Sterling. Yep. Yeah. Now that I think of it. Who is less cringe, Sterling or Matt Pat? Matt Pat is oh, probably God. actually actually less cringe than Sterling. Yeah, yeah, I would honestly say yeah. I think I, think I would rather Matt, listen to him. Matt Pat isn't as insane. I guess would be the way to think of it, right? Matt Pat's not as insane. Yeah, Matt Pat's he's just stupid, an idiot. but yeah, yeah, he's stupid, but he's not like this level of just insanity. Well, he. Oh my God. <laughs> He also doesn't carry on the jokes, like, for way too long. Like, the beginning skit of this video, 
with Sterling yeah. going on and on for three and a half minutes, like just completely unfunny. Yeah, where he's just making shit up that doesn't even exist and the thing he's criticizing, it's like, Jesus Christ, yeah. shut the fuck up. Where, where MatPat is usually a rapid fire of cringe rather than just one big long cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, this comment. Sterling's Boglin Horde stand no chance against Acer's Blade of Fatricide plus five. <laughs> 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 Anyway, should we maybe cut it here and come back to he's, it in a week? He's in the middle <laughs> sure. of a point. He's in the middle of a point. Uh, uh, let me just, uh, who cares? She <laughs> ask of someone who supports trans people but just has concerns and wanted to protect women's spaces. A long-time gender-critical dog whistle. She she <laughs> a a long-time gender-critical <laughs> dog whistle? Motherfucker, <laughs> do I need to grab the meme where it shows all of the fucking just just the recent fucking uh instances of all these like rapes that have occurred in women's bathrooms by trans men or all the rapes that have occurred in female prisons because it goes on for a very long time okay <laughs> there's a I... fuck ton of fucking of incidents where this has been reported you know what okay and 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 like settled you, with you police could, and everything you could grab that video and we can use that next time Hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. There's a clip. Somebody made a clip snippet. Hold on. I, I have it. Give me this. We could just do the clip snippet right now. Yeah. Just to fucking disprove this whole fucking thing right now. Like, oh, it's I've... just a it's just a fucking dog whistle. That's all it is. There's nothing more to it, even though it's literally been confirmed to the point where it's like it happens so much that it's becoming a bit of a crisis. Here we go. Here we go. I okay. love trans people. Average anti trans dog whistle. What? Yeah, that makes no fucking sense. Does this work? This is a clip. Let's see if it oh, Clips don't work. YouTube okay. clips or. Yeah, it's a YouTube clip. Oh. We'll just uh, put it in yeah, the you'll... full video and skip to the time code. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're going to have to skip to the, uh, uh, the time Watch full video, six minutes, seven seconds, and... Oh. I saved the time we were on in this video. Yeah. Okay. God, we only got five minutes and 45 seconds into this video. Oh, my God. Well, it did turn out to be abysmally fucking terrible. Yeah, it is. This is one of the worst we've covered in a while. Uh, and we're just going to keep saying that. I think we're just going to keep saying it. It's just going to keep getting worse every time. Oh, how we missed the good old days of Acer Thorns New Vegas retrospective. No, fu I missed the days of <laughs> I missed the days of Oxhorn when it was just fucking, well, Bethesda doesn't rely on modders to fix their game, but they just rely on modders because they fix their game all the time. Like, I missed that oh, shit. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to Oxhorn. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? Is this uh, Archcast? This is Archcast. Oh, I've never seen his videos before. He's he's really good. He has moments where he fucks up, uh, too. But, uh, you know, he's... I mean, everyone makes he's mistakes. He's human, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. This is the, the exact thing I was going to bring yes, up, too. Where he's, yeah. where he's like... When he just holds his hand up and just goes into it. Here yeah. we go. A Vox article, by the way or turfism, which maintains that trans women are actually men who seek to invade women-only spaces and oppress them yet further. Because remember, the turfs are a you know, gender supremacist movement. This logic has no basis in reality. Yeah, no, no face in reality whatsoever, though. Yeah. And there's more than that. There's a lot more there's than that. There's a lot more. He's just wanted to get his point across. Yeah, there's a lot more than that, but we he obviously he's not gonna sit there for like an hour while the shit plays in the background. Yeah. Don't you miss scientists retconning reality? 
Yes, I do. I do. Yeah, I, because I, I, shit like that I was actually do. funny. It wasn't frustrating. Yeah, it was just insane and just funny to laugh at. This is just painful. Uh, well, we'll be back um, a little over a week from now on Monday. Um, let me break out the old calendar here. Monday the 6th of March. Um, yeah, this, this video, both these videos were dog shit. Um, yeah. Go grab these super chats and then, uh, channel shilling, then we'll be gone. Two dollars from Lantern's Glow, thank you. Back to back Acer Tardis, um, yeah, honestly, at this point, I think I do prefer Acer's Tard's videos to Sterling's. I hate Acer Thorn more, but still. I, I, I don't... hate him because he's a vexatious litigant, but I don't know. I, I would prefer his stupidity because he can so easily be crushed out of it than compared to the. Yeah. Well, at least Jim Sterling isn't giving hormones to kids. Well, but he supports all that stuff. That's why I call him a child groomer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a groomer. But... Uh, Three dollars from Get Out There, yo. Thank you. Stag 1 and 2 featuring Oxhorn are still um, okay emote. Good old days. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Five dollars yeah. from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Please watch the JT Music Fallout 4 rap. I really want to see your reaction to it. Look, I, I can't handle cringe very well. My cringe resistance is extremely low. In fact, it absolutely I, I have a weakness to cringe, and yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm the it, same way. I'm not a fan yeah. of rap or Fallout Four in the first place. So, or if you if you uh, if you do anything that has even a slight bit of ASMR in it, you can hear Kree's spine crack as he's just like, yeah, yeah, no, he he will not. Like I've tried sharing clips where like it's actually pretty funny. But because there's like a bit of ASMR in it, he just no, absolutely not, will not, will not even fucking give it a no. chance. ASMR um, is the worst thing ever invented, and I think we need a new genocide. Yeah, <laughs> your mutants fall out of my way. But Love yeah, you. I I also cannot stand fucking cringe. I'm the type of person who, like, if I'm watching something and it gets into like that cringe territory where it's like, you know, like where your face wants to curl in on itself. I have to fucking I I have to leave. I have to like I, make the video go away. I, I cannot sit through it. I even have that problem with secondhand cringe where like a character is embarrassing themselves in a movie. It's like, oh god, this yes. is just really uncomfortable. I hate oh. that shit. I can't uh, stand it. I, I want to get up and walk out whenever that kind of stuff happens. I can't stand it. Yeah, I'll be right back I'm a moment, guys. To, I'm listening to it now. You guys don't want to listen to this. JT yeah, sometimes no. makes decent music, like uh, his his Alex song, uh, Half Life Alex song is actually good, I would argue. But this is um, oh boy, um, hmm, absolute garbage. This is bad, even by his. <laughs> this is very bad. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you're not listening to this. No. Oh god, do I even want to know what you're talking about, Dave's fault? <laughs> J Pagan, have you shared with them the clip of that guy at BronyCon asking the cast a question? And god forbid a... Oh, I don't even know if I know about this. What the fuck? Now I'm worried. <laughs> oh no. I like this comment here because I said I have a weakness to cringe. Cree has severe weak bones. Five dollars from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Also, the Forgotten City is a time loop game. We're in ancient Rome and everyone is turned to gold if they sin. Oh. Holy shit, I'm actually looking at it on Steam right now. It's ancient, but it's agonizing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do I even... Hold on. I'm going to look this up just real quick because I want to know what the fuck he's talking about. Guys, listen very carefully. 
Because we're about to hear Pagan fucking die for real from cringe. Like you are going to hear his soul leave his body. Huh, this actually doesn't look half bad. I except the talking to the characters itself. This looks... Yeah, the character interactions look like shit, but the rest of the game actually... Huh. Oh. I'm putting it on my wish list. The fucking hell that scared the shit out of me. Okay. God, I found the thing and I clicked on it and it, of course it was fucking Reddit of all things and Reddit tried to give me a virus. <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, so let me go to YouTube. Here Can we, we make Reddit stop existing? Yeah, it's just, seriously, it should just be banned off the fucking face of the internet. I fucking hate it. Yeah, the the internet would be a lot better without Reddit. Reddit is a virus. Yep. Um, do do we want to keep wasting time on this, or should we just get into shilling and end this? Because uh, we're we're not doing anything right now. Yeah, this Forgotten City game actually looks good. Jeez. All right, Emily, All right. chill your shit. All right. Um. Like the stream. Um, uh, uh, my name is Enclave Emily, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Enclave Emily. Uh, I do reviews. I'm currently still working on the Velma review. It's going to be colossal. Um, I do memes. I do edits for fun sometimes. And I also do commentary on random things such as the Hogwarts Legacy controversy, uh, why I refuse to play Fallout 4, Hillary Clinton finding out uh, about Epstein, and <laughs> other things of the sort. Oh my uh, god, I remember this now. Oh my god. What I also have... I also fucking have, retard. I also have the, um, the interview with the DMCA abuser, the interview with Acerthorn. Uh, I uploaded that, and I do commentary on other things. So if you're interested in any of that, memes, commentary, reviews, fucking aesthetic edits, yeah, uh, go subscribe to my channel, and uh, my Discord's always open. So yeah, have fun. Oh, what a fucking autistic idiot. Jesus now Christ, that was... click the like button on the stream. Is he calling me an autistic idiot? I know yes. he isn't, but I'm gonna yes. consider it as such. But, <laughs> but oh my god, that... Jesus, what a trip down memory lane that was. Holy fuck. <laughs> that was cringe. That was hard to sit through. I wanted to turn that off so bad. Holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> basically some autist at a brony convention, when it was his turn to ask a question, uh, basically went on this like diatribe about the darker side of the fandom and was asking, um, I think it was Andrea Libman, uh, <laughs> like what her thoughts on the fact that the character she's played has been portrayed as god forbid a child molester and yeah a fucking security guy just like comes over and rips the fucking microphone out of his hand and is like get the fuck out of here and obviously Andrea Libman is like yeah I'm not gonna talk about that shit what the fuck and, like, this dude is, like, fucking twitching and just, like, all kinds of shit. And he just goes on and on and on before finally getting to that. But it's just like, oh, my God. That was fucking painful. Jesus. Yeah. Fucking Christ. Fucking idiot. Yeah, I like that the dude just comes over and rips the fucking microphone out of his hand, though. And is like, you need to shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. That was painful. That that hurt to watch. I'm back. Welcome Good back. Just Welcome time, back. Just a time for Pagan to shill his stuff. Yeah. So I have a YouTube channel. I stream on it sometimes when I have the chance. Haven't had the chance lately, unfortunately. Hopefully that will change eventually. We'll see. Um, yeah. So come on by whenever you actually get an update for <laughs> one of my streams. The. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Such chill. Chill! Right. I'm currently playing through uh, Atomic Heart over on Twitch. 
So if you want to come by, that's twitch.tv slash Dutch Dress Scarf. Feel free to come by, hang out. You can also join the Discord. We just got done watching Shrek 2. Pretty good movie. Had some pretty good jokes in it, too. Like, genuinely, like, really good jokes. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to be playing Hi-Fi Rush, because Hi-Fi Rush is also on Game Pass, so I kind of want to play that as well. Uh, before I have to pay for the increase in subscription to Game Pass. So yeah, that's kind of like the mad scramble. Get Atomic Hearts done and play some Hi-Fi Rush to see how it is. I, I literally know nothing about Hi-Fi Rush other than the fact that it gives me Jet Set Radio vibes. So I'm super keen to see what that'll be. Uh, yeah, this, again, this Saturday we will be watching, in honor of a monumental event, we will be watching The Death of Stalin because fuck that piece of shit. Hmm. It is a great dark comedy movie. Uh, highly recommend seeing it if you have not, and if you are a fan of dark comedy, guys. We're talking some dark, dark humor. Uh, that, uh, yeah, feel free, uh, feel free to hang on out. Uh, my uh, Twitch stream and everything is in the description below. And then to get to my Discord, if you want to watch the movies... You can go to my Twitch page, and underneath my Twitch stream will have the Discord banner. You can click on it and go there. Can I just show one more thing? Sure. If we get to to 1,500 subs before the end of March, I will scream the N-word and record it in front of my of the faculty of letters at the University of Coimbra, a liberal what? humanities faculty. But why? So, yeah. Why? Why not? Why not? I I no, I actually I actually don't condone that. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that, yeah. I will. I've used the N word in one of my assignments. And I got a <laughs> I think I got a fifteen out of twenty for that one, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. True story by the way. Also there's okay, well... <laughs> one comment in chat that just so you guys know what my setup is, I've got the YouTube studio live chat up. I've got the Streamlabs OBS chat up, also on live chat, and sometimes there's a comment on one of them that isn't on the other, and this is one of those. From Sukamatic, Kretosis, it's confirmed that the robot twins function as sex, uh, sex bots. Thumbs up. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> 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 it's vital information that you no, have to receive. No, it's not! I like Senator <laughs> Abby Strong's fucking thing. Fridge greater than twins. <laughs> also, people are asking me to post the link. Uh, yeah, it's a I guess I'll... $2 super chat from Ludwig Williams. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to post it in the uh, in the chat so people can go to it whenever they feel like it uh it might hide the link youtube does that sometimes oh no oh uh, okay okay i was about to say i don't think it did uh, it shouldn't sometimes for it moderators does. which by the way i just realized you're not a moderator on here me uh. wow not a moderator <laughs> I've, I've actually pointed that out before and you said no so get like, fucked okay. no mod gang yeah did i yeah because of all the racist shit he was saying and and yeah, stuff and... it's back when I was being more edgy, uh, for the sake of entertainment. I legitimately don't remember this. I'm still scared to give it to him, honestly. <laughs> well, I just did. <laughs> oh, no. I am. <laughs> inevitable. <laughs> Thank God it's now. <laughs> it would be funnier if you said inevitable. All right, um... <laughs> My shilling. I, I do stuff on YouTube. Thank you, everyone. It's been painful. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night, everyone. I... <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.